welcome to Conan Exiles 3.0, The Age of Sorcery. I have been playing this game, I'm not going to chat too long before we get into it, but I've been playing this game for a, like a couple of years. <laughs> I kind of played it full time for a couple of years. Um, and I'm so, so, so excited that they're adding new content. I'm so excited that there's a plan to kind of continuously add content. Um, pinning some stuff at the moment just uh, in case I seem slightly distracted I'm like multitasking posting posting pin message yes chat well so not only is it very exciting that Conan Exiles 3.0 is launching today and that we're going to stream it we're going to be doing it hopefully on um what day is it today? Thursday Thursdays and Fridays every week hopefully it's, I mean it depends how it does for the channel and everything it turns out it does for YouTube and things like that um but I'm planning to do it on Thursdays and Fridays oh, maybe off stream I don't know maybe we'll do some crazy builds oh god chat be still my beating heart um not only all of this but thanks to Nitrado thank you so much who have provided us with a bunch of servers they've given us a server for the Conan Exiles game so we have our very own community server for this game. If you'd like to play, it is free to play. Just join the Discord. Um, I have pin. I've ju just now, as I'm talking, posted in the Conan Excels channel in Discord the details of the server, uh, the name of the server. So if you want to find it on the, you know, through the game, and I've also put the IP address. It's the correct IP address, by the way. I checked it. I had to add five. <laughs> you always have to add numbers to the IP address. I don't know why. Um, yeah, and there's all the details in there for how to join. It is PvE. Um, it's two times harvesting because the game is very grindy. But also, if you put the harvesting up too high, it just kind of doesn't feel the same, like the same game. Uh, purge time is between 6 o'clock UK time and midnight UK time. I've extended it to those hours because we have some friends across the pond who will possibly want to participate in purges. Because it's one of the most fun things in the game, I think, if you're an experienced player. Um, and it's completely vanilla, um, but I might add some quality of life mods um, later on. Um, and we'll talk about that beforehand. We'll have a discussion about it. You know, it's, it, I mean, it's not a democracy, but we will talk about it definitely. Um, one of the main reasons we haven't got any mods is because um, they've kind of like very suddenly announced that they're going to launch the game like today. Well, they didn't announce it today, but they sort of gave very short notice for modders to kind of update their mods, basically. Plus, I am aware that they have incorporated a bunch of mods into this game. Oh, so, okay, shall we, shall we get on with it? Shall we get on with it, chat? Are you ready? I am so ready for this. Okay. Um, plus the mods need to be updated. That's oh, you just said it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hello, hello, Luke. Hello, lovely. How are you doing? We've got our own server. I just meant to ask about connects. I see if you're excited. I see. I'm on it. I'm on it. And we have a server, Luke. If you want to join a server, you're very welcome. Oh, it's PC. It's a PC server. But, um, yeah, I'm so excited. Okay. Whew. So let's start. Let's create our character. Um, so I have nudity turned off because this is like Twitch and we're like proper people here, right? But it's available on the server if you want to have nudity on. You can toggle it on and off. So we're going to create a character. Now I am like, I have created a character in this game so many freaking times. Chat, you can tell how excited I am. I'm like a puppy right now. Um, so this is how I create my character. You, the race means nothing. Okay, race means nothing. Religion means basically nothing. It used to be really cool. You used to be able to have... Oh, you used to be able to have, like, different healing potions and things like that. Now they still have they still have things, benefits, but I don't think they're as useful as they used to be. Unless they've changed something in this update. We'll find out. Um, I'm going to choose Zaf. This is the most recently added religion. It's a spider religion. Be <laughs> serious, yeah. <laughs> um thanks but you know we are past yeah that's all right lovely that's all right um yes uh, it's a new one basically as far as i know it's not possible to learn this in the exiled lands you can learn it on sipta which is their dlc uh, map so we're just going to go with zath anyway it also has some kind of sexy like uh costumes and stuff so oh you know i always go with stoic voice i could do this in my sleep chat I go for about four on the old tan because I like her to be as tanned as possible, but I, but she's going to have pale hair, so we don't want to look kind of crazy. And then I go face, I go this one. I think this is the face I go with. I go with this, this hair colour. I'm not creating myself here, chat. I don't want to, like, you know, create any illusion, but this is, you know, this is who, this is who we are for the game. 
Uh, that's fine. We do this so that her lipstick shows up, but barely any lipstick. Okay, perfect. I could do it in my sleep. Cheeks. We have to raise the height of the cheeks, otherwise she looks kind of weird. That's a bit better. Ears, I make them super little. Oh, I haven't changed her hair yet. Am I skipping? Wait, 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 wait. Head. Hair. Okay, we don't want this hair. It's just the hair we're going to go with. You can change the way your character looks. Um, when she gets to about level 50, 55, something about that, um, you can change the way your character looks anyway. So I wouldn't worry too much. I, I spent like months and months and months wishing I could just change a little thing about my character and they finally added it. Um, so you can do that later on. Plus, there's, I have no idea really. I, I should tell you, I have absolutely stopped myself from watching any of Fire Sparks or Kaya's, uh, Kaya and Fire's... Um, like videos on this because I've been trying to like discover it for myself. Um, I like to, I don't want to be too muscular. There we go. Boob slider all the way up. <laughs> no, wait, one, two, three, four. This is my preferred boob size of my, my character. And then we finalize, I think we're done. I think we've, I think we've created the perfect woman. Finalize, let's call her Siri. Not the phone, just because it's like a Nordheimer name. She's a Nordheimer, but she has a tan and stuff. She's kind of Italian as far as I'm concerned. Okay, you ready for this? Booba, I mean, hello. <laughs> hello, Skull, welcome. Um, okay, let's go. Are you ready for this intro? And so Bobby was born. Diesel, hi. During the year okay. of the Cobra, a prisoner... Oh, shit. Crucified clicked off. and left to die for crimes that they may or may not have committed. Death comes swiftly on black wings. Da, da, da. Until fate intervenes. I've only watched this intro about twice in my entire life, I should tell you that. You can skip it when you play. Don't shit on me, bird. I'm all right, lovely. I'm very excited today. <laughs> Dude. The bird, the bird gave us an axe, apparently. Are you thirsty, dead woman? Shall I cut you down? From that corpse tree. It might kill you. You civilized women are soft. Shut your face. <laughs> your lives are not nailed to your spines. <laughs> Where I come from, we kill our enemies in battle. We don't leave them in the desert to die like dogs. Oh yeah, I'll take so, some water. You live again, dead woman. This land does not love men. You are marked. The ghost fence wearing that. <laughs> it might have been kinder to leave you on the cross. Hush. Live. Love. Burn with life. Slay and survive. We will meet again, dead woman. <laughs> we can't all be giants. Yeah. 
I am so excited. I am so freaking excited. Okay, wait a second. Control, control T gets rid of your chat box if you get into a game and you want to get rid of it, which I quite often do. Um, let me just adjust the volume again because I've cranked it up for Conan to be able to hear him. Let's put it on this. And we'll see how we get on. Uh, let's get rid of you. Get rid of you. Hello, Mighty Kai. Hello, hello, hello. I'm joking. Yeah, lovely. I'm so excited right now. Um, pe people who know me know that I'm obsessed with this game. And I've been playing it, like, I've been playing it for so long. Well, my sensitivity is quite high. Anyway, um, so this is our character, Siri. We are, um, let me just click on this thing. Maybe I should let you listen. Just gonna gather this while he, he talks. Follow the road. Any road. All roads. To city. I've heard that so many times. <laughs> I'm such an excited puppy. Okay. Like we should have an excited puppy command for how many times I say excited puppy today. So, okay, so basically you are uh, listen. I am not the law person, like, some other people may know more of the law than I do, because I tend to skip it. Um, but basically, you are an exile, you've, cre you've, you've committed crimes, and you have been exiled to these lands. You have a bracelet on your wrist, you don't know much mu Oh, you don't know much more about it, I don't know if you can interrupt with that. Um, and so I'm not going to kind of like, you know, just tell you everything right now, because we're going to play this game. Um, Okay, here we go. So whenever you start, there's always a water flask and a note. You want to pick those up. They will be on a rock. There are others here. I'm just going to gather everything as we run. Bandits and cannibals. Exiles from lands I've never heard of. Some of them tried to scrape the life from the wasteland, scrambling in the rocks and sand for their own place. I cannot go. There's a lot of this, by the way. <laughs> you can just ignore it, but... Never denied me. The smell of my daughter's hair. I will pass the ghost fence. And this cursed land will find an end me. To whoever reads this note, I leave the last of my water and this message. There you go. So that's why we have Major, a water. You have my pity. You do not know how cursed you truly are. There we go. There's a lot of that. So the only thing I would say that's kind of annoying about this game is there is a lot of like law stones and things and they bang on for ages. And that's why I don't listen. You know, I have attention issues. Hello, Mr. Bat. The bat will not harm you. So yeah, um, the details about the server are in our Discord, as I said, as we were starting. If anybody here would like to join our PVE server, it's friendly um, community server six times uh, sorry six times this is an arc two times harvesting uh rates otherwise vanilla um 6 p.m midnight uh, purge time uh, uk that is bst um if you'd like to join it you're very welcome to do so just join the server the, just join the discord which is exclamation mark socials although my bot will be spamming it in the chat oh yeah so we need to do a bunch of things so we have okay have i got journey steps turned off um uh gameplay mm, dark meta i love law yeah luke's the law guy a dark meta welcome thank you for the follow do i have my journey steps turned off i do i think i always show journey steps okay you would have been able to see those um hello there okay hello there hello dark meta hello hello welcome welcome Hopefully audio is good and everything like that. So, okay. Okay, here we go. Oh, God. God's curse this okay. <laughs> we were forced to take here we go. The so many of these. Skin from our faces. There is something in the storm. Beasts. We hear the skittering of their paws outside the ruins, and their howls mingled with the screaming winds. I'm just spamming me, by the way. 
I put them to work crafting rudimentary weapons and torches from the loose stones and rough plants that dot this place. I've yet to meet a beast that liked fire or the bite of the axe. Okay, awesome. Another one. <laughs> they're everywhere. Um, yeah, they're everywhere. And maybe later on in the game, I'll stop kind of like pausing to, to listen to them. But I want you to kind of get a vibe for the game, basically, you know. Um, so, okay, we're on this like sandy area over here. You can spawn in in multiple different places. I, I don't know how much of this I'm going to make as like a guide or like just play the game and enjoy. But I have to talk about something. And usually what I talk about is, oh, I don't know what I'm doing. Well, I know what I'm doing in this game. And I'm, you know, have... I have so much kind of time and experience in it. I'm just kind of excited to share it with you, basically. And my tips and tricks, basically. That's going to be it. Huh. So we've been we've been spamming E all this time along here. We've been gathering rocks, sticks, and plant fiber. Uh, when you pick up plant fiber, you also get seeds and you get bugs as well. Lots of people here will have played this game already, and I know lots of you will know all this stuff. But there'll be some people who are completely brand new from our community. Um, and this is a great time to start playing the game. Um, because they've the good thing about this the thing i'm very excited about is the kind of promise of ages so the promise of um kind of structured um releases in the future you know um before it was because uh, just cosmetic dlcs they did update they did kind of give us quality of life stuff they added mounts to the game things like that you know they did they did give us a lot of new stuff since it kind of first came out um but now there's kind of like a structure to it and I'm excited about that. That I mean, for me, in an ideal world, I will be able to just stream this for like, you know, as part of our schedule kind of for a long time. That would make me really happy. So we're just work making our way along the road, basically. Um, we have on the right side, top right side, journey steps, um, which kind of are really good. They kind of guide you through the game. You can press tab, get to your, get to your inventory. Um, and... I press three I can drink okay so now I've drunk I can eat you can eat bugs in this game if you just spam bugs you can fill your tummy which is very delicious I don't know where we're gonna set up a base chat hmm I don't know where we're gonna set up a base so I do know normally um you don't have an ability to teleport in this game until you make a map room which is kind of not something you have access to at the very beginning of the game unless you um Unless you're on a kind of a server um, with other people and they have map rooms that are available. Um, but I believe in sorcery in this update, one of the few things I have learned, learned about it, is that there's going to be teleportation. So, Panda breaks down the door. Um, don't forget to revert your Y-axis. Yes, she does. I can confirm. Sepa Maru for a classic exp Yeah, shall I do Sepa Maru? Shall I do Sepa Maru? I might have to do separate Maria. I was thinking about that. It is my favourite place. Um, so I guess okay. Let's do my let's do my favourite preferred thing to do. So when you first start, this is the most magical part of the game. Like, I remember starting this game. I I, I love this game so much, chat. When I first played this, this is the game that got me into survival games, right? This is why I'm like streaming. This is why I've met half of you, like uh, most of you probably. It's because of this game. So it's a very special, very special game for me. Um, so I'm just picking up, I'm just spamming E as I run, basically. One of the lovely things about this game is you can swim. How do I dive C? You can actually swim in this game. Um, one of the things I can't, I hope that they add to Valheim in future is the ability to kind of go underwater. I did notice there were some mods for that. Uh, you do have a breath timer. You can do things to increase your breath timer. Um, um, the music is absolutely spectacular. Um, I think the artwork is really beautiful. I don't know, what, what do I have my visual settings on? I have things on cinematic. Let's go with ultra. Um, but I want post-processing on cinematic. And then we'll kind of watch our frames. Um, because I want, like, sh a bit of sharpness. So one thing I was wondering about, um, because I have played Sitter as well, which is the DLC. I'm gonna watch out for these, like, NPCs, because they will moider me at this point of the game. Um, let's, mm, let's make some basic stuff so that we level up. You just click on these. You just, once you've gathered the materials, just click on them. Um, all the things, clothe yourself. You'll get like points. You'll get XP. If you follow the journey steps, you'll get more XP for doing that. You're rewarded for it. You can make some 
healing wraps, uh, fiber bedroll. Um, it's good to kind of craft some bedrolls. When you place a new bedroll in this game, it will uh, replace the previous ones. So you don't have multiple beds, that's kind of worth knowing. Okay, so we're crafting some clothing. I want to make some, I think I'm going to go with daggers. Um, oh, chat, this is what I have no idea about this, like, the attribute system. <laughs> I, I, I'm i going to probably, like, um, if, by the way, if you want to learn about any of this stuff, watch Firespark81 or Kyra on Fire on YouTube. I can't recommend them enough. Um, what do I want to put points into first? Maybe strength. Um, I, yeah. Okay, so you click here now instead of over here. Okay, we got a perk. Perfect. So when you get a perk, okay, let's try and learn about the perks a little bit. So as you spend points, as you as you level up, you get points. It's a skill tree, obviously. Um, and you can determine what you put points into. Before, it was always a balance between strength, vitality, uh, stamina, which is grit, um, a little bit in agility. I, I have no idea about how these perks work now. So we're going to learn together. Um, you definitely want to usually put some points in encumbrance, usually. Expertise. Expertise assumes a maximum weight you can carry. Um, survivalist. Tools lose durability half as quick as hunger. Efficient harvest. Okay. Well, I want to be able to survive a bit first, so I want to be able to kill things. As soon as I can, I want to learn how to make daggers. Knowledge. Okay, so this is the... These are the feats. These are the crafting items that you, you have to spend points in order to learn how to make them. Um, and the daggers are down here. Yeah, can I learn them already? So I haven't increased my... I don't think I have my XP or anything increased. Yes, daggers age. Um, I just have... I just have harvesting times two on this single player game. <clears throat> Same as the server. Um, let's equip these. We're going to kill this guy. Hopefully. Maybe we'll put our... Maybe we'll put a bedroll down. Building's not allowed here. So yeah, you will find this if you're new. Um, there are certain areas. Wherever there's an NPC camp... Okay, he must have heard me. Or seen me. How do I... Wait, how do I... I've been playing too much Ark. How do I... To unequip it, okay. <laughs> like, how do I stop this? So the one thing about this game is the music, like, danger music will play whenever you're... Whenever something happens. So I'm gonna bleed this guy. Bleed is very powerful, um, especially early on. It's like, daggers are just so OP. It's so good. Um, so let's see if we can get anything from him. Okay, he, does, he doesn't have much of use, but we're going to skin him. A skinning knife. We'll get some hide. You can eat bodies, like human bodies in this game. Uh, what is... There's no, like... There's no button for putting stuff away in this, this game, is there? They've changed the animations a bit, I think. Yeah, I feel like they've changed the animation. It looks different. They did say something about that. Okay, so we're going to... Uh, you immediately have the map available to you when you start the game. We're going to head up to here, to the west of the map. Um, it's my absolute favourite place to have a base, as as people, some people know. Um, oh, I'm, let me catch up. As the queen of this server, you shall rule from the top of Seberu Hill, yeah. Um, and it's a great game. It is so good. Um, Panda, hello lovely, hello, hello. How are you doing? I'm so excited today. Love how you're almost never without good atmospheric orchestral music, new brother music. Yeah, it's so good. It's so good. It's so good. Let's gather some things and stuff. Though I had hoped, I had hoped that they would give, um, give the appearance a bit of a Sipta sort of treatment. Because when you, when you play um, the Isle of Sipta, which is a DLC map, which we might we will probably play after this chat. Now, now that I've been like Conan has been like unleashed upon us, um, I'll probably do Sipta after I do this one, um, which is a lovely map. It's absolutely beautiful, but it has a kind of a it has like a better quality appearance about it. Oh hello! So 
In this game, chat, there's nothing to fear in the water. The water is your safe ground, which is quite nice for those of us who are terrified in Ark. Um, we're going to kill this guy, hopefully. Could you not? There you go. We're going to bleed him. So, alt to roll. He, he can't swim, which is kind of hilarious. Unless they've changed it. There's going to be a few things where I might be wrong. You want to roll into him. So you're away from his his bod. His mouth, sorry. Yeah, I don't know. It does look a bit different, but it looks a bit... I don't know. After you play Sipta, like, I feel like Exhard Lands looks a bit washed out. Can I skin you underwater? Yeah. Okay. Alrighty. Welcome to paradise. I don't know how I feel about the way it looks. It looks a bit washed out to me. I don't know. I don't know. It needs a bit of contrast. Maybe I change my... Uh, I've probably got my gamma set to... Um, I've got my gamma set for Sipta, which is a bit darker. So 2.20 is my usual gamma setting. That's better. That's better. It's a bit better. All right. Let's, um, we're going to make our way along the river, basically. I'm pressing Q because I'm used to, like, uh, arc. We'll kill everything as we go because modification is fun. I like to moid it here. Has a nice feel to the combat. I remember when I first switched to PC, because I played on this, I played on PlayStation for a really, really long time, like a couple of years. Don't bite me! Um... And then I switched to PC and it took me so long to like get used to the, the controls. I was I felt like I really felt like I was starting all from scratch. Um uh, Jungle is a fun place to build. That's very true. It is very true. Luke favours the jungle. Mur murder. Yeah. Should we I, So the only thing about these, I don't think I'm gonna be able to kill this creature before it runs away. Nah. Can never, unless it like gets stuck, which they don't tend to do in this game. They tend to like teleport. Um, it was my first I say for years now. Basically, have have no base but a city. Really, oh my goodness. Brink, thank you so much for the prime. Are my notifications not working properly? Oh, there we go. There's a bit of a delay. Thank you so much. Do I have all my my sounds okay? Thank you so much for the Prime. Welcome in, welcome in. Good to have you here. Um, yeah, if you want to join our server, um, just join the ch in the chat. Um, anyone can join. You don't have to be a sub to join. Wait, let me just get my... Ba -ba -ba. There you go. Perfect, 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 perfect. That bass drum made me jump. Yeah, it was loud, wasn't it? I kind of think I've just turned it down a little bit. Um... We streamed on YouTube yesterday, chat. It was absolutely a wonderful experience. I'm just going to hit some stuff because I'm going to get XP from um, harvesting things. Um, yeah, you, you get... There's a journey step for harvesting bark. I don't know, it definitely looks a bit different. Um, until we get to a point where we need to really craft stuff. Once we've like, chosen our base location... Then I think we're going to dig into like attributes and stuff like that. Yeah, there's a kind of a an interesting look about the game. I don't know how I feel about it. Also, I don't know how I feel about the animations. Um, You can see that. Like when she's running, maybe she looks less kind of stiff. I don't know. She just looks a bit like hunched. Oh, we're really hungry. I remember to eat. Let's have some, let's eat some bees. Bees are very tasty. Uh, you can always eat berries. Do we get berries? Yeah, we got some berries from the from these bushes here. These bushes give us desert berries. Let's just spam a bunch of them. I guess we'll kill we'll kill all the crocs on the way, and then we can eat some feral flesh once we get to our location. I don't think anyone's hurt me yet. Okay, that's my first bite. I just let I just wanted to feel it. I just wanted to feel the the sting of your teeth, sir. You know what I mean? Just to just to prove I'm still alive. The Bushberry Queen, yeah. Oh my god, the Bushberry Queen. Um how do I wait, am I on the right thing? Yes, I am. I joined the server, yay! Welcome, Dark Meta. 
Um, I just had my volume up and reseated my ever. Oh, I see. Best first stream ever. Oh, lovely. I had so much fun. Yeah. Uh, if you're new here, I stream. Um, I stream Arc on uh, which days do I do Arc now? Hmm. Wednesdays and Saturdays. Wednesdays is over on YouTube. Uh, you can find the link to that button if you do socials or if you don't go on my about page. Um, listen, I am chatting. I am having a conversation. Okay. Roll dodge gym. Um, yeah, I stream arc on those two days. Monday is Valheim day. And then, so, like, for, for at least the foreseeable... Um, or until I finish this, or I don't know, get bored, or you guys get bored, I don't know. Then we're going to be doing Conan on Thursdays and Fridays. Yeah. I'm very excited. I have lots of plans for this chat. Um, because I'm kind of like... Ooh. I don't recognise this. This looks new. Hmm. Um, I'm planning to do like a really... I want to do some kind of nice big builds and stuff i think i will do builds in like creative mode and i'm kind of happy to do that because i have spent hours and hours by the way when i'm not streaming i play official <laughs> i like i i started this game playing single player or co-op with my friends and um <clears throat> you know i very quickly found like the admin functions and found it just way too tempting to um to like spawn in stuff so from then on i would just always um I would just always play official because it's just I needed the control. <laughs> I needed the controls taken away from me, basically. Um, let's make sure we're spending points as we get them attributes. Um, so I quite like this. This oh no, wait, they've changed it. So it used to be the first perk in this gave you uh, meant you use less uh, less stamina. So now increase damage when attacking from behind. Backstab like like um, Valheim. Uh, passive health regen on the first perk. Oh, interesting. Authority. The amount of damage your followers... Uh, determines the amount of damage your followers deal with you. Deal and the amount of concussive damage you deal. Mm -hmm. So we're going to need that when we want to knock out some friends. Um, grit. Uh, first perk. Increase your armor by 40. And stamina by 20. Wow, this is so different. Tools lose your ability half as quick. Hunger and thirst deplete. So, so how do I... I just want more stamina. Um, so let's give some points and let's do this next. Okay. Okay. I, I spent a lot of points. I didn't realise that I would get so much. Okay. I'm not sure how I feel about this bouncy kind of animation. I feel like experience in this game. It's like, I don't know how I feel about it. She just looks a bit derpy. Okay. So let's kind of run along. Anna playing right now. I have no, I have no, I have no memory of this place. Um, yeah, okay. Hyenas are pretty dangerous early game because they move quite fast, but you can always run into the water. Oh, excuse me. Don't you prove me wrong, sir. There you go. He's run back out again. So yeah, you can just kind of, um, wait, I need to eat some berries. Hold on. Let me get my, can I equip my, my daggers? It's a bit dark this shenanigans I don't, I don't know if i remember that being hyenas here but oh shit okay there's a guy with eye with glowing eyes if you see if you see any dogs with glowing eyes you better run away from them that's what i gotta say you better run away the, the early game i think we're just gonna keep going i don't want to fight a bunch of them yeah i've never seen that um i've never noticed that kind of like stone st uh, wood stuff there before on the ground and i feel like i've seen everything in this game <laughs> certainly like around here i feel like i've definitely been everywhere in this game multiple times um so yeah we're going to run up to sepamaru basically that's the plan that's the plan my favorite place because i'm playing single player as well i would want some kind of feeling of inhabitation you know um but yeah i mean so yeah i'm planning to do some i want to do some fun building um and yeah kind of give you my sort of my tips and tricks but also like learning the new parts of the game um i'm excited for the server all oh, right do i need to do some screenshots already how do i take off my hud in this is it vanity v 
Okay, there you go. That's the first screenshot of the day. Um, it's a beautiful game. It's going to be a lot of screenshots. Um, am I going the right direction? Yeah. Okay, we, we broke our torch. Oh, I'm going to be humming a lot as well. I love the music in this game. Anyone in chat know if you need to do anything special to use a Prime sub mindset is available on September 1st, but I can't use it. I haven't used I haven't used it already. Hello, Turbo. Um you need to connect your Amazon account. Um Oh hello. I feel like they've they've definitely changed the the thingy bars, haven't they? Oi. You got anybody with daggers you must run away from. Um you gotta yeah, you just gotta connect your Amazon account. Have you done that? And then you can just uh click on the thing to use the prime that's it um i don't know if i'm gonna fight all these people because i i don't want to get deadified oh okay let's get away from that arrow dude um archers have perfect um perfect you can't dodge an arrow in this game as far as i know <laughs> you just can't you just can't. They're just unless you have a shield, you can't do anything about it. I don't know if you if you roll dodge actually if you can do something. Um, because this that you could I think of all the gorgeous places you can build around here. It's just freaking beautiful. Um, Prime subscription will be available on September one. Interesting. That's weird. Mine normally runs out a few hours before I can use it again. Yeah. Gotcha. Hmm. Good to see you, Turbo. Hope you're well. Alrighty. So yeah, there's lots of little NPC camps along the way. Um, we can murder some some of these lovely crocodiles. We need to cook some food soon because we're pretty hungry. We do have some food. Um, we can make a campfire. So maybe we'll fight these enemies. Um, I can't equip my daggers while I'm swimming. What is that? Oh, it's a baby! Hi! Okay. I just picked it up and now I'm over encumbered because I don't have any points in encumbered, so we're going to have to drop it. I apologise. So when you drop stuff, it's in like a little bag. Um, Listen. Listen. I don't want to take on three of you at the same time. I'm not... I don't have... I don't have a lot of confidence in that. Um, you gain XP as you move around the map. You gather... Like, you gather materials. You discover areas. Um... We haven't really healed since we last took damage. Okay, am I going to be able to take... Am I going to be able to do this? There's three of them, chat. That's three chumps. Oh, I'm not actually hitting them here. Look at the way we run. Look, we look like a right derp. Look at that. What is that run? I don't like it. Fix it. <laughs> Fix it, Funcom. I don't like... What is... Hit? Okay, I think we're going to get deaded. Okay, everybody's feeling very aggressive right now. Oh, can we get some eggs? There's no eggs here. Why are there no eggs? Okay, let's move along a little bit. <laughs> let's make ourselves a fire so we can cook some food. Um, just running along this gorgeous river. Okay, can I make a fire? Um, we got to learn how to make a fire first. So survival tab is kind of helpful. Hmm... Where do I learn to make a fire? Here it is. F to learn it. Oh, does it tell me? Does it tell me? No, it always told me that. Spent one. I don't know if it always said spent. Um, so I want to want to make a fire to eat some food. Uh, I play when you switch between like multiple games in a week, like survival games in a week. It's just, I guess it's so confusing, doesn't it, chat? Am I right? Oh, that looks different. Okay. Uh, let's cook some meat. Throw in some... Press play. Throw in some fuel for it. I can make some gruel if we wanted. Oh, oh, I'm starving. Okay. Let me eat some berries. Or I'll eat some bugs. Tasty bees. Okay. We'll gather some more berries as we, as we go. Da, da, da. Hello, Razor. Hello, lovely. How are you doing? Welcome back. Good to see you. 
Um, I changed the colour for our channel, so it's like... Um, it's like a darker purple. I feel like that's why your message looks different. But yeah, how is everybody doing? Are you excited for the launch? Are you going to play this game? you want to play on our server? What's your plans? Okay, awesome, awesome, awesome. Do, do, do. Just gathering some berries for emergencies. We've got a bit of a long run coming up. Um, this is going to screw with my muscle memory <laughs> when I go back to Ark. I'm going to be pressing tab and activating console commands. Okay, so I'm eating this food. We've got a, got a journey step. Ba -da -dum -bum. So let's see if we can repair our things as well. Repair this. Prepare that, prepare that. Ba -da -dum -bum. I might increase the um I might increase like the speed at which I get purges and things like that once I'm kind of established. Um I love purges. Purges are super fun. Like when you're prepared for them. When you're not prepared for them and you're like new to the game, it can be can be very frustrating. The first purge I ever had I was like I was or like proper purge. I was like, oh my god, I hate this. Let's turn it off. Um, okay, we've repaired some stuff. Let's pick this. Ooh. Oh. Move. Move placeable. Oh. Interesting. How do I get out of that then? How do I cancel that? Return to inventory. Hmm. There's like a little puff of smoke interesting that is new um what did i just drop is it stone yeah i don't need to carry stone okay let's head up to sep hello hello just got connected to the server wandering around yay yay i'm so excited i'm so excited yeah let me know if like um let me know if you have any issues or anything i think everything should be fine i've i am um, I had like a check of all the settings and stuff like a few times before I started. Okay. The one thing is try not to run out of stamina because the penalty is annoying. Um, yeah, I put it on two times harvesting. I've explained why. Um, and I, I think we'll we'll keep it like that. I think probably at some point in the future, um, at some point in the future we will um, we'll add some basic quality of life mods. But I want to see what we need first because, you know, um, obviously the game has been changed so much, um, like, t as of today. I want to get to, like, get to know what the game is like, um, and what, you know, what we need, what's missing. Because I think, you know, you don't want mods unless something's missing, do you? So, I'm sure, like, um, things like Hippie, and I don't know if Hussav is still doing that mod, um, but some, like, uh, UI mods and things like that maybe we'll see what it's like with um, like hairstyles and stuff and um, you know the other thing is because because they've added um, monetization to the game as well there's a battle pass for cosmetic stuff um, it'll be interesting to see like what the mods the modders kind of do around that um, because obviously there were, there were already a lot of free things in the game for PC players um which, I mean, it's great that they've incorporated some of those things in the game, especially if it means that console players will be able to kind of, you know, um, get a bit of love and be able to change their character and things. You know, when you've played this game a lot, you're like, you're just, you're just crying out for some things to change and modify. Um, um, oi! Oh, that cripple. That cripple is crippling, that's what I have to say. I'll try and escape you. I'm going to run through this camp. I don't know if I'm going to... Oh, if they... Okay, I should be able to run through here and survive. Um, but arrows are... Oh, sugar plum fairies. Arrows are a problem. Get away from me! I don't have a bed roll down. Poopies. Stay away from me! Oh, God. This is kind of risky, but it honestly... So as long as I manage my stamina and let it regen in between little bursts... Um, then it's not too bad. And they will eventually, because they are all tethered, NPCs are all tethered, they will eventually stop following me and they will return. And I will know because... Oh, shitting hell! <laughs> I will know. I will know because the music will stop. 
Okay, I'm going to do a bit of serpentine. The animation is definitely different. It does seem... I guess in a way it does seem a little more natural. Oh, shit. Oh, there's a name. Oh, it's Cannibal Brute. Okay. Um, they should normally have gone back by now. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Off you go. Piss off. Okay. Okay. So we survived. The take home from that is that we survived and nothing bad happened. Um, let's make some... Let's heal ourselves up. So cheapest, cheapest chips. Healing wraps. <laughs> uh, had to step away and try pausing your live stream. I think I need more coffee. Hello, Godsmack. Hello, lovely. Um, I have a question about that. Challenges are the rewards account bound, so you have them on any CV player. Uh, yes, that is a good question. I don't know the answer to that. Yeah. Um, I have, yeah, I'm not sure about that. We're going to have to find out. We're going to find out together, chat. Um, I want to run over here because there is an emote that I want to grab on my way. I don't know how I feel about this animation. I have to get used to it. Every time they've changed anything though, um, you know, I've been like, uh. I really, I still miss like the really far roll dodge that we used to have. I used to run around with just like a dress on and um, uh, like a dancer's outfit and like fight fight world bosses with my, with my thrall. Um, and I would just kind of like, just uh, slash them with my um with my sword and like roll back and i'd roll back so far it was so fun i miss those days i miss those days so i'm gonna watch this there you go so now we can do now we can do a dance there you go perfect there you go perfect happy happy days happy days okay so that's all i wanted to grab on our way through um yeah so let me know if do you are you have you played this game before chat have you like um are you new to it are you been waiting for something to happen to it before you played it um we're gonna need to put some points into into encumbrance uh so expertise we want so we need some more points okay but at least we've we've healed up fully which is great um we could go that way this is my usual route um we're gonna stick to that i think all this land just nobody else to share it with makes me very excited i'm gonna build something big and obnoxious played for like an hour or two toto was pretty confused never gone back really um yeah i mean if you have any questions like ask away um beware the green wall um the green wall is connected to your bracelet if you run into the green wall you will die it's it's the boundary of your exile basically um is this an online pvp server i heard it has a lot of cheaters online um so i'm currently playing single player um we have a pve uh, online server there is a battle eye um, program that is is running which prevents cheating um but as is i mean pe cheating i don't think is a problem in pv well it's definitely not a problem in pve not that in my experience anyway um so yeah because I mean, there's no point in it really there's no problem with it no point in it there's nothing to hide from them you know i guess in terms of like purges maybe but um hello samurai josh hello hello um well we're just kind of we're running up to sepa maru um i i we're experiencing it as we go. I've only just got started. So yeah, join us and uh, we'll see how we get on. Um, uh, I, I don't know how I feel about the, like, the animation's a little bit different on the lady initially. Um, I'm going to have to get to grips with the new attributes points, uh, attributes kind of uh, system. Um, but yeah, I've, I've made a point of not um, watching um, video guides and videos about it before playing as I wanted to have the adventure, you know. I already know, like, everything about the map as it stood. So I'm very excited for new content, basically. Um, so, yeah, we're just going to go and get ourselves established at my favourite place. Uh, it's always the same. It's always the same. It's a crafted map. It's not procedurally generated. Um, it would be pretty cool if they could make a procedurally ger generated map, though. That would be amazing. <clears throat> just think about the... I think people would love that, probably. If it was an option uh but there's there's basically exiled lands which is this map here this one here um 
it's a it's a decent sized map this is like this is unexplorable apparently this is where all the dungeons are located in terms of the memory and stuff i don't know um and then there's also there's a dlc map called uh sipta the isle of sipta which is beautiful really really nice as well which i might play after this at some point in the future um but yeah it's a, it's awesome i love this game so much i've mentioned that before <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to get a journey step by just running in here and running back out again on our way up for a bit of XP. She just runs funny. I don't know. She runs like, I don't know. She runs, she runs a bit like an old woman or something. I don't know. Conan. I've not mentioned Conan today, Dave, at all. What are you talking about? I've never, I haven't mentioned it. I've been very quiet about that game. All right, let's get a bit of a discovery. The sky looks very pretty. Oh, well, give me my discovery game. Go away. Leave me alone. Nobody likes you. Ooh, why haven't I discovered it yet? Come on now. Come on now. Where's my discovery? Did I already discover it? What is this nonsense? Hello? Game? Where am I? <laughs> That's weird. Did it pop up, chat, and I was just yapping or something? Okay, okay there we go. Okay, so before, you didn't have to run this far in to let to, to, to explore. So this is the unnamed city, basically, where we are here. This big orange monstrosity on the map. Very dark and foreboding sort of place. Okay, let's avoid all the enemies. Yeah, you go. So we've got some XP. Just for running in and running out again. So exploring is is very rewarding in this game. Obviously just because it's fun and also because new enemies and things. Um, you can pretty much outrun everything in the game as long as you manage your stamina. Um, <clears throat> hello Godzilla, hello, hello. Uh, when are you playing Ark? Uh, Wednesdays on YouTube. Uh, yeah, Wednesdays on YouTube and Saturdays uh, on the stream now. So, yeah, Wednesdays and Saturdays are ARC days. We're currently playing Aberration, for anybody who's new here. Um, and, yeah, and there will be videos going up of ARC as well, onto the U-tubes. There's about three three going up uh, in the next couple of days. Okay, hey, got a bit of XP. Let's try and get, right, get away from that scorpion. Jawbone. Okay, so we should have some points to spend. Let's put some points into encumbrance now. So I'm sure there are new things I need to learn about. This is a really good place to come for um, iron, by the way. Iron and stone, just generally around here. <clears throat> it's, it's a decent place to build as well. Although no water, which uh, is early game isn't ideal. And it's a bit bleak, I think. You know, it's not a lot of not a lot of comfort these big trees you can you can build in or like you know build a tree house they are not destructible <coughs> um, I'm gonna make sure I don't pick up so much stuff that I'm over encumbered constantly yeah so I'm gonna spend points in things that I know I need to play the game like I know I need um some stamina i know that i need a bit of health i know i need like strength um but i'm gonna kind of um apart from that things that i need to just run around the map i'm gonna obviously have to learn how to spend my points again because i've uh i've never i haven't seen it i haven't learned about this new attribute system it's a good place to get some rhino hide just here and thick leather although there is a Big boy over there you do not wish to mess with. So show you. He's like, he honestly, I think at any point of the game, he is the most, possibly one of the most scary bosses for me. For me. I mean, in terms of like world bosses anyway. Um, because of that attack. That attack will stack a lot of bleed on you. Um, and if you're not wearing, like in this state, without any like armor no vitality he would just one bang me it would just be dead i'd be dead can points be reset we stuck with what you choose oh yeah you can reset points you could you could always reset points definitely mm -hmm. 
So I'm assuming, I, unless they've changed it, they may have changed it, but the Potion of Best of Your Memory is the one that lets you reset your attribute points and you can do it as many times as you want on vanilla settings. It's uh, it's it's actually like one of the nicest things about the game. <clears throat> if you want to go harvesting or something, you can, I have to uh, bear in mind, uh, bear in mind they may have changed it. You may, maybe you can no longer, maybe there's no longer a, an ability um maybe there's no longer an ability to max out encumbrance at move at full speed we could have a look actually um but that was quite a nice thing to do for harvesting um structure you build a 25 percent more stable whenever encumbrance you can dodge and move it for okay beast of burden so beast of burden which is the this one okay it's not gonna let me uh this one here this is what you want when you're harvesting um twice as likely to gather rare resources when harvesting okay uh, final hit when harvesting grants twice as many resources. So it used to be that you would uh, put points into survival so that you could harvest resources twice as fast and that you would max out your encumbrance when you're harvesting things. That was super fun. This is Sapper Maru. This is my, f probably my, f yeah, my favourite place on Exiled Lands uh, because it's a city, but it's a peaceful city, um, which is lovely. Um, so as long as you don't attack anybody here... Nobody will attack you. But if you do attack somebody, you better be ready to run away. Or... You can climb something. And they will forget about you. And they will forget about you in such a way that... Um, forever. Until you do something again. See, we're friends now. Good friends. Perfect friends forget about when you've punched them. Do you know what I mean? That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> that's perfect. And that's kind of helpful for when we come to knock out thralls. I find that really helpful. Uh, because they keep their torpidity as well. Um, so that's good. They've definitely changed like um, the way that uh, health bars appear. Um... All right, let's continue to where I usually like to build. I don't know if I'm going to build over here. I don't know if I'm going to build overlooking the city near the obelisk. Hmm. I'll show you where I usually build, though. It's my absolute favourite. There's a potion that allows you to reset points. Yeah, there is a potion. It's like, it's uh, it's a bit of a meme, but I would like fill fridges with that potion because I would just reset my attributes like multiple times a day because I would go between like, um, you know, oh, Luba the Luscious. We've got a named uh, dancer already. That's cool. I find you always stumble across somebody who you would want to maybe tame, thrall, befriend. Let's use the word befriend, chat. Um, like when you first went in there, like, I haven't got anything. So I'm glad it's somebody, a dancer, who I don't really care about too much. Um, this is like a marketplace. Um, it's not that good. It's not that good. You can buy stuff for coins. Um, we don't have any silver coins yet. But you can you can pick up coins from bodies and things like that. Um, there's also a silver mine where you can harvest silver and you can craft silver coins for yourself. Some of the people have quite useful stuff. Um, who is it? This one sells mystery meat soup. So this one, I don't know if they've changed it, but this one would buff your survival. I don't know what it does now. Um, that if you play on like full nudity, they're just topless, just randomly topless vendors. This game is. It's just such a spicy game. Um, glass flask. So this is the one thing that I generally will spend silver coins on. Um, because I like to dye things. <laughs> I like to dye things. And so um, you need a lot of glass flasks to make lots of dyes. Um, everybody else I feel like is... Eh, just not really worth it. You know. So you, yeah. You can use gold and silver though to craft alchemical base though. Which is something that becomes quite useful later on in the game. This is a good place to come for um, for taskmasters, although <laughs> you have to be really careful because you can just get dyed really easily in here. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, this is my favourite place on the map. If you're playing on an official server, um, this is my favourite place on a map. And I probably shouldn't say this, but the reason this is perfect is you will get... Unless they've changed it, and I don't think they have. If you build right here, you will get human-only purges. Just right here. You have this incredible view. 
and you'll get human only purchase if you build over that way where that rock is you will get animal purchase including bugs and things but right here you'll get um relic hunters um i forget what else like pirates um yeah just human only purchase and human only purchase are very valuable in this game because when you get a purge you can get um npcs who can work for you crafters and fighters particularly the crafters uh, because you know the fight is very in quality um i don't know if we're gonna build here chat shall we build right here shall we build right here maybe we should maybe we should i think that seems good um well we'll, we'll do our first base here i like it because we can get we can get to a task ta taskmaster we have a good view of everything we'll buy some water we have some basic resources i don't know <clears throat> let's do it it's a tradition this is why i always build um, so we want to put down, I guess, a bedroll. Let's do a bedroll. Um, and we're going to put down, we're just going to make ourselves a little, a little shack. Well, they've changed the way this looks, haven't they? It's a bit more like, um, see-through now. Okay. So we have a bedroll ready. Can I not right click to turn that off? Do I have to press three again? <clears throat> okay. Um, we're going to want a box because we're going to be over encumbered really quickly. I seem to be losing my voice suddenly. <coughs> um, can I learn how to make a box? Um, what would a box be? Uh, here we go, box maker. So we're gonna first thing we're gonna do is make a box. Um, being over encumbered is a pain in the butt in these games, honestly. Um, but you know, we'll get friends eventually, and they'll be able to carry stuff for us um i'm missing that first perk in agility chat i'm not gonna lie um so let's get some wood first so we can make a box and then we'll we, there's a little bits of iron here there's a little bits of stone it's kind of helpful um so we're just gonna make ourselves like a little initial base um there's also water over there um which is kind of nice so maybe we'll refill maybe we'll refill our water skin and maybe we'll craft a second one for ourselves couple of those <clears throat> hello soul stalker how are you doing um long time i see how you doing love this game so happy playing it yeah very excited soul stalker very very excited and we've got a server launch today which everybody's welcome to join details are in the discord I'd like to so this yeah this guy is my it's a pain in the ass the um spawns are all kind of like predictable you know it's always for, in terms of animals i would say that guy is always there. Some, sometimes he has a chance to be like a much tougher version of himself. Okay. So let me make a better torch. Um, let's make a few. The torches don't really weigh much. Um, and it's just easier to have multiples, I think, um, than to have to keep crafting them. Um, and I can chop some trees. Ooh, gather stuff. Unlike Valheim, when you've got like a tool in your hand, you can and arc, you can gather stuff as you're holding a tool, which is nice. Just press E. I don't want to be over encumbered here. I could fight this guy and get some XP. And so I might actually raise my gamma while I do this. Um, where is it? Let's crank up the gamma. I don't know if that's actually helped me much, to be honest. Has that helped? Just fighting in the dark. I'm just going to stack some bleed on him and roll away. Have we gained anything at all? I think they've changed that, honestly. I don't want to get damaged. So you can just, we could just like slash and then run away a little bit. Wait, did I put my tools away? I feel like, I feel like we're be actually worse off for increasing the gamma. They've changed that chat. There's no question. I think it's always just made it a bit washed out. But, um... I don't know. Maybe that's like a nerf for PvP. Okay. So, okay, there's another guy coming over. Hello, buddy. I could fight you too. Oh, so we gotta watch out for one skulls. I'm just gonna fight you very slowly. Just gonna stack some bleed, move away. I think he'd probably kill me in like two hits. Could you not? Could you just not? Just gotta manage my stamina. I don't want to get hit by you. There you go, you've hit. Oh yes, look at that, look at that chat. So yeah, he doesn't, um, 
he doesn't seem to stop after his after striking me so we're going to just lose aggro from him by going in the water and then i'm going to use a binding heal up um gotta go eat all right lovely all right all right hello s4 boy sub boy Sorcery is already live. I'm at work, so I haven't had the chance to take a look at it. How does Battle Pass look like? Is it bad? Hello, Saboy. We haven't had a look at the Battle Pass yet. We haven't had a look yet. We are going to. Welcome. Good to have you here. Um, yeah, we're going to have a look at that. I just want to get somewhere safe first. We've just literally run up from um, from New River. We've run up to Sepp We're just going to get like a little shack sorted. Um, I don't want to fight that guy. I don't think I have any means of winning. <laughs> at this point certainly not in the darkness um let me get my torch back out i do like that you keep your torch in your hand when you're um swimming oh have they changed oh there's some eggs here we can pick up so as long as i keep moving then i shouldn't get deaded um from these guys like the, the these guys the no no skulls they're absolutely fine but this these skulled people. Early game. If it was a even if it was, mm, I could dodge it. If it was a croc, I could dodge it. But he doesn't seem to. Um, he doesn't seem to pause between hits, so I'm, I don't have a lot of I have a lot of confidence about that. I could take all these on apart from him. And um, the little babies that you see, wherever you see a baby animal on the map, you can click E on it, and you could pick you could pick it up. But be careful because it weighs fifty whatever 50 of whatever 50 pounds i don't know chat 50 something and it will make you over encumbered and if you pick up a baby and there's like adults around or whatever you know or any danger and you suddenly become encumbered it's a good way to get dead definitely okay let's go back in the water for safety see why i like this game <laughs> uh, let me put my gamma back because it looks awful gamma 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 Let's put it back to 2.2, which is my preferred number. There you go. Better fact, better fact, better fact. Okay, well, we can drink some water while we're in here. We're already full. We can fill our water cat uh, thingies. Wait, what do I do? Do I have to press E on it? Uh, okay, I can just left click on it. I could just double. Can I? And click F, definitely. Okay. Awesome. Um, so yeah, we wanted to fill some water things. Let's just get away from here because it's a bit too hectic. Uh, we do have to worry about that cat over there. We could maybe moider the cat. <clears throat> okay. Ah, you can't get me because the water is your nemesis. <laughs> Um, we have some steak. I would like to kill some more of those guys for meat. Um, have they changed the colour of the berries? No? Okay, let's try and take on this cat so we can harvest the trees around here in peace. Look at the way I run! I look like such an idiot. Look at this. Do, 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 do. Hello, sir. I know you wish to moider me. i to get used to combat again i have um i haven't really ever stopped playing this game like kind of I sort of dip in and like i have a i was there's always this server with, with a character of mine on it somewhere could you not could you just not could you okay apparently you can like could you get away from me <laughs> i don't wish to get dieted stop it Ooh. Oh, okay. I wonder if they've done something to battle. I need to read the patch notes, but I didn't want to kind of spoil everything for myself. Okay, he's lost He's lost interest, so we can heal up. Uh, hopefully he won't heal, actually. I think he will heal. Um. Okay, can't move while I'm healing myself. Is he healed up? Let me see. Yeah, he's, he's healed. Okay, so maybe we'll try again. Yeah. 
I just run around you. I don't want to die. Do you know what I mean? Okay. I feel that we <laughs> feel that we might die if we try and fight you. <laughs> We're not ready yet. I'm not ready to fight you, sir. <laughs> I don't have a lot of knife confidence right now. Okay. But like like the others, he's allergic to the water, so that's okay. <clears throat> okay. Let's make some more bondages. Ba -bam, ba -bam, ba -bam. Okay, we're just going to avoid him. Gather some materials. I'm going to get over encumbered really quickly. So I'm going to try and craft stuff as I go. Ah. Um, so with the building stuff, do I use a build hammer for it? Um... I learn, yeah, construction. Begin any construction with this hammer. Okay. Construction hammer. Craft one of those. This is new. It used to be that you crafted everything in here. Now everything to do with building is is made with the build hammer. Um, and I can click that and it will queue up anything else that I need to make. It'll just make it automatically, which is nice. Here is the battle pass. <clears throat> um, buy battle pass buy the battle pass to start claiming rewards battle premium battle pass unlocks 15 levels immediately oh of the battle pass so do i start with coins i don't have any coins buy crumb coins oh my Wait, so what do I need? Battle pass is... The premium battle pass is 3,000 coins. Oh, look at this. Look at this. I would need... I would need to spend £35 to get the coins I need for the premium. This is really cheeky, the way they do this. It's six th 2,640 crumb coins is is 20 quid. Uh, sorry, dollars. Why is it in dollars? Oh, why is it... How do I change it? No, it's showing dollars. Um, but $20 for this amount. But they've done that on purpose. You need 3000 to buy that one. That's that's kind of annoying. Um, and then, so what can I what can I buy if I had a battle pass? Or with, with coins, I guess. Some protective armor. This item can be found in the ancestral knowledge category of the knowledge menu when claimed. Floor paint. Pentacle. When the survivors of the lost Atlantis reach safety on the Thurian continent, much of their arts and culture left behind. So this is just like a, a ceiling piece? A floor piece? Oh, it's a way of painting the floor. Okay. Crumb coins. Unlock two levels to claim this item or grant crumb coins to your account. So my understanding is that if you buy one battle pass, this is their argument, if you buy one battle pass, then there are kind of challenges and things to do within the game um, and if you complete those challenges then you will gain through playing the chrome coins you need to get the second battle pass so you never have to buy another one although the concern is that um the concern is that you'll want more things and that you'll always want more kind of like um you'll how do i say you'll burn through your coins grant me chrome coins and if you do not listen then hell with you <laughs> yeah yeah it's so cheeky though when things do when i feel like overwatch does that as well you need like a certain amount of something and it's like a cheeky amount it's like oh well you know you get you're just short of it just spend 20 dollars mm. yeah i don't know how i feel about that i'm gonna try and go without buying anything chat for as long as possible like you know we'll see see what happens but it should just be cosmetic items, placeables, that kind of thing. We'll see. It shouldn't be anything that... It shouldn't be... Apparently, it's not pay to win, etc, etc. Um, so if I can't make a box here, where's my little build hammer? Can I build... Can I build a little box? Oh. 
Okay, so I've only learnt that um, foundation piece. Um, so maybe that's why it's the only thing that's appearing. Pick piece is middle mouse button. Construction inventory is F1. Switch to remove mode, right mouse button. Remove is left mouse button. Exit building mode is X. Mm hmm. So what if I learn more things? Um, let's click F on these little things. And then we go back to our build hammer. Pick piece is middle, middle mouse button. It isn't showing me any other things. Construction inventory. It's F1. Hmm. Right mouse button. The only thing it's letting me do is, is the foundation. Maybe because that's the only thing that I can use first. Hmm. Okay. Let's go make a box anyway. And then we'll gather some stones and we'll kind of nearby and we'll start placing them there. Probably that you need a foundation to put everything else. Yeah, I was thinking that for Dakin. Yeah. We'll see, we'll see. Let's get a bit of XP from harvesting an iron node. Harvest iron. Progress one of ten. Ah, okay. So this has got to be one of the... There's also the bazaar, which is just a random shop. Um, emote bundle, ancient armaments, black magic starter kit. This is like decorations, sandstone set. Thirteen days to build to purchase this. So I believe this is another version of like sandstone building pieces, which just has like has like taller walls. I think different cosmetic appearances and stuff. Bookcase. I don't know, chat. It feels ex it feels like a lot of money. You know what I mean? Duo candelabra. I don't know why it's in dollars for me. I feel like it should be showing it. I don't know. Maybe it. I don't know. If I click on this, what happens? It does a redirect. Um, are you on a US server? This is single player. It's not a server. Our we do have a community server, uh, which is anyone can join through the Discord. Da -da -da. So there is a challenge to collect ten nodes of iron, but I don't. There you go. It's kind of come up again, but I don't know where it tells me about that. Um, that challenge. Where does it tell me about challenges? Challenges. Okay, that's... I'm dumb. Okay, so here are challenges. And what do these challenges give me? Do they give me coins? Crumb coins? Harvest black ice. Pick up feathers from a vulture nest. Pray to the grave on Telus Island. Harvest iron. Visit the shrine of the oracle. Okay. Interesting. They give XP to further your battle pass. Over. I see. And so I wonder... So imagine if you really didn't want to, to, to spend any money, right? And if you do all this stuff and you haven't got a battle pass... Or you don't want to like participate in the battle pass. Is this not like reminding you constantly if you do things that you have to do anyway? Hello, Tem. Is this where the programmers co Conan hang out? It is absolutely Tem. Yep. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. Programmers only. Um, how are you doing, lovely? Hello, Steel. Microtransactions for cosmetics. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So, so it's constantly telling me. That I have, because I I'm gonna have to gather so much iron in this game. Um, by the way, I'm on two times harvesting. Um, I I will, but I will if I do any like 
like big builds and stuff i'm going to do it in creative mode just to kind of explore um but yeah my concern is if i have say if i have an issue with spending money right hello Mustin. hello lovely if i have an issue with spending money and i don't want to buy the battle pass i'm like oh it's okay i'm just not going to buy it is it kind of pestering me by telling me constantly that i have gathered nine against ten for this thing or is the battle pass something that because i don't have a battle pass this is my this is my concern if people want to avoid um just not participate in it is it not some means of pestering us hmm this is this is a concern i'm kind of i mean i'll keep an open mind chat it's a concern of mine if i if i don't wish to participate can i switch that off hmm um i have food what kind of food do you have tim tell the chat tell us all i should drink some coffee hmm Da, 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 I love me i love me a burger but sweet potato fries they're just not fries they're just they're a different thing i just i don't know why you'd have sweet potato i know that's controversial some people are like oh uh, why would you have fries if you can have sweet potato fries it's so much better no i don't agree kind of coffee you're rocking today this is black coffee from a from a french press yes indeedy it does sound very nice it does sound very nice i mean i would eat it oh i feel like we walk faster than we walk in pretty fast. That is definitely the, a different animation when you're over encumbered. I'm like pressing shift. That like little quick, quick wiggle is different than it used to be. To. Um, okay, okay, we got some, we got some bits and bobs. Let's get back and set up our little. I don't want to like spend too long building and stuff like that. Um, I want to kind of, but I want to have like a little safety area. If we have a sandstorm, that kind of thing, I want to be safe. They're different, but they're both good. Yeah. Hello, fluffy puppy. Hello, hello. How's it going? Welcome in. Ba -da 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 are you are you a sweet potato fry person, Mutton? I'm a. Why would I have that when I can have normal potatoes? Do you know what I'm saying? All you sweet potato fries are <laughs> fries too. Oh, I see. Now I see. Now I know how you feel about it um so let's try this shiznit out so how do i raise it so it used to be oh yeah yeah if you hold shift it lets you and then i use my mouse button let's get ourselves like a little house set up here so a little shack for ourselves somewhere to lay our heads when there is a oh Oh, I just pressed right. Oh, so right click is remove. Interesting. Um, all right, left click. Um, right mouse button. Okay, so right. Okay, right mouse button toggles on remove and place. Okay. Okay. So we've placed enough pieces for it to think that we've we want to home okay so now i want to do like walls um how do i do walls let me do i have to learn walls first i think da, 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 da. have i learned how to make walls yet yes i've learned how to make walls so how do i how do i build a wall um construction inventory f oh okay here we go here we go um building pieces okay so these are all the building pieces i can currently make um, I can click on them and I, I don't have to like wait for them to craft anymore. We used to kind of have to tell it how many we wanted to make. Um, it now tells me how many I can place based on the resources that I have in my inventory. Crafting stations. So this is a crafting station that I can build, I guess. These are decorations that I can make. Okay. I don't have any twine. Okay. So let's do some... Um, let's actually... Hold on. Uh, F. Let's start with a door because doors are handy start with a door 
Um, and then F again. We'll do a couple of windows. Do, 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 do. We just do windows everywhere. I don't think the windows are going to give me any problems. Um, we don't really have a lot of neighbours here. Do, do, do. Do, 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 do. Okay, now I want a door. Gives a door. So I don't have any twine for that. So let's try and... I can't build a wooden box because I don't have any twine. Alright, so we're going to have to walk very over-encumbered. I can't throw things on the ground in this game, unfortunately. Um, exit build mode. Because... Okay, wait. I can, I can build myself some stairs. I think that's going to be nice. Um, likes. Thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Um, there we go. We've got some stairs to get in our little shack. Uh, yeah, I can't throw things on the floor in this game, unfortunately, because things will despawn very quickly. Um, this is look at the way we walk after when we're over encumbered. It's like they've sped it up so it's less unforgiving, maybe. Um, so I am very slow right now. I definitely don't want to get into any fights. Um, but there's no one here that should mess with me while I'm gathering. Um, you can't throw stuff in in this game, sad while home noises, yeah. Um how how do yeah, what's I gonna say? Yeah, you can throw it, but there's no like store in it on the floor. There's no floor storage in this game, unfortunately. Um it is lovely though, it is nice. It's nice that you know you can always you can just hover over a box and see what's inside it and that kind of thing. And, um you can auto sort and that kind of thing. It's very nice. We do walk a, a bit faster when we're over encumbered. That's that's nice. I like that. Uh, but yeah, it's it's very easy to remain organised because you just chuck stuff on the floor at your feet as soon as you need to. It's perfect for me. <laughs> yeah. Um, so the Valheim stream was um, was cancelled on Monday because uh, because my shoulder slash arm has been kind of painful. Um, I I'm I'm desperate to kind of continue that series a modded series of Valheim um so I think at some point this week I will tag it on to another stream um I'm, I don't want to say which day yet um but I will I will see how I feel and try and tag it on basically because I'm keen to progress because there's so many fun things to explore in that Ooh. okay we harvested the iron that we needed for this thing challenges claim reward 40 xp it's changed now to harvesting hops with a sickle we can re-roll the challenges if we want to we can do this i don't care oh eat a cooked meal harvest iron defeat hyenas no oh you could re-roll a few times gather a lotus flower Visit the Forgotten City of Zaha. Okay, so this image never changes. Visit the Forgotten City of Zaha. Mm -hmm. How's your arm shoulder? It doesn't feel too bad right now because I think my brain is drugged up with happiness from playing this game. Um, if that makes any sense whatsoever. Um, maybe I'm sitting in a position where it's not really hurting too much. Um, but it isn't great. Yeah, it's not great. Um, so, yes. Um, I shouldn't be, I probably won't, yeah, I can't place this here. I'm used to right-clicking to cancel, but I have to, like, go back to two. Okay. Um, so what do we want? We, we we wanted some twine, didn't we? Let's craft some twine. There we go. Let's get loads of twine. We can gather some stone and some wood while we're at it. Do, 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 do. Ah, yes, the good old hype cue. <laughs> You triggered, you triggered the hype. <laughs> yeah. It is, it is true though, isn't it? You know, if you're like, it's funny how pain goes away when you're like, when you're excited about something. You know, if you kind of forget. Yeah. So my frames are really good right now. Um, I think I will improve my, the way the game looks a bit, possibly, or try to. Um...
Is that... I don't know how I feel about it, chat. The only problem I've got is that I did play Sipta a bit, and Sipta just looks so much nicer. Like, they really... They just made the game look so much prettier. I would like to have seen them do that to Exile Bands, you know? That would have been good. Um, but it's performing fine. Um, it just... Yeah. Look at that feet movement. Kind of bend her ankles in the wrong direction for a second. So yeah, this is a nice little spot for starting out. Just because there's so many NPCs nearby. Like early game when you're farming loads of thralls. Harvest iron progress one. It's pestering me, chat. I feel pestered. I feel pestered. As somebody who's trying to ignore the battle pass. I mean, we're, we're going to learn about it and that kind of thing. Okay, I'm going to have to eat something. Let's eat some bugs. Um, what do, Can I press F? Yeah. Just spam a load of bugs. Tasty, tasty bugs. Lots of protein. My cat's like, yeah, yeah, they are, they are good. They are good. Definitely. All right. Let's cook some food while we're doing this shiznit. Ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -da -dum. Oh, interesting. Can I access you? Yep. Yeah. Let's put some uh, meat in there. Something to burn. We'll burn some branches. Six minutes. Have they changed? Have they nerfed branches? I feel like they should last longer than that. Well, we're going to have too many branches any anyway. Um, I really need to make a freaking box. Um, seven. Seven, seven. So F to access the menu. And then build a box. Okay. I do like this new, like, uh, invisible... How do you say chat? Transparent? Kind of appearance? That's kind of cool. Just put some boxes because, okay, uh, X to, I keep trying to right click to end it. Right, let's just put all our resources in here. Pour some sauce. Um, we're going to need more wood, definitely, because we just used a bunch. Um, ba -ba -ba -da -da. We can eat, we can eat eggs. Um, we can make some potions, some of these aloe potions. Honestly, does anybody use anything better than these these days? Okay, we'll just craft loads of those. They are going to weigh a bit, though, so that's the only thing. They are going to weigh us down. Let's get some more triage. Okay, we've gained a level. Um, I'm going to need some encumbrance. So let's put points in expertise. Okay, should help us a bit. Um, you can kind of choose to put points into strength or encumbrance like in the game. En encumbrance is really the smart thing to do, as long as you're not planning on fighting anybody. Um, just because when you're just gathering bits of wood and stone to make a little shack, it's like, you know, it's kind of helpful. But you do get a bunch of XP from fighting enemies. So, you know, you might want to go down the strength route. And then just, it's fun to just eat about and kill things and run into the water and hide. Hello, Omen. Hello. I don't know anything about this game, but I'm a big wizard fanatic. Can you play as a mage in this, or the Age of Silver Sweet is still melee with some side, side spellcasting? Um, how do I say? I don't know. I don't know if you can play as a mage, but there is some... I, honestly, how do I say this? I'm trying to learn as I go, basically. Um, so yeah, we'll see. We'll have to see. Um, I'm doing this blind, mostly. Uh, looks pretty makes me think that need desert biome in valheim yeah it is very very beautiful this game i think um definitely i think sipta looks better honestly and i yeah like i said before i think they should do a kind of some kind of optimization if they can do it if it is possible i don't know to kind of optimize it kind of give it a better appearance on this map but you know the artwork is gorgeous look at the sky didn't always look like that you know look at the twinkling of the sky it's lovely. They added that kind of... Not that long ago. Okay, so these are all people that we can thrall if we want to. Or befriend, if we want to say. We can have a torch out. Um, so we can... We can befriend... <laughs> she says euphemistically. We can befriend, like, uh, fighters and crafters. Um, crafters will... Am I, am I not doing anything to this tree? Is this tree permanent? I don't think I... Okay. I don't think I remember that. Is this also permanent? 
I guess it is. Have I just never tried to harvest those trees before? This one is non-permanent? Yeah. Okay. I was like, why is this tree not going anywhere? Um, yeah, it is a very beautiful game. It is very beautiful. Um, perma tree! Oh, yeah. You're a wizard, Anna. <laughs> yeah. I am very excited to experiment with all the sorcery stuff, definitely. Um have like um i have a couple of like level 60 characters on different servers who i could kind of um if i wanted to kind of like just go and experiment with or whatever but i just want to experience the game as it is now kind of from the beginning you know i think it's a waste of an opportunity to not do that so yeah we're gonna learn it together chat it's very exciting Da, 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 da. Don't listen to her, Anna is a fucking wizard. <laughs> Dave, your language is disgusting. Um, yeah. Absolutely, absolutely appalling. Appalling. Did I... Where is my bedroll? Let's move our bedroll. Return. We can move it, can't we? Move placeable. This is a new thing. Let's put, it, put our bedroll at the back in a grand place. There you go. Befitting, befitting a queen. All right. So can we make... What else can we do? Um, let's give ourselves a roof or something. Treat ourselves. Uh, corner. How do I... Okay. Oh, okay. Uh, oh, interesting. How do I... I don't have any plant fibre. Oh, I see interesting i do love this transparent look it looks very nice um so i'm not okay so they're in red i see so everything in red is something i don't have materials for and it tells me what i need okay so we need to get more plant fiber for a roof um i'm only concerned is I'm, my only concern is that if we get a sandstorm we're probably gonna die although we can heal through it um okay um, oh, I do have some plant fiber and I have some twine. Okay, perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Um, we should probably make us ourselves a furnace as well and smelt down that iron. Um, can I make one? Yeah. All right. And can I make that? Do I make everything with this now? I keep pressing right click thinking it's going to give me... I think I'm thinking about structures plus in arc. If I'm honest. Um, what am I doing? F to access the menu. Crafting stations. There we go. Okay. And I can rotate it. Mm, let's put it next to the bed because we like to smell burning iron when we're sleeping, don't we? Lovely. Should we have two of them? How do we feel about that? Ah, that's okay. We're nice and warm in, in there. Um, let's smelt up a bit of iron. As my friends in over the pond like to say. Excuse me, I know we don't say that. Yes, you do. Okay. Smelt that up. We can leave it in just one of the furnaces. We can split it between them, but we're not in any hurry for iron. Um, all right. All right. Can I make myself a roof? I feel a bit fancy um build i just want like i just want this i think i've never i never use these honestly anyone else anyone else ever make ever, ever use that truths um how do i how do, how do i incorporate that then afterwards i don't know chat is this is this the same as it's always been do we not have normal corners you have played this before, haven't you, Anna? Mm, I think so. <laughs> uh, Jovial, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. If anybody here would like to join our server, by the way, we have a live server that you can join right now. Um, you can just join our Discord. Hmm. I don't know how. <laughs> I don't know about this chat. I don't know if this is gonna work. Uh. I mean, it's very fancy. I don't. <laughs> I don't think it's very effective. But like. Maybe. <laughs> uh, she's a blithering idiot. She doesn't know how to build. Yeah, that's not going to work, is it? 
Um, is it, is it the corners that we... Okay, so let's try our, like... Oh! So I right-click. I right-click to activate removal mode, and then I left-click. Just like a little puff of smoke. <gasps> it gives me my pieces back. Very nice. So how do I just do, like, normal corners? That's what I want to know. That's what I want this to be. <laughs> um, okay, thatch rooftop corner thatch sloped roof that's it isn't it there you go i'm a pro gamer chat i know about all these things there we go there we go the little shack is it's going to be very cozy okay so now we need a bit more plant fiber to build the rest of this roof um i don't like walking around with a torch in the middle of the day put that light out um, exit build mode Okay, so let's get some plant fiber and let's leave some of these um, potions behind because I don't think we're likely to get damaged. I'm going to leave these notes. In fact, let's just drop these because this is just garbage. Da, 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 da. Leave our branches as well. Uh, actually, let's repair some stuff. Hold on. Bear with. Um, how do I repair you? Is it because I'm in a box? There we go. Repair. Da -da, da -da -da -da. The beginning of the game is like, it's pretty grindy. It's like, you know, like Ark, but with less danger, I'd say. Ark is more dangerous, definitely. There's no like compies trying to moider me. Um, and it, and because I know this game really well, I know where to stay. Um, also, Sepamaru, because it's a peaceful place, unless you, you know, go in trying to kill people. Um, it's, you know... Apart from the creatures, obviously. There are animals, obviously, where we went just before. But otherwise, it's a pretty peaceful place to start off the game. Uh, when you do fight the enemies around here, though, they are they are quite high level, so... Um, what was I trying to get? Oh, why have I got so much wood on me? Turds. Let's put it away. Hello, Dixon. Hello, hello. Anna, your house is full of holes in the roof. I don't know what you're talking about. It's the most incredible building anyone has ever made in their lives. Do you know what I'm saying? Um... It's just perfect. You've never built anything this magnificent. Um, oh, I'm so I'm so behind. Um, Sup, dude's a nice box. Thank you very much. Um, oh gosh, I'm so behind. We, do we need an anime wizard? That would be so cool. I can only afford. <laughs> should Dave? You should definitely. Uh, what happens if you die? Is there full loot server option? Um, yes. So, do you mean generally? So, on our server, we have that you drop your loot when you die. I think it's like the natural experience, just the same as Ark. Um, so, you do drop your loot. Um, we also have it on the server set so that other people can't loot your body, though. So, you can only loot your own body. But you can adjust that if you have your own server. I should say now, if anybody wants their own server for this, you can use my link. Um, you can do exclamation mark Nitrado um, to get your own server. That would be very nice. And I would, that would help the stream as well. Uh, please excuse my comments. What is the overall premise of the game besides kind of building fighting things you like don't that don't like you? I know nothing about the game. Uh, the premise of the game: you are an you are exiled to these lands. Basically, um, these these are these markers are the borders of the land. There's a green wall all the way around. You have a bracelet on your wrist um, that is kind of bound to these or whatever. If you try to leave, um, you will die. Okay, so you're alive. You know, this isn't like Valhalla or something or Valheim or whatever. Um, there are bosses to fight, there are enemies to fight, and there are items to gather um, in order to um, trade um, for a means to leave the land, basically. That's the goal of the, of the game. However, if you do that, your character is destroyed and um, you leave, basically. So most people don't ever do that. I have never done it. I've never done it. But that is the point. And there are bosses, there are dungeons. It's a lot of fun. Surviving, crafting, building, dominating, killing other people if you're a PvPer. Um, as far as I know, in a clean game, you can't go full wizard since it's a Conan game after all, but there's tons and tons of servers with tons of sorcery mods. Conan is quite a lot of community driven game. Modders in this game do wonders. Yes. Yeah, yeah. The modders are awesome. We actually just updated Conan today with sorcery and many other changes. Yes. Got to keep that fire there in case your feet pop out of the car. <laughs> <laughs> with the capital R. Well, I see balance and building overhaul. It seems we really did sorcery a few other new things to vanilla. Yeah. Um, building so over, over, 
quality of life it seems yep house is full of holes in the roof pro gamer not an architect excuse me we're just doing a shack i don't want to bore you all while we just do a shack because i want to go and murder stuff you know uh kind is very grindy at the start yes it is you're weak to a fight most things it's a bunch of gathering yeah would you say it's a wholesome house it's the most perfect house that anyone has ever seen chat i stand by it um top of the muffin to you oh my goodness corner for town <laughs> um trying to escape this prison island yeah essentially um I also need an Anna B cookie emote. We could do with a cookie emote. It's a big map. It is a big map. End game is kind of poopy, rushed, and not complete it feels, but it does reflect most of the game. It's pretty, pretty deep till right until then. Yeah, it's kind of yeah. It would be nice if they reworked that, I suppose. Um, right, let's get some plant fiber. Yeah, this is just an initial shack. We're not going to live here permanently, and I want to go into creative mode um, to build like a proper house. But I don't want to like spend the entire first stream just like. You know, hitting trees and rocks and whatnot. Murder. Yeah. The the it is very grindy. It's a lot of like um collecting collecting things, killing bosses multiple times. Like wow, I guess, in that sense. It's like, you know, you want to get a specific sword or something, um, because it's the best thing and you have to kill someone like multiple times. It's it's very it is very grindy in many ways, definitely. But I'm very excited to learn about like all the sorcery and, and whatnot um i don't know anything really about the corruption that kind of stuff um but we got to get started first we're gonna learn as we go enjoy the adventure together this is the plan dun, 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 dun. but yeah join the server if you want to and um you know it's it's currently it's two times harvesting just so that you have like a reasonably base game kind of experience and everything else is vanilla um, the only thing is I've changed the purge time so that it's like 6 p.m. UK to midnight UK, um, which is extended because there are people across the pond who otherwise wouldn't be able to participate in purges. Um, I don't want to make it like 24 hours purges because people will want to get online and do their purge and then get off as well. <laughs> so you don't be like waiting for the entire like session. Um, I might tweak it so that... Um, I might tweak it so that one of the clan members have to be online to be purged um i don't know if that's already set up it used to be a thing i thought it was a thing i don't know <sighs> anyway um but so obviously they've kind of rushed it um like very suddenly brought it out didn't they they gave us very little notice that it was coming out um on the date that it's coming out today so the modders kind of haven't had enough time to work on their mods and update them um so i'm thinking that you know initially we'll have it the, the server completely vanilla um, but I think eventually we'll add you know at least quality of life mods to it depending on what's needed um, we don't know yet what what is missing from the game because they're obviously updated a lot and then you know like with every game when they do an update quite often they will incorporate some mod stuff into the base game anyway so we'll see we'll see um, if there is some kind of like free things you can get um, like free cosmetics and stuff that you can get in the mods then i definitely think we'll want to add those so that people don't feel like they have to pay for a battle pass that kind of thing because there's loads of stuff that's already been created by modders so yes yes um uh good thing you held off on the mods as some of the biggest ones are corrupting wholesale for yeah like 50 mm -hmm. yeah is that a mosh ups over there hello calendras hello lovely how are you doing um yeah, I just thought like we're best keeping it completely vanilla to start off with. This so my playthrough, my my gameplay here is completely vanilla. Like this, I mean, I'll want to add like, you know, hairstyles and you know, base just some fun things. Okay, so this is our first sandstorm. Is it broken? Is it gonna work? I'm not taking any damage yet. Okay, now I'm taking damage, but I can heal through it. I do have healing wraps on me. So if I, yeah, if I didn't use these healing wraps, it would kill me with this amount of H, uh, HP, but I can just continuously heal through these. It used to be that it was like, run quick, quick, like try and hide somewhere, get some shelter. Uh, I just need smaller UI and more camera distance mods for now. Yeah. Yeah. 
possible coffee. Shelter. <laughs> that's an old, that's a nostalgic one. Keep healing. That's an Icarus reference. <laughs> yeah. Bloody, bloody shelter in that game. That's a game I used to stream. Uh, okay, so we stopped taking damage now, so this, this sandstorm is now just visual. <sighs> get some bark and things. We're just going to get set up for, with some basics. This is what I usually do. I just make myself a shack first and then I go off and have adventures. I don't want to like... You know, I want to level up first before I, can, I build anything too elaborate. I just want to make sure the ERP mods work. For a friend, of course. Uh, is that is that a dodgy one? Is that like a dodgy one, Dixon? Are you confessing something? Storm wasn't bad in my opinion. Glad it's not Ark Sandstorm level. Ah, is that from Scorched Earth? Hello, Figgy. Hello, hello. How are you doing? Got my server updated and running strong on 3.2. Yeah, nice. Excellent. Glad to hear it. Let's repair our pick. Okay. Bam, bam, bam. I don't know what our goal should be, really. Should we um? Should we try and find a friend today? Is that, is that what we should aim for? We get our first friend. So what I quite like to do is... I like... There's usually like a person roaming around on this area. Like around here. Um, I can't zoom in. I don't have a spyglass, chat. I miss my spyglass. Um... Yeah, I like to like find somebody who's just roaming around, like a dancer or like just someone low level initially, just to kind of maybe be a decoy. Um, and then kind of work my way up to getting um, a relic hunter. Um, and then use the relic hunter to get like a berserker or a delincio, that kind of thing, basically. Just my usual path path to things. When Back when relic hunters were like... Uh, OP, I would just go and farm them in the NMC. But um, it is possible to farm a, a Relic Hunters fighters, in case you're new to the game, um, from the wine cellar as well. As soon as you can kill, uh, what's his name? Seth, basically. Um, like run and hide kind of storm. Mm -hmm. um, have you got an epic build spot in mind? Um, this is my favourite place to farm purges initially. Um, I do have, I do have a few places I'd like to build, but this is just going to be our initial place. Next to NPCs, next to water, next to some basic materials. Um, it's peaceful. You know, not too bad. Well, it's been adjusted too, so mine that's relic well, hunter is not great now, I think. Yeah, new attributes are needed to have good thralls. Mmm, right. To zoom in, Cody, need to squint your eyes real small. <laughs> oh, Calendros. You are consistent, I will give you that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's true. I don't know about the thralls anymore. That's a good, good point. I always beeline it up north. I don't know. I don't know why. I mean, yeah, it's just wherever you feel comfortable, isn't it? I just love the vibe of, like, Sepamaru. And um, I like that it's near the unnamed city, particularly. I like that um, it's pretty... It isn't central by any means, but it's near... It's not far from Mounds of the Dead, um, so I like to run up there, um, early game. Well, yeah, as soon as I can get myself like up there, farm maybe a tier three, um, tier three Sumerian, so that I've got their weapon. Um, maybe a couple of those, so that I can use a weapon, and I can have a thrall. Um, I do know that there's now an ability to have more than one thrall follow you at the same time, so that's kind of exciting. Uh, good resources. To oh, definitely. When it comes to iron and stuff, definitely. Thank you, thank you, Calendras. How are you doing? Are you gonna play this game, Cole? Are you are you planning to play Conan? What what is the plan? Right, let's put some roofage. There we go. We could do a little. I keep right clicking to get out of this. I feel like I do like that. Right click is like this delete mode. Um, so let's just put a couple of ceiling pieces there, I suppose. 
There we go. We have a hoose. Perfect. It's the most majestic thing you've ever seen, Jack. I know that. I know you're fighting, fighting with your excitement. Okay, and then X to exit. Okay, so we have a little shack. Perfect. Um, we have some foods. Do we have any? We could do with gathering some more meat. Okay, at least we have some shelter from the sandstorm. Um, let's put the rest of this iron in a second smelter. Da 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 da. Da, da, da. What else can I make? Um, let's see. Knowledge. Okay, let's put some points in encumbrance. Okay, we got the first perk. What does that give me? Tools use lose durability half as quick and hunger and thirst deplete 33% slower. That hunger and thirst thing is pretty helpful, I guess. Um, harvesting. Okay. So this is weight and survival. I guess this is like survival and encumbrance used to be, really. And then stamina. So this is now, I guess, stamina and agility, right? It's old agility. Because agility used to give you um, armor value, like armor. How do you say? An armor bonus. Um, incoming damage reduced when you're attacking and blocking. Okay. All right. Authority. This is about followers. Maximum followers increased by one. However, your statistics no longer influence your followers' damage. Okay, so you need to spend... You need to max out all of this in order to have more than one follower. But you can't make them more strong individually. You can't put points into that, I guess. Your active followers have increased attributes. Your active followers receive 50% increased healing. Oh! That could be nice for the, uh, the arena champion. Um, active followers gain passive health regen when not engaged in combat. Hang on a minute, they always had health regen. So they don't have health regen now? Unless you have the perk? Okay. Commanding presence. Your active followers are inspired by your battle prowess and have their health restored when you deal damage in combat. Oh, I like that. That's cool. Um, irritate. Active followers will goad enemies, attempting to force them to attack your follower. Okay. Interesting. <laughs> okay, well, this sounds really cool. I like this. Um, I do like the fact that they can gain um, they can gain health from you doing damage to enemies. That's awesome. We used to, um, we always used to use healing arrows, and then they nerfed healing arrows so that they were lo no longer as effective. Um, and then you would have gruel on them, and they would kind of heal from that. But it wasn't good enough if you did some, if you fought someone that did huge burst damage like uh, the arena champion. It was all kind of dangerous. So I'm interested to test this. Um, but then I don't know, have they nerfed um, like HP? I don't know what the stats are like with the, the new thralls. Um, uh, as Anna mentioned, she liked Kernwax. I used to build there in the desert near where there when I started. Haven't played more than 15 hours in a row since before first DLC. Really? Oh, long time. I wasn't happy with the combat and kind of PvP nerd games. Like, yeah, yeah. That's it. If you're into PvP, I get that. Did you say your followers use your stats? Yeah. Uh, yeah, it did say that, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. We're going we're, we're gonna to learn it as we go. Telling you determines the health size of your health pool. I know that Firespark has a bunch of like videos on this stuff, so at some point I will probably like binge that shiznit. Um, increased damage when attacking from iron. Yeah. Um. Yeah. We'll see. We'll see. We're gonna we'll choose our our points as we go. I guess. Um. But we're gonna have to put some points here, uh, into authority. Um. I would love to have two followers following me. Um, that would be really cool. Um, I've always wanted that. Although I imagine I could just use a mod <laughs> if I wanted. Um, eventually. Vitality, passive health regen. I like that we get passive health regen on the first perk in Vitality now. I think that's pretty cool. We used to have to spend up to the third perk. Um, and it is cool that now there's backstab if you attack sneakily. That's really cool. I love that in Valheim. Um, okay, so what about, what about crafting stuff? Um, I would like us to work towards having a friend. Um, I'm going to need a, uh, so for my preferred way of doing that, I would like 
a blacksmith bench. How do I make a blacksmith bench? Um, where's... Oh, sorcery. Oh, ancestral knowledge. <laughs> oh. Hmm. What is this? I don't know what this means. Specialist stuff. Is that to do with the battle pass, I wonder? Sorcery. So I'd have to get to a certain level to get to sorcery? Uh... Hmm. I don't know, chat. Uh, maybe I need to... Uh, maybe I need to spec into sorcery? I don't know. It's a mystery. Um... Okay, first things first, how do I make a blacksmith bench? Because I should have the materials. Um, we definitely need to learn a carpenter's bench. We need to learn a tanner, iron tools, definitely. Um, fireball cauldron. How many points do I have? 20. How do I make a blacksmith bench? Have I already learnt it? Do, do, do. Armour. Don't want to waste all my points. I guess I could search for it, couldn't I? Maybe it's on the... Um, is it on this? Oh, wait, I've already learnt it with this. Okay, perfect. Okay, so I'm going to have to make that with my building hammer. And then F. Crafting stations. So I need 50 iron doodahs. Technical term. Try and keep up, chat. Okay. Uh, seven. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, can make a bench. Okay, something's telling me my house is too small for my <laughs> even for an initial house. Okay. Um. All right. So I want to make. I want to make those little um, club thing jobbies. Hmm. What are they called? Blunted javelins are my faves. Um, blunted javelin. This guy here. Level 21. Mm, okay. So we're going to have to level up a bit before we can make those. We could make the... We could make the rest of the stuff. Um, let's make a... Okay, we're going to put the thingy outside. I will turn it off like... Um, I will turn off decay on this uh, server. Oh, okay, it's all separated. Religion, alchemy, carpentry, smithing, companions. Okay, so what do I need? Sorry, I, cl I clicked past it. I need 200 wood and I need some twine, okay. Not used to this, shiznit. This house is nowhere near a big enough. <laughs> um... Wine and what was it? Wood. Ugh. Guess you always want to have your build hammer with you, don't you? Really now. Um, I can make twine. Do I not have any? Oh, I have some in my um. I have some in here, don't I? So. Okay, I can make the twine. It doesn't show me... Okay. I still need more. Wait, do I? Didn't I pick the wood up? Um, derps around. Didn't I drag it? Oh, did I... I didn't say okay. Alright. Boy, fuck it. Boy, fuck it. Who will be our first friend? Um, so they had their own stats before, like, vitality, accuracy. Yeah, they did, definitely. We learn. I remember way back, sorcery was tied to corruption. Yeah, it's going to be, isn't it? Because that, that was the idea. AK friendship sticks. <laughs> yeah, you really need a bigger house. Yeah, definitely. I was like, oh, let's just build like a little shack. And then I was like, well, shall we... Um... Can I build this yet? Is it like me? So I click middle mouse button, auto align. Hello? How are you overlapping with an... Uh, 
This has always been possible. Oh, ah, it's auto align. Well, it used to be middle mouse button. Okay, now, okay. Oh, we'll just put it right in front of the house. That would be beautiful. Okay, so it's R to auto align now. Note to self. Uh, let's put it... I'm going to put it here because I'm going to turn off decay. I don't think I've got decay turned on. Um, normally, you're going to want to make sure it's connected to your building in some way. So it shares the decay, decay, de the decay timer. Um, she says stuttering. There we go. We had a wheel of friendship. Uh, X to exit that. Okay, so what else do we need? We're going to need some bindings. And then we're going to level up until we can make... Um, the other stuff, basically. Let's get some fiber. Do, 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 do. Do, do, do. The nice one of the nice things about this game is you can just yeet about and like in Valheim you would die from the full damage you take in this game. Like you can just throw yourself off clips and just grab onto the edges and stuff like that. It's awesome. Um uh, but it's all new to everyone now, feel kind of feel a Fresh feel. Isn't there like a thousand huge crafting stations? Like, yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, we're going to need a big base, definitely, to fit everything in. But like the initial base, like everything starts out really small. When you <laughs> when you, um, when you you level up, um, you kind of gradually make bigger and bigger crafting stations, basically. So. Are you going to play some uh, Conan Dixon? Are you going to play on the server? What's your plan? Are you still playing Destiny? Why am I gathering stone? It's just like an, a reflex. Yeah, I always think it's good idea, a good idea to play, like, learn the vanilla game of anything before you start messing with mods as well. Because we are all starting from scratch you know, ish, starting from, I don't know, we've all got to learn a lot. <laughs> um, I think it's good to kind of start without the mods anyway. Although, you know, it would have been nice if they gave the mods a bit more notice. I guess, I wonder if, I wonder if being cynical, was that a calculated decision so that the mods couldn't kind of um, give you anything that they would otherwise make money from? Is that cynical? They were worried about an initial, um, like the initial revenue. If people had like gone, oh, don't worry, we've got the mod for that or whatever. I wonder. I wonder. Um, I haven't taken any screenshots yet. I never take screenshots, uh, Kel. I just, you know, I wouldn't. I just wouldn't bore chat while I was like standing around. Free week ended and it didn't convince me to buy. Oh, that's a good point. That's a good point. Isn't Conan free this week? I totally forgot to mention that. It's supposed to be free to play this week. Um, that doesn't sound like a gaming company. I'm doubling some code and I'm watching to be inspired. I see, I see, I see. Yeah. I, should, I totally forgot about that. I got everything. It's because I was setting up the server and everything. But yeah, this is free to play. On Steam for the week. And then on Xbox, I think, a bit later, isn't it? I don't know about PlayStation. Have they left PlayStation out of that? Hmm. That'd be pretty poop if it was. I am very interested to see how um, all the monetization kind of like affects the gameplay. For me though, like when you've played this game for as long as I have, and a lot of you have, um, you just kind of, you know, you really enjoy the cosmetic stuff because, you know, it becomes like Pokemon. You want to gather everything and you might not want every single armor piece in every single DLC because, you know, but you want the option to have it. And if you like something, so I don't know, that kind of concerns me a little bit. Um, I don't want to want things and not be able to have them. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, and I think things should be, I mean, if they should make money, if they've put work into something, they should receive a fair price for everything. Um, but I don't want, I don't want to be manipulated, you know? Um, in before, in the, in, in before, 
A maiden semi-abundant one shack already. Ah, nice to tear on. Destiny was awesome. Destiny 2 was awesome as well until they decided to go with those goddamn seasons instead of a proper DLC. This board storytelling for me badly. I lost my drive to play the game. Yeah. I never got into Destiny. I did try it, but like a lot of things, some people here know this, um, I have I'm really struggle at the beginning of games to like keep my interest, you know. Yeah just <laughs> and streaming actually really helps with that for some reason like i think the accountability of streaming or like or i don't know having chat around kind of like um help guide guide me and whatever um uh i didn't take a screenshot shush um kind of keeps me focused a bit more i suppose Shooting Destiny is great. Feels like hitboxes aren't terrible. Mm -hmm. I I I still play or well, have gone back to playing Overwatch recently, and that's really the only FPS game that I've ever really enjoyed. I think because it's so bright and colourful, and there's lots of very satisfying sounds and feedback and stuff. It like satisfies my ADHD. You know, it's like uh, I just love that game, um, and I like that there are so many different characters and. Um, you know, if you play one character to death, you can kind of like move on to another one and learn that one. That's what I like about it. Whereas things like, I don't know. Oh, eat a cooked meal complete. That's kind of jarring when that pops up. Okay, let's head back. I'm just gathering loads of stuff as we're yapping on. You still have Overwatch as a... You were... I was a top main. I was a top main. <laughs> Oh, we struggled out of meta. I would love to get back into it. Oh my god, I was a Torbain too. Holy crap, yeah. I'm a healer now though, these days. Yeah, I, when I first started playing, I was... Um, I thought Soldier 76 was everything I wanted in it and the character. And that's really why I started playing. I wanted to shoot people, right? I wanted to, to kind of practice shooting and learn how to shoot and stuff like that. In, in a video game, obviously, with a controller. Because it was PlayStation. And then... Um, I don't know. And then I kind of, maybe I played some Mystery Heroes or something, played some Torbjorn, and I just love that he had a lot of self-sustainability. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. Um, uh, see if there's an achievement for falling off the river and dying, Calendros. Um Where was I going with this? Uh, yeah, but I, but the fa because before there was roll queue, before there was like 2-2-2, um, if you didn't have a healer in your game, you had a crappy experience. So I would play Torbjorn because you could throw yourself armor packs <clears throat> and you could survive. And then eventually I just started playing healer and then I just kind of stuck to it. So now I'm like an Anna Mercy, like Moira main, basically. So, yeah. It's so funny that you were a Torb main. That's so funny. No one ever wanted Torb, I know. Did you ever watch, um, did you ever watch Desro fighting? Uh, Desro. Um, he was a Torb main. Did you ever watch like Twitch and stuff when when you're into talk? He's the person who got me to watch Twitch for the first time. They were like, "I see you're at talk. Can you switch?" I know. Yeah, there was such a meme. I miss those days. There was good times. It was really good times. Yeah, it was talk talk people against the world because but talk was just so much fun. Yeah, he was so fun. I haven't really played him since they reworked him so. So, two is a different t two is a different time. Yeah, let's get this stuff in the house. We need to drink some water. Um, there we go. Wow, that didn't satiate me at all, did it? That was a very little amount of water for one sip. Although I was like parched, wasn't I? Yeah. I see um like Fui five hundred who was like one of the main uh, streamers for it, and he he doesn't seem to play Overwatch anymore. I don't know if he's still streaming actually. This is a very niche conversation chat, I apologise. Um but yeah, I love I love talking about a bit of Overwatch. But yeah, I've gone back to gone back to playing it. Um let's get rid of that. Wait, how do I there you go. Um right, what was I gonna make next, chat? You gotta keep me honest. What was I what was I doing? We could make some better tools. Um we could try and make some knives actually. Some um let's make some better daggers can i make yes iron pon ponyards so i do have some dlcs um 
but I don't care. I don't care to make them like... Look, these do 15 damage. This DLC Pictish. I never understand this. These do 14. So why would I make those? I never see the daggers anyway. Um, so let's make some of those. What do we need? 30 iron and some branches. Um... Do, 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 do. Some branches. We've got some branches here. There we go. We'll keep a bit of iron on us so we can repair them on the go. We'll leave our crappy ones here in case we get modified. Do, 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 do. I don't want to carry all these potions around with me. Um, but I do want to keep a few stacks. Um... All these boxes and everything's in one box chat. Because you know I'm highly organised, very effective individual. Um, uh, future sarcastic. Can I make can I make a tanning bench? Uh to get into the habit of using this build hammer. Uh smithing wait. Smithing. Oh shit, I didn't look at what I needed. Uh I need Bark and stone. Oh, bark and wood. Okay, so maybe I can make that. Do I not have enough? No. Do, 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 do. Um, I could gather some more bark. Do I have enough wood at least? If I wanted to make it. Oh yeah, I can make it now. Perfect. Uh, where should we put this? <laughs> no little teeny tiny house. Da, 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 da. Awesome sauce. We can tan a bit of uh, reptile hide. Can I make a tanning bench? Um, is that? I don't know if this is a still a tanning bench. I don't know if they've made any changes. Um, Tanner's table, yeah. So if I can strip this reptile hide. Look at this place. It's too small. Who built this house? Who built it? Um, chat is too small. <laughs> Okay, it's all it's all fine. Everything's fine. It's all planned. <laughs> um, let's strip the reptile hide. Okay, and then we'll tan it. Um, let's do a bit of that. Um, maybe I'm gonna want to make some armor with that actually. Okay, we're definitely running out of space here, so I think we might just kind of expand. Um, so shall I? Shall I? How do I toggle um, creative mode? Uh, and enter creative mode. Okay, we're in creative mode now. So this is a new thing that they've added. Um, Let's see. We have infinite access to these things now. So I don't want to like make benches and things. I just want to build um, like housing and stuff. Uh, hello. God, it's so tempting just to make everything. This is why I don't do this. <laughs> General. I just want... Oh, building pieces. Okay, I'm an idiot. Okay. Let's see how it goes. Ah, uh, ah, so nice. Hello, Digital Rain. How are you doing? Ooh. That's so beautiful, isn't it? I never get bored of that. Thanks for that, love. Yeah. So I have I have spent hundreds upon hundreds upon hundreds of hours, like gathering uh, stone in this game, and metal. And I'm not going to do it when I'm streaming because I don't want the RSI. Do you know what I mean? I've been there. <laughs> I've been there, right? Anyone who's like built a lot in this game has had RSI probably. Unless, you know, unless you're like sensible and you kind of know when to stop and that kind of thing. But, you know, I'm an addictive person. So, um, so yeah, I'm going to, if we build anything, I'm just going to do it in creative mode, basically. Um, let's get rid of these. Let's see how, see how nicely this works. I like that quick delete thing. That's pretty sick. Um, oh, I could just spam foundation pieces to my heart's content chat. This is incredibly satisfying. Um, I don't think I... I definitely use creative mode 
like a little bit. I remember like planning out a build a couple of times in creative. Um, and then before I made it on like official or whatever. We're just doing some shit shack here, chat. I don't want you to get excited. <laughs> don't worry, Anna, we're not excited at all. Thank you, chat. I'm really I'm really glad to hear that. Um We just want space, really. Um I don't have to worry about land claims because it's single player, to bear that in mind. Um, but I want it to be, you know, I don't know. I might build something off stream, something elaborate, but today I don't want to like worry too much about it. I just want to like have somewhere to place place my stuff. Um, NPCs shouldn't follow me back here because of the tethering um, in my experience with being here in the past. So before you used to be able to kite enemies all the way across the map. So people would <laughs> people would go to other people's bases with like a world boss and have their thralls that were defending their base just kill it. <laughs> but unfortunately people would people's thralls would just die. Um, so they stopped that um, fortunately. This feels very nice, I must say, this builds hammer. Um, so now people from over there, they won't come all the way to my house. Like, maybe one of them will go to, like, here. And then as soon as they get to, like, this bit, they'll just run back. So it's it's a very safe place to have a base. Um, and like I say, you get human-only purges here. Unless they've changed it in this recent patch. Human-only purges, which is fantastic. So it just means that I can, if I have uh, fighters outside my house defending it... I can just give them all, um, I can just give them all, uh, truncheons. I don't have to worry about kind of giving, about killing some things and not killing other things. Like, so let's get this kind of even. I mean, we're not going for aesthetics here in case you, were, oh, I know, I thought you were going for, no, chat, shush. <laughs> okay. The only problem with this place is it's like, it is kind of turds for building. Um, I quite like building a tower here. I really like building towers in this game anyway for, um, for um for purge defense because you get a lot of space but you don't need that many thralls to defend it basically which means less armor less equipment um, and less management so if you're playing by yourself a tower is actually a really really good idea um, all right let's do some stairs okay don't want that that is i love that i really like that I like that. And you can just click right click again. Can you place there, you turd wallet? What are you doing? Attach. Oh. Wait, this is. Game hates me. What are you doing? Place it there. We both. Okay, do I need to rotate? What is happening? Why won't it place it? Do I need to put like a. Um... Do I need to put a foundation? I've got to get used to not right-clicking. It feels like I should right-click. Um, okay. We'll build something fancy somewhere else. Um, some grand location or whatever, but... I just want, like, an initial shit shack. So now they, there is an option to enable creative mode on a server. So if we did like a build competition on the server or something, I could, instead of grant making everybody admin, um, I could give everybody like creative mode. I don't know if I'm going to do that because I don't know if that's going to be like abused. <laughs> um, but yeah, you could have like a building competition, give everybody like creative mode. Um, I think that would be really fun to do. Maybe we'll do that. We'll see. See if you're all like well behaved boys and girls. Um, should we do like a, um, let's do another thing image over here. Da -da. It's not going to let me build all the way up. Do I'm just enjoying clipping things together, chat. Just like, you know, it's just fun. <laughs> uh, it's, the it's the simple things in life. You know what I mean? Hopefully, I don't... I don't know if we've screwed ourselves here because it's going to stop me from building pretty soon. I don't have build everywhere enabled. Um, or like reduced building restrictions or whatever. But it's not going to... I'm sure it won't let me build all the way down to here. We shall see. Do, 
Just want some room for benches initially. Um Feels feels really nice. I love that I don't have to so obviously this is still creative mode, but even outside of creative mode, you don't have to wait for things to craft anymore. As long as you have the materials in your inventory, it will allow you to place them. That's great. They they did reduce the amount of time it took for things to craft um, like recently. Okay, we're able to build pretty close to that. I don't know if that's because I'm in single player. Yeah. I don't know how... Yeah, building's not allowed. So can I do... Okay, right click. Oh, it's so quick. It's so quick. I love it. Um, are you going to let me... This is suboptimal. Okay. Oh, so nice. I love the, like, effect as well. That's really nice. High quality. Feels good. Look at that. It's so quick. And that is a vanilla thing as well. I mean, that is like non-creative too. So, so I guess what we'll do is we'll take this out and we'll just go... God, that's so quick. Do you know the amount of times? Because um, we we would do purge hunting. Uh, me and my friend. We would do purge hunting and... Um, we would have to... We would demolish our bases. And we would build somewhere else. Because we would want to... We would build... Uh, we'd be purge hunting in different areas basically. For different types of thralls and stuff. The amount of time I spent demolishing homes. <laughs> it's another reason to have a tower, actually. Um, let's give ourselves some stairs to get up. Da -da, da -da -da. Do -do -do -do. Okay. We have a means to get up and down. It's not going to let me build all of these places, I don't think. I mean, maybe we should have built a new new river or something nice, but um, I just like... It's just my favourite place to have a base. Look at that view. It's gorgeous. All right, let's do... Should we do some, like, um, fences? Do, 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 do. Very nice. It's a beautiful base. Chat, you're very jealous of my building abilities. I know that. I feel it. I can feel it just without even looking at you. So let's move our little thrawler. Um... I'm not looking forward to grinding all those mats and the endless crafting to then place bits. Yeah, what you do this is making me not want to do it and then working out how much of each thing. Yeah, yeah. Um, you don't have to do that anymore. It just does it for you. Um, remember the cookie, Kana. Um, hello, VG. Hello, hello. Um, is there no full loot official official PvP server? Seems the rules on the right states only owners can loot corpses uh sorry what are you asking me about our server omen are you asking me about our server or are you asking about other things is there no full loot official pvp server i don't know i don't know what you're asking about uh our server is pve and you and you can't loot other people but um there are pvp servers no i'm just looking for any official server like that Oh, okay. I don't know is the answer. Um, all right. Okay. Perfect. We have this wonderful, majestic home now. Um, all righty. Let's move all these crafting benches outside. So do I... Can I pick them up now? Return to inventory. Let's just move all the benches... Love that little smoky puff thing. That's so nice. And it's giving me all the items within it as well, which is cool. Okay. So, seven. Uh, 
So I returned them to my uh, I returned them to my inventory. Did it actually do that though? No, it didn't. It just demolishes them. So I should okay. That's why they've got a move option. I see. I see. Okay, so we want um, two of these. Uh, I should put them. We have two smelters. Okay. And, uh, oh no 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 no! Not you, the basic one. Um, I'm only placing things that we've already crafted because I'm not trying to like rush through the game. Uh, we had a regular tannery, this one. Da, 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 da. We also had a tanner's bench. Do, 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 do. Okay. That's all we, is that all we had? That is all we had. Um, okay. Um, so let's re continue smelting things um, with coal. Awesome sauce. And then tanning things. Where are we tanning stuff? Because we want to make some beginner armor, don't we? Um, I think I will untoggle creative now. I think that's all I wanted to do. Exit. Okay, so now I'm over encumbered. Um, okay. Um, would there not be an owner on official as it's official run by Funcom Dev? Sheep owner is like the actual player who died, so basically... Yeah, exactly. You basically you can loot your own corpse, but you cannot loot other players' corpses. Yeah. Would the owner not be the owner of the corpse? Yes, exactly. Why would PvP that be that way? Seems like PvE setting of what's the point of PvP. Yeah. I don't know... Um, I don't know about corpse looting, honestly, in PvP, to be honest. I don't know how that's usually set up. I would imagine that you can't loot people's corpses, but I, I, I don't know. Um... So I would open, like, join a server and have a look. Um, or actually, before you join the server, um, you it will show you all the settings, like the basic settings on the right-hand side. So it will say about, it will say um, only player can loot corpse. It will say what their harvesting rates are, that kind of thing. So you can kind of, um, you can have a look. There'll be unofficial servers that people run that have, like, little nuances and tweaks. Um, you can definitely loot corpses in PvP in full rage during what it does. Okay, you can loot a corpse. I see, I see. Well, that makes sense, actually. That makes sense. Do, 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 do. Okay. We need to make a tanner's, uh, carpenter's bench as well. Just make all the ben the basic benches. Uh. Right, have I learnt I must have learnt that. I guess we need a casting table. Um, keep right clicking thinking that it should do it I think that's because of arc crafting station um, where do I put you I think here maybe next to the smelter do, do, do. Do, do. there we go I the fact that everything is insta-crafted is, is very nice, I must say. Having to wait for things to craft, like, really spoilt the flow of gameplay, I think. Um, so we got a tannery already. Uh, we wanted to make a carpenter's bench, so we need wood for that. Um. Uh, did we use all of our wood? We only have a, we have a bit of wood. Okay, how much do I need? I need not very much. Okay, so let's leave anything extra behind. Like, we'll just leave it in here. Did anyone else just dump stuff in any bench that you just like <laughs> early game before you get your like iron chests? Just like, I'm just gonna dump this here. There we go. Do, 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 do. Yeah, I mean, if people want, I could boost the um, harvesting rates on the server. Um, I just kind of, I don't know. I just, I, 
I guess I just wanted to give people like a vanilla experience. And also I don't know if there's any benefits to the sorcery stuff that you learn later. Because I know there are spells and things that we learn. And I didn't want to kind of like take away the fun or the power of those spells if there's stuff. I, I don't know. I don't know enough about it. Um, they feel fine right now. Well, that's good to hear. I'm glad to hear that. I don't even know what I'm doing. And one of the first things I did was make a dump chest. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Absolutely. Um, I remember back when I played Settles, one of the most adorable moments was when you could look at how a building was being built. Mm -hmm. um, I haven't played today to test, but that's definitely featured PvP. I see. Well, I'm sure that's still a thing then. Please before this update. Uh, on officials, yeah. Do, 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 do. I have very little experience of PvP in this game. Um, I played. Um, I I kind of dabbled. I was you know I was always like I played single player with my friends basically, and then I played official, official PVE. Um. Because I was just kind of spawning stuff in. And I was like, I've, I've spoiled the game for myself. I can't play. I can't play single player. She says playing single player. Um, so yeah, it was just too tempting to just cheat. It was just boring then. Um, and um, what did I do in PvP? So yeah, I started and I was like, oh, I'm just going to like build a little, a little sandstone base and kind of beat. I'll hide it somewhere. It'll be really sneaky, you know. <laughs> Yeah, I had nothing. This is the thing, when you have like no stuff, you just kind of built a little sandstone base and you come back and the whole thing's just been looted and you're like, I, you, I had nothing. You took everything I had. Like, I had nothing of value. For you. Like you gain nothing from that. So I was like, oh, yeah, I don't know if this is for me. So I like, I like playing PvE because um, I like helping people. You know, when you've played the game for a long time, I enjoyed like doing... Um, doing dungeons with people and like helping new players and be like hey I've got a bunch of here's a full set of thralls if you need a set of thralls and I don't know that was always fun I liked it it was good um I don't know how boosted rates affects the new player experience to be honest yeah you that's the thing like I feel like you have to experience get to know the game as it was intended and I think two times harvesting like I'm on two times harvesting now and it still feels grindy would you keep it down? Noisy people. Um, but yeah, it is a very grindy game. When you've spent a lot of hours in the game, then I think you want like boosted rates. Or if you're going to switch between servers, that kind of thing. Um, you know. But yeah, I think two times is cool. That's not too different from most of our PvP. Yeah. I did, had the same experience in Ark. I had the same experience in Ark. Like, built on the beach. Had a little shack. Um... And like, you know, <laughs> I really achieved very little in maybe a few hours and then logged off and I logged back in again and my my little shack was gone. And I was like, OK, what happened? Did a dinosaur like destroy it? I had no idea. And then I kept doing it. I did it about three times and eventually I just gave up. I was like, I don't think this is for me. Yeah. Yeah. And eventually when I went back to playing art, um, uh, I played it in single player, but then again, the same thing happened where I was like, it was just too tempting to kind of toggle creative mode, that kind of thing. Like, I don't mind doing it for streaming because I'm doing this for like, you know, multiple different reasons. And, you know, we're trying to be, I don't want to, I'm not, I don't want to spend like a full week on the stream, just like freaking hitting stuff, <laughs> hitting rocks and wood and things. But I have done that. I have done that. But I would put like a YouTube video on or something. It's kind of different when it's just me yapping on, you know. Yeah. But yeah, if you people like PvP, then, you know, so be it. I don't judge you <laughs> too much. You know, it's just wh whatever you enjoy, isn't it? The only PvP I enjoy, as I say, is like Overwatch, because I like that. I like that it's a team game. It's kind of fun. Okay, I forget what we were looking for. What were we, was it wood? We're going to make a carpenter's bench. Let's do that. Rest would be the same way. That's survival PvP Sunday. Some people only ever tried these games, like full of people, and never got to enjoy them. Yeah, I'm really glad that I tried official PVE because it's such a nice experience. Definitely, so many streamers, but nobody actually doing sorcery. What do you? What kind of sorcery do you expect me to be doing on my first day, Dome? 
what do you expect me to be doing? Hey, welcome. Good to have you here. But what do you like? I've literally just started today. What do you want me to be doing? Hey, I'm getting my little base set up. I think you've got to grind up to that. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. That's why I don't. It's so it's like it's almost like an obvious vibe. <laughs> Kill Andros, you're so mad. Like, can you even see the unlocks yet? No, you can't see anything yet. Summoning goats. We need fly. <laughs> I didn't say you were just a general. Yeah, well, that's why, isn't it? Because people do it, Strimmer. Tame a giga. Tame a giga. Where are the gigas? Where are the gigas? <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Do some sorcery. Do it. <laughs> Kelly, you're so mad. Oh, God. <laughs> okay, can I make... Can I make a carpenter's bench now? <laughs> I can't imagine... But there's nobody doing sorcery on the very first day. It's only been out for a moment. Can't imagine why. Oh, funny. Right, do I have any wood... I do have a bit of wood. Wait, I had wood already. What was I missing? Did I need even more wood? Oh, we needed stone. Okay. Have has the best attention span in the whole world. Stop talking and <laughs> stop talking and do it. Okay. It's been fun adding chilling down for the evening and arc. Oh, chat. It has been fun. Let's do something relaxing. Oh, look, okay, I can tame that. Yeah. I was like, oh, chat. It's been really stressful. Let's do something relaxing like tame a giga. Honestly, though. Taming a Giga compared to being in the water in Ark is incredibly relaxing for me. I just want to say, let's make let's make some shaped wood already because we're gonna need that for some things. Um, did we strip down all the? I think we did all the um, reptile hide. Um, right. Do we have all of the benches that we can make? Uh, where do we go? Home is the best place to look. I don't care about furniture yet. I don't think I... I never make an art of, artisan bench until much later. Um, don't care about plants. Although, we do get a journey set for planting seeds. But we won't have any compost yet. Hmm. Okay, well, our maze will learn it. Uh, let's make a... Uh, we could get a bow from an enemy. Let's make a bow because we'll get a journey step for that. Let's learn how to make armour. I guess we'll make an armor's bench. I guess we'll make a fit. Well, this is like very cheap to make this bench. So, um, and I can make a, a DLC one. We'll learn how to make torches because lighting is a thing. Um, I don't know why I'm learning decorative planters. I, like, yeah, why am I wasting my points? Grinder, sure. I have 11 points, so let's not spend any more. Um, do I have any attribute points to spend? I have one. I guess we want to get to like passive regen. Hmm. I guess strength. Strength initially. Um, we want to get to level 21 so we can make it blunt javelin. Um, okay, armor's bench. Armor's bench, armor's bench. Do, 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 do. Um, I don't know how I feel about it all being split up. Um, twine and wood. Okay. Da, 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 da. Do I have any twine? Da, 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 da. Maybe. Yeah. Perfect. Do, 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 do. Uh, general. Smithing. Okay. Armor's bench. Okay, I kind of want to keep my armor's bench next to the tannery, but I don't give a shit. <laughs> I'm too lazy to care. Um, okay, so what can I make initially? So I have some DLCs um, already. This just because I play the game off stream. Um, what do I want to make? Uh, I guess I want to make like the basic encumbrance armor initially. Like the light armor. Have I learned how to make that? Yes, I have. So I need height. This is why I wasn't tanning my my height. Let's get a bit of that. Make some basic armor. Give yourself some encumbrance. Does it still buff encumbrance, actually? 
That's a good question. It's a good question. I wish it would tell you, by the way, as well, what it buffed here. I don't know. Maybe it doesn't do it anymore. Um, I need to make some light padding. I need some twine for that. Okay. So let's make light padding. We'll do four. Okay, perfect. Um, let's craft some more twine. We need twine for everything. Can I make a sickle? Let's make an iron sickle because we need loads of plant fibre. Uh, an iron pick and a hatchet. And a skinning knife. Okay, we need a bit more iron for that. If only I had, um, if only I had structures plus, <laughs> I could access all this stuff. I'm like spoilt now, chat. And a skinny knife. Okay, I need a bit, bit more iron. Okay, let's gather a bunch of plant fibre while that's all crafting. Um, what have I missed? Uh, flying fire. Do it. And it's an easy cave. Um, it's in an easy cave. But now we can't even see the source we unlocked. Yeah, we can't. Uh, those are fun, Anna Chilling. Comparing Timmy and Giga to running into a cave is absurd. But I haven't discovered that yet, Dome. So one, don't spoil anything. And two, like, stop stop hurry, trying to hurry me along. I'm just here. We're here for the experience. We're having fun. I tried to see me giggle with this thing shot once. I never died, but it was never going to get knocked out. That's what happens after 10,000 hours. You Did you lose it for a little bit? You just try and tame everything with a slingshot, yeah. To try and meme about, see what you can get away with. Alright, let's get some... Let's get some plant fibre. Yeah, I mean, everybody will have their preference about where they build initially. But I think, you know, when you play solo on PvE, I, I just think this is such a perfect spot. Um... Just mainly because of the purges, honestly. Like, it's my number one place to have purges. Um, also, I do quite like near Asgard. Like, or Asagarth or whatever. I've been saying that wrong for years. That's really nice because of all the Nordhammer purges. Um, but yeah. It was interesting on Sipta being able to just build anywhere because you could... Um, because you could turn off purges. Um, you can have like, I wonder if they'll add that to um, Exiled Lands. I don't know if they've already added it actually. Probably not. All right. Look at me. We run like an idiot now. I don't like it, chat. It looks stupid. Okay. So I want to make some armor. Um, okay. Chest piece. Uh, gloves. Shoes. So traditionally, these would make me, um, these would give me encumbrance, which would be, which would be really handy for early game. Um, so I'm missing some twine. I can't make twine in here, can I? No, nope. the tanning person can, can they? Yes. So let's do that way. Okay. Let's make some twine. Do, 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 do. All right, so let's leave our stone and whatnots in here. Um, I might make some gruel already. So let's make a big campfire. Have I learned how to make it? Probably not. Campfire, campfire. Um, fishing traps. I don't know if they've... Hopefully they do something to them. I, I miss the old days when you could just spam fishing traps and, um, you know, get loads of, like, rare fish and loads of buffs. It was so good back in the day. Oh, they spoiled the game. I'm just kidding. Um, can I make a bow? Um... Oh, my purge meat has moved already. Um... What did I want, chat? I was making armour. I needed twine to make the helmet. Do, 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 do. 
Now we can get out these potato sack, as my friend used to say. Amazing. I look very cool now. Let's leave this shiznit behind. Okay. Uh, oh yeah, I was going to make a campfire. That's right. That's right. Um, so I learned to make the campfire. Uh, cooking. Do I make this one or should I make the bonfire? Um, I think I prefer this because it doesn't take up as much space. So, but we need a uh, wooden twine again. Do, 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 do. Where should we put it? We're going to have a thrall on it. Put it over here. Nope, I don't want to make you. Damn it. I don't have enough... I don't have enough twine for one. Why is it showing me three? Why does it have three here? What does that mean? Does that mean... Hmm, how many I could make if I had twine? <laughs> I don't know. Um, right, let's check our armour. Does it have... Does it still give me encumbrance? Carrying capacity. Plus 15. Mm hmm. Interesting. So it doesn't give me points in my attributes anymore, does it? No. It just gives me a separate thing. It gives me a separate thing. So it allows me to carry plus 15. Hmm. Okay. Stats. Does it, it doesn't show me anything. It doesn't show me anything here. I have 20% damage reduction from this armor. Armor from items and buffs. Armor from grit. Interesting. Hmm. Carry weight. Ah, so here's where you can see a carry weight. Carry from items and from attributes. Okay, cool. Interesting. Oh. Um... What have I missed? Um, this should let you summon purge types with rituals. Oh yeah, like you can build anywhere. That would be so good. That would be so good. I wonder if that's something they've added. Uh, anyone tried making cookies to Laura at the sorcery? Um, that kind of cookie. What kind of cookie would Laura wizard? That's a, that's a good question. We better make multiple variations of research purposes. You haven't missed much. Okay. Okay. Uh, I got a pee chat. BRB.
Hello. I didn't abandon you, chat. I'm back. I'm back. Uh, all right. We got some armor. Is there anything else I haven't made? Um, what level are we? 20, uh, 18. Oh, this is the thing that we can use to change the way we look. Uh, level 45 we have to be now. Yeah, so you don't have to worry too much if you don't want to, <laughs> if you want to change your appearance. Although it doesn't let you change genders, apparently. No, not that I've, not that I've tried in this game. Um... Da, 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 da. Anything else I want to make? Could do with a fireball cauldron. Hello there. Hello there. Hello, knight. Hello, hello. I don't know if that purge ritual is a thing. I just made it. Yeah, it sounds really good though. Encouraging place to build multiple ways to live them up for four seems. Hmm. Encourages offline raiding as you can't be at every base. Yeah, I think. I think having the whole map be viable for base locations would be ideal in terms of like resources and stuff like that. So having, um, yeah, I think being able to summon different types of purges would be really cool. I would really like that. I think that would be quite good. Yeah. Hello, Knight. Uh, great. Thank you. Very exciting day today. Very exciting day today. I should say, if anybody wants to join our server, you can join our Discord. Go to the Discord, have a look uh, at the relevant channel. We have a server for Ark, one for Valheim, one for Conan Exiles. You're welcome to join it. All the details are in there. Uh, right, Fiber Cauldron. Let's make one of those. We have learned it. I think I need iron to make it. Oh yeah, I was trying to make this, wasn't I? Okay, I can do that now. Da, 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 da. Um, so I used to press middle mouse button in order to change. So it's now R to auto align. Frobzy, hello Frobzy, how are you doing? How are you? Cooking. Okay, so it's R to auto align. So I want to rotate it because I want to have my thrall. Where do we have this? We could have it here. The way it run, I'll run like I've like done a poo or something. <laughs> I can, like shut my pants or something. I'm just saying, it. she looks, she runs kind of silly. Do you know what I mean? Okay. Uh, right. So, how do I? Yeah, I have to get used to the muscle memory. All right, we got a bonfire. Let's make our sills. Um, and now a fireball cauldron. So I need fifty, fifty iron. So I'm going to need a bit more iron. Um, okay, so let's gather a bit more. Oh, we got an, we got an iron pick now, haven't we? So let's get rid of the crappy stuff. Um, small town hero. Give the follow, welcome. Nearly called you Herrix then. Apologise for almost calling you that. Obviously didn't need to tell you, but you know. Kind of looks like a great game, would like to play, but it's a bit expensive for me. It's free for the week. It's free for the week uh, on Steam. Uh, unless they've cancelled that. Um, my understanding is that for the for this week, uh, for the first week of this 3.0 launch, the base game, Conan Exiles, like Exiled Lands, is, is free. So download it. Um, free on Steam, I should say. And then Xbox, it's going to be on... Oh, a bit later in the month confirmed free on steam yeah there you go there you go if you play on steam i don't know about playstation to be fair i didn't see it mentioned actually um i saw that it was steam and xbox any luck with the sorcery uh we haven't i think we have to level up to get to that um we will have a look yeah have a look and if you want to join the server join the server very welcome to everyone is welcome also, 70% off if you want to buy it. Uh, so wait, it's is it just free to play for a week, but then you have to buy it? Or is it like... Because um, I thought it was just free to download, like they did with Ark for Fjorda. Like 11 mer Merka bucks. Okay, so it's free. It's only free to play for a week, and then you have to pay for it. Hmm, okay. 
think it's like a free to try. Okay, that's fair enough. That's fair enough, I suppose. Well, there's no reason not to try it, I suppose, then. I, I mean, I love this game. It, like Ark, for, you know, for different reasons. It's a different game, obviously, but it is one of those games where you will get a lot of time out of it. You know, you could literally just sink your whole life into it, as I have done, <laughs> you know. And it says free for six days. That makes sense. Fair enough. Well, that's fair. Well, they want you to play because they know they're going to make money out of some people, aren't they? It's like when they gave it to us on... They gave it to us for a month uh, to download off, on PlayStation. Um, and they made so much money out of PlayStation players. Like, I bought all the DLCs, apart from Riddle of Steel. Anyone knows what I'm talking about. I bought all the DLCs um, on console. Like, yeah. I spent hundreds and hundreds of hours in the game. Yeah. Absolutely. Really enjoy the game a good bit. Been playing since launch of the Xbox. Ah, it's such a good game, isn't it? It's so much fun. I mean, it has its problems, you know. It's like, you know, welcome to Conan. It's just such a meme. Like, it's buggy and, you know. I mean, it runs all right now, you know. <laughs> it mostly runs all right. Although every time there's an update, there is something that kind of gets broken frequently. Um, I haven't had any issues so far, but we've only done some basic stuff. I don't like the way I run, chat. What is this animation? Why did they change it? I guess she's a bit more kind of beefy the way she runs now. I don't know. Um, I'm just gathering some iron here. Enter in 3.0 update. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll wait. We'll have to wait and see what kind of bugs we get, won't we? You know. Yeah, I'm just very excited because, you know, like lots of people, I've spent so many hours in this game and I'm just, we've been desperate for new content for a long time. So it's been dark times. Uh, $11 is good for this game though. It's huge. Yeah. Also, it is huge. <laughs> I mean, I know you're like, yes, that's what exactly what I said to you, but it, it does take a lot of space on your SSD if you have an SSD. And I definitely, if you, if you don't have an SSD and you can get an SSD, then this is the game to do it four <laughs> definitely number one steam review overall the game is great but funcom tends to screw up a lot fair the very fair beefy woman running <laughs> yeah yeah are you are you gonna play panda are you gonna play are you excited i'm really excited i think we're gonna have to do some kind of build competition or something like we're gonna have to do a thing where i can toggle on like creative mode on the server or something at some point in the future um, and have like a build. I think that'd be so much fun. It's quite a few, unfortunately, nothing to game breaking. Two game breaking. I've been playing since the update and found some pretty big issues. Have you? Um, so, what did you play on test live? You mean, or you've been playing today because the update only hit today? Um, da, 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 da. Let's get this metal back. We've got a fair bit. We're doing a lot better now that we've got iron tools. We get you get more resources as you upgrade your tools in this game um, da, 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 da. yeah i would like to make like a wonderfully big castle or something something really cool i think i want to get the um i want to get that kind of medieval castle -y dlc at some point um of course i bought it a while ago can't wait to find the server all you wonderful people yeah it's very exciting um it's a lovely community we have i think um yeah i want to buy that like medieval castle sort of dlc so i can make something super like grand um all right let's smelt this iron wait stop it yeah they've definitely sped up walking well over encumbered look at this she's like trotting along um okay we could do with some more coal as well. I feel like I might smell a little bit of uh, stone already because we're going to need some. Um, we need a few bricks for some things. Um, Okie dokie. But yeah, I will toggle on um, creative mode when I want to make something, like build something. Like we just placed all these foundation pieces down. Um, just for speed, really, because I'm streaming. Right, um, what else? Oh, this is from one of the DLCs, all these like skins, um, decorative things, old DLCs, like not like new stuff. Uh, I could make a bow, um, twine, 
Okay, let's shoot somebody because it's fun. Um, was it twine wood and plant fiber? Ba -ba -da -ba. Ba -ba -da. May as well make a nice looking bow if it doesn't have any real benefits. I've been playing since Alpha does that count. Of course, of course. Yeah, definitely, Duxter. Welcome. We're going to be playing this. Um, thursdays and fridays for the foreseeable future until you know maybe if the game like dies down or something i don't know it depends um we'll see and i'll be uploading stuff onto YouTube, the youtubes for it as well which is a link in the chat subscribe to me over there I'm trying to grow my channel um so let's make a couple of arrows uh, if we can flint arrows a bit of stone Right, well, let's not smelt all of our stone down. Do, do, do. All right, I'm not really going to use the bow a lot, I don't think. I never really do. Um, but I just want to get uh, an achievement for shooting somebody. And that will... Uh, you can see my journey steps on the, on the top right of the screen. I've never really... I don't need, I don't need a shield to block an attack, I guess. Um, but yeah, we get a lot of XP from doing the journey steps um can i make some torches next decorate this place um construction hammer so the only thing is i have to use the construction hammer to see what i need um which is a bit of a pain carpentry build pieces okay decorations lights Okay, let's get a bit of lighting going. The nice thing about this game, if you've come from Ark, is you don't have to, or Valheim, is you don't have to refill your torches. Once you place them, they just burn forever and ever. Thank, thankfully. <laughs> Definitely didn't nearly swear. I never swear, chat. We know it's true. There you go. Bit of ambiance. Da 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 da. Yeah, look at this beautiful view. It's gorgeous. I love it here. Yeah, I'm so used to right-clicking to cancel the uh, the build. Okay, so we have... Oh, we got so many flint-head arrows. What a terrible waste. Okay. I mean, they weren't expensive. Okay. So, um, I am level 19. Let's go and level up so that we can um, make our blunted uh, javelins. Um... I got daggers. I need a little bit of iron with me so I can repair them because I'm going to burn down the, uh, what's it, quite quickly. Um, I guess I could repair my, my tools. We'll get some aloe as well. We always need lots of aloe. And there's also like a decent amount of aloe here. Ah, let's cook some gruel like in prep uh, for when we get friends. Da, 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 da. Da, da, da. Awesome sauce. Bit of gruel cooking. Because I love that gruel. Those those friends of ours. <laughs> Future windows. Okay. Uh, do I have enough water? Yeah. Okay, so find things to murder. Let's go and do... Um, let's go kill the shalebacks. Do... You still have me Indiana Jones? Definitely not, Knight. You're imagining it. You're imagining it. Use S Plus or SS Mod ones. You don't need to refill them either. That's true, Knight. I was thinking about that. The S Plus stuff is so nice. Uh, nice save on the almost swear that. Yeah, yeah. I just don't swear. Um, what did I miss? Since the update, a lot of invisible enemies are not being able to progress the sorcery without spawning in through admin panel. So that's just today, uh, small town hero. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I, I tell you what my favourite thing from S+, Plus, and I think it's from S+, Plus, is just being able to stand wherever I want and craft anything. Like, since I 
you know, eventually learn how to do that. I know. Oh, oh, she, she finally listened to us. <laughs> you know, since I since I learned how to do that in Arc, that's just been such a game changer. It's just such a. Um, I, I kind of wish that the build hammer. Okay, didn't have that. Um, do we need to try and take on this friend of ours? Which you wish to befriend me? I sense that about you. I don't know if I have any more resist. I do have like. I am like armored a bit now. Although not much. Okay, you've forgotten that I exist. I sense that. Oh, I could shoot you and get my achievement. Okay, I've got to drag my arrows onto my bow. Okay, wait, I've got to... Okay, I've been playing Ark, okay? This is my excuse. There you go. Look, I'm just going for star points. Please don't murder me! Please don't murder me! Don't wish to die! 17 running. 17 running. It always works. <laughs> right, forget I exist. Forget I exist. I can't shoot you from the water, unfortunately. Okay, maybe we'll just stick with Shellbucks, because that guy's just... He's just too good for us, chat. The fighting is just too strong. Um, looks like they're working on it now, though. The new bench seems to be sorted now. Okay, good. Good, good, good. I mean, you know, we knew on day one there were going to be issues didn't we i mean i was like shall i do the server on day one shall i stream it on day one is it gonna be like here we go <laughs> you know day one day one issues but um we just use these so i'm just burning through some resources here okay listen i need to I need to prove my Conan prowess. Okay, I see a one skull there and I don't wish to fight you. <laughs> Please could you leave me alone? Oh, don't make me kill your children. <laughs> uh, stop it. Let's start a fight with someone who wasn't even trying to hurt us. Stop it. So the thing is, if I go in the water, I can escape them at any time. Look at the way I run now. What is wrong with this? Who thought that was a good idea? Let's give it a bit more realism. Like, I feel like, you know, she's probably got an upset stomach. Let's make sure she runs like it. You know what I mean? She's been eating, like, berries and bugs. Yeah, you've all forgotten about me, haven't you? Just going to heal up. Don't mind me. Uh, let's equip our... Right, I can't move these while I'm using them. Let's use a bit of aloe. Do do. All right, we'll pick them off one at a time. Oh shit! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! it says the one like attacking them. <laughs> like leave me alone! <laughs> leave me alone! I'm an innocent. I'm an innocent lady. The guy could clearly have some kind of problem. Ba -ba -ba. I just run like such a dip now. That's right. Ba -ba. Ba -ba. Ba -ba -ba. Stop it! Stop it! Would you stop to hit me, please? There you go. Can I just take some hits? There we go. Da -da -da. Give us, they'll give us some nice savory flesh so we can make steaks. And we can get some hide from them. This big boy is going to give us lots of XP, but I don't really want to fight him because I. It's a bit of a risky fight. Could you just slow down a bit, my friend? Okay. So potions are better than um, healing wraps because um, both of them slow you down now. You used to be able to just hit a heal pot with no animation. Um, but yeah, you're better off. You're better off. Um, still better off using a potion than a healing healing wrap. Does that make sense? It's so few big stupid turd. Ooh. Style points. Stop it. I don't want to get hit by that big boy. Okay. Okay, nice. Do we take him on? Do we take him on? <laughs> Look at him. 
It's like, you killed my brothers! You killed them all! Nope! Shice. Okay. Poopies! <laughs> Poopies! Yeah, I don't even want to fight you, brother. Look at this, got five and a half thousand HP. I just want to harvest these bodies. If you could forget I exist. I could do with the meat, TBH. I didn't have a bloody... I don't have a cleaver. Uh, let's make another one. We could make an iron cleaver. Let's just harvest a bit of shiznit. So there should be some stones underwater. Yeah. Hello, Rikachu. Hello, hello. YOLO, do it. Yeah. Um... Underwater harvesting is a bit janky. Yeah, if we use a cleaver... Well, that's a bit glitchy, isn't it? If we use a cleaver, we can, we've can. we got more chance to get um, a head, which is one of our journey steps. Okay, don't drown. Drowning is bad. How do you see me? I'm entirely invisible. You don't see me. You don't see me. I'm a rock. I'm just like a rock under the water. You don't see me. See? A, a floating rock. Look at me. Gracefully floating. Look. Don't make me kill this child! Don't make me kill this child! I'll do it! Did you just kill that child? Okay, no. <laughs> I thought it killed the child. Uh, air is important. Air has... It has a... I'm not saying it's the most important thing, but air definitely has a role to play. Definitely. Let's do some... Some of this. Well, we're healing quite a lot, actually. Quick burst of heals. I wonder if they've buffed heals a little bit. Or maybe I just don't have very much HP. Maybe that's what it is. Okay, I just want to harvest those bloody bodies. A um, couple of branches. So I can use my hatchet to get branches from a tree. He's got a lot of aggro, hasn't he? I feel like I could... I don't know. I was going to say I could adjust that, but I don't want to. I don't want to change any of the basic stuff. Um, am I not getting branches? Okay, six branches. Okay. Okay, so let's do. Oh, sugar plum fairies! I just almost pooped my pants. Small town. Thank you for the prime. Thank you so much. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you so much. Appreciate that. Love that you can climb. The climbing is so cool in this game. The climbing is the best. The climbing has spoiled me for other games, honestly. Especially Ark. Especially Ark, chat. Thank you so much for that. Make sure you join our Discord if you want to. Same to any anybody else. You don't have to be a sub. Come and join us. Yeah, climbing is so good. As long as you have enough stamina, you can climb most things. Um, you don't want to climb into one of those like fire things. <laughs> I've done that before. I was like, what happens if I like drop into that big fire pit? Apparently you burn. Graphics and game mechanics look good. Yeah, it's really fun. It's really fun. There's what's really nice. We haven't really kind of like gone into it yet, but you know the the mobility in this game. Like, I don't know. Just you're just very mobile. It's very smooth. It's very fluid. It's very satisfying. Um, okay, apparently I already had a cleaver. Okay. Has best attention span ever. Let's get some meat. Um, I find most problems that you have in this game are solved cheese. Are solved by rolling, roll dodging. Um, I don't know if there's some kind of T-sync or something that happens. Could you go away? Look. Floaty rock. Floaty rock. We put some points. We could get, like, health regen. I think the first perk in agility... In, um, what's it called? In vitality now is passive regen. Um, just going to harvest the bodies of your family. Yay, we got a head. Perfect. We got a head of a creature. Which we could hang as a trophy. Or we can press it in the fluid press and that will give us some blood bones and maybe hide stop it um 
Stop it. These uh, plants here, these like red ones, they give you, they have actually blue berries on them or blue seeds or whatever, blue something. So they give you like, they give you blue, Make you can make blue dye from them. So if you want to make blue dye, this true indigo gorgeous plant is the thing to go for. And it grows in like a bunch of places, particularly like warm places next to water. Excuse me. Same as aloe, except aloe is obviously used for making healing potions. Uh, oh, what else you make with aloe, really? Just healing stuff. Also makes a nice plant. Don't make me kill the child! <laughs> She's a monster! It's true, chat. Um, we actually updated a ton of moving animations update, especially when it feels of what is it doing. It should feel even better than it. Hello, Den. Hello, welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you for popping in. Thanks for popping in. Um, yeah, I don't know how I feel about this running animation at the moment. Hello, welcome. Yeah, I doesn't she look a bit like she's pooped her pants? Like, I don't know. She's a little bit chunkier than she was before. You know, I even need to leave that poor creature all on its own. This little end. Talk about. Talk about a lonely life. This woman comes by, kills all his friends, takes all the eggs and leaves this guy all alone. <laughs> she does though, like she just she's not as graceful. I mean I like I like honestly, like moving because I've been playing a lot of ARC recently. Um This is this is one of my absolute favourite games. But I've been playing a lot of ARC recently and obviously the animations in that are really haven't really moved on that much. Um they're kind of still set up for uh, first person, I think. And so this feels wonderful, fluid and everything. But I still think this is a little bit like... She looks like she's like pooped her pants, I think. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about it. Um, but yeah, I'm very excited to kind of do a lot more exploring and, and whatnot. I'm sure you're all really excited to have rolled out a bunch of changes. Um, we've, been, we've been desperate for more stuff for ages, so... Okay, let's prove ourselves as warriors. As fighters. Perfect. Perfect. Get some flesh. Ooh. Hello. There we go. Oh, we got so much meat. So let's go home. Dun, dun, look at her. <laughs> I guess she could be like... You could see that she's like slightly wounded in battle. She's got a bit of a pimp walk, hasn't she? Do you know what I mean? I don't know. She's a bit... Uh, it's a year of updates all coming out at once. It's very cathartic for us. I bet it is. Yeah, I bet it is. I've been playing this since the PlayStation uh, free to play, basically, when it came out on PlayStation. So I'm just, I'm very excited about this. Anna the Barbarian. Yeah, exactly. Um, how many hours did you say you have in Conan? Do you know what? It's a good job that PlayStation 4 doesn't tell you how many hours you have because I have thousands of hours in this game. Um... Animation to the sorcery stuff is is brutal, is it? I can't wait to get into that. I can't wait to like see a corrupted character as well. Anna in Ark, they poop all the time. Phone com just went along with that idea. And, well, you're maybe a bit big around that area. You're just pooping in your pants, that's all. Anna tame a wizard. Yeah. We need fireballs. I bet always nice to be able to release what you're working hard on. Yeah. It must be lovely. It must be lovely. Yeah, I mean, we we have been saying for years, we're like, you know, just give us more content, take our money, give us more content. So, you know, at least at least you've done that. I'm kind of excited. So, I've been playing since beta. Yeah, nice work, softly. Oh, oh my goodness, that terrified me. Thank you, thank you for the hundred bits, man. I was like, what the hell? Just had a friend donate some blood. There'll be new content every ninety days now. That is, so that is what's very exciting for me, like knowing that there is kind of a plan to update more content because I want to play this game. Like I want to, like this is my, one of my favorite games. I want to like, I want a reason to kind of keep streaming it, keep making content on it. So if you're going to keep bringing stuff out, then that's, that's wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. Yeah. Right, let's cook some steaks. Uh, what are we, what, oh, we're only, oh, we're nearly level 21 so we can make our javelin soon. Um, we've got some gruel ready for our friendship, pending friendship. Can I make a fluid press already to press my little head to there? Um, da -da 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 -da. Oh, I don't know what I did then. 
Da, 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 da. Blew it. Da, 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 da. Um, it's locked. Oh, 28. Okay, fine. Oh, reset. Oh. Uh, so is that because I'm in single player? I could just reset everything. I'm assuming that's just single player. Oh. I think that's because I'm in single player. Oh, that's nice. I don't have to use the potion of bestial memory. Honestly, when I, I play, spent a lot of time playing Scipter, trying to get hold of the potion of bestial memory recipe. It's because I'm an admin. I see. Okay, because we were in creative mode very briefly earlier. Yeah, it, the Isla Scipter potion of bestial memory is an absolute pain in the butt to get hold of. I'm like addicted to that potion, like on Exiled Lands. You know what I mean? I'm like toggling between encumbrance and like like dungeon sort of builds and I, I can't get that potion like recipe for the love and all money. Um, this is just a plea. Could you help? Could you make it easier to get? <laughs> Although maybe it's less ne less necessary now. I don't know. Um, I think that's 30. It's because I'm an admin node. Okay, fair enough. I see, I see. All right, let's repair stuff and let's go do some moidering to level up further. Uh, yeah, usually I have like a fridge full of potions of best memory. And my fave agility weapon. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Okay, we'll leave a head in the blacksmith bench because that's where everyone leaves their heads. Obviously. And um, let's go. Okay. So we need some points. Uh, we need to take some food with us because we we don't really have any. Da, 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 da. Don't need to take gruel. Or f force a habit. Right. Okay. Um, I don't. We've got to be careful who we pick a fight with at this level because we're going to get. If we get into a fight with someone else with daggers, they're going to beat us. Um. It is so wonderful to sit to when you're a glass, you're a glass slingshot in your next fight. Yeah, definitely. Favors the aloe soup. So I don't know if um I remember when aloe soup, aloe soup herbal tea. I remember when they were really really powerful, and I would fill my fridges with like aloe soup and herbal tea, and I would it was so satisfying. I'm hoping to see like, I think they've changed. I think you guys have changed food again. I believe, have you? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> like asking myself questions. Um, but yeah, I'm hoping that there's more reason to to use those again because I felt like they were kind of nerfed and they weren't really they weren't really helpful. And I just used aloe potions, like basic aloe potions for ages. Um, so yeah, I like that. I mean, I know some people don't care too much about um, cooking and stuff in games, but I want to do all of the things and craft all the stuff. Ooh, we got a point. We got a point, chat, towards something. Uh, all buffs have been updated to be less complex. Ah, exciting. I like that satisfying noise. Um, uh, checks, checks, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Uh, all right. Well, I want to get, I thought there was more yellow lotus here. There's definitely some more over here. We'll grab some. Da, 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 da. So that I used to make um, my potions. So I can respec, although I can just press the button. But I guess I could deny myself admin rights again. I only want to use like creative for like building, just to kind of you know, just to make it more fun and a bit quicker. I definitely love the build hammer. The build hammer is a lot of fun. It's a it's a nice uh, it's a nice change. The fact that I don't have to wait for things to craft anymore is a godsend. I mean, you already made it so that it was so much quicker to craft stuff, which was, oh, <laughs> such a relief. Um, you don't have to like stand around with stuff in your inventory anymore, kind of like waiting for it to craft. So yeah, the build hammer is fantastic. We got our level 21. Uh, let's get some, let's get a bit of skin now. Do I have the skinning knife? Somewhere. Don't have a metal. I swear we made a metal skinning knife. We'll use this one instead. I left it behind. I feel like the bodies behave differently when they're dead. Like the 
corpses. I don't know. Wait, maybe you've done something to that. Looks to running uh, well, like as far as I I haven't had any problems yet. Yeah. Um, back when I first played, yeah, I might just I miss the religious benefits. I must say. Yeah, I miss Ambrosia soup or whatever it was called. Um, I love doing everything this. I'm excited to get home and play. Yeah, it's so much fun. It is so much fun. I don't think you'd regret it, honestly. I I mean, I, I can't speak for everybody because there will be some people who just don't like this game, but I just love it. Need three more loads of flowers, yeah. Yeah. All right, going to finish with my walk and then home to play Conan. Yay, amazing. So excited for you, Panda. This is like... This game was just one of my most wonderful gaming experiences I've ever had. Like, when I first just like, got to Noob River with my friends, um, we were on an adventure, I didn't know what to expect. There was a crocodile down the river to fight, and, you know, I didn't understand how to get around the map and everything. It, it was just one of the most wonderful gaming experiences, so... I'm, like, envious of people who get to do it all over again for the first time. Okay, we gathered all the lotus that we need for the thingy that I didn't even know I was trying to do. I'm just gathering this stuff because it's, it's going to be helpful for me. Uh, aloe, like so much aloe around this pond. This is why my set base is like one of my absolute favourites because it's just everything I need here. I know where I can get like a load of iron, I know I can get loads of stone. Um, that up there, I had a really big base up there on official just before, when I very first started streaming um, and I lost it because it decayed. And it was this beautiful storm glass base. It was like the best thing I've ever built. <laughs> and it bloody decayed. That's my own fault, but I was just too into streaming at the time, so. But yeah, it's a nice place to have a base up there. One of the best things about it is because there is an obelisk over there for teleportation. However, however, now this, um, what is it? Teleportation. A different kind of teleportation, which I'm yet to discover. Okay, this kudo is like harassing me. Could you just... There's a there's a one skull. Yeah, kill it. Kill it, one skull. Kill the kudo. Yes, kill the kudo. <laughs> Work for me. Work for me. Work for me. Okay, no, don't hit me. Don't hit me. He will hit like a freaking truck. I don't want to fight him. Okay. I would like that tasty savory flesh, to be fair. Or we could skin it. The kudos give you um, exquisite meat as well, which is kind of useful for some taming some animals if i climb i'm just gonna just gonna you're gonna forget about me you're gonna forget about me you're gonna be like what what did i come over here for i feel like i was angry about something you're gonna lose aggro buddy yeah oh <laughs> you actually teleported back perfect wait c to drop there we go use shift as well stretch thank you everyone builds the river to start yeah the realization you can climb all the trees to escape danger um, was life changing. Yeah, my neighbor has a spear and a bad temper. I've had to kill him a handful of times. Spear guys, pokey, pokey guys are like the worst. They're the worst, definitely. Um, I missed. Uh, my little tiny house is hard to miss since it's right on the river. Yeah, well, you should build on the river when you first start. Like, it's wonderful. The music is great in that area. You know, the enemies are, like, perfect for just when you're just beginning. Um, you know, it's it's wonderful. And also, the south side of the river, I don't know if it's still the case, because it was a few months ago, but the south side of the river, like, the, the south of it, below the river, um, there were no purges. I don't know if that's still a thing. They got rid of purges so that brand new people to the game um, didn't have as much pressure, I guess, or you could choose to not have purges if you were new. I think that's kind of nice. There are some people who hate purges. And I think when you're new to the game, they are kind of scary, but they're a lot of fun. They're a lot of fun. They're annoying, but good for practice. Yeah, hokey pokey, mate. Yeah, yeah. Is that the tether? That's weird. Um, Yeah, I haven't noticed that happen before. Uh, have I? Yeah, maybe I have. Maybe I have in the past. I don't think that's a new thing necessarily. Um. I will, maybe I'll put some pictures of my base that I had there on Discord. There was, was such a nice base. 
Uh, how many times, chat, have you if you've played this game? How many times have you built something amazing and then you've like kind of forgotten about it for like a week, or just like you miss the day you usually refresh your timers and then it's like <laughs> it's all gone, everything is gone. Fortunately, you still keep your character, but yeah, you got to know about your decay timer. Pokemon, yeah. <laughs> Sound the river, sandstorm would not kill you in the past, but now it does. Yeah. Um, was I gathering anything particular? Yeah, let's go and um, let's go and tune our bracelet. Woohoo! First, first bracelet. Oh, that's one thing I usually do on the way up here. Actually, is do the bracelet at Noob River. We didn't do that, um, but I was running for my life. To be fair, and I they nearly caught up to me. Da -da, da -da -da. Do -do 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 uh yeah so let's go down here i think the music in this game is freaking beautiful it's just wonderful wait you were looking i wasn't looking for lotus Flower. i mean i think okay so i think i needed a couple yeah but i kind of got lost on a tangent okay so it was the case that if you put points into i can't remember if it was encumbrance or grit like the first perk or something would reduce the debuff you get from being crippled um i'm just gonna click on this Ooh. piss off leave me alone i do not wish to fight you foulers <laughs> stop it if you want to level up early game um you can't do you can't go very wrong with ske like killing skeletons i don't know about the skeletons here but the ones in the unnamed city give you like was it like sixteen thousand xp per kill so yeah like when you get to a point where you can kill skeletons in the unnamed city not the bosses and stuff that's a fire spark trick by the way can't claim any ownership of that thank you fire spark um we could discover this as well do do there we go let's not go in there we get deadified uh right so now we can make blunted javelins and we can befriend someone we can make a truncheon earlier in the game than this but i i like the blunted javelins and alive yeah modified yeah yeah we haven't had any problems yet at all have we we haven't done anything crazy but we did use we've used the build stuff um i haven't had any like I haven't had any bugs yet which is good Dun. i'm gonna try not to just speed run this chat because um you know i want to i want to enjoy it but i i am excited to get to the point where i can do like sorcery and things like that you know all that shiznit and I wanted, to, I wanted to show you, like, the tips and tricks that I've got. Things that I do. Look at the way she runs. I don't know how I feel about it. She's less graceful now. Oh, shit. You scared the bejesus out of me. Kalendras! Yeah, I just want to learn this. If I, like... Can I discover this? Do I have to go inside, inside? This is a dungeon. We're not going to do it. I already learned the thing. <laughs> Hello, Deo. Hello, lovely. How are you doing? Are you going to play some Conan? How can I zoom out further in third person? Uh, uh, scroll wheel. Mouse scroll wheel. But you can change your FOV. Uh, you can change your FOV. In settings. Uh, in video there you go good how you never played before it's free for a week on steam uh and we have a server we have a server all the details are in the discord yeah the only thing it's like it's got a bit impersonal when you're like really zoomed out it's like quick pro um you can do it now if you know where to go uh do what now if you know where to go what have I missed for ye? Da, 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 da. 
Okay, let's go make our shiznits. These things are such a nightmare to kill. If you if you don't have a weapon that can kill them in like one hit, and, and not that I would ever kill them unnecessarily, but you know, food and whatnot. Um, they're such a pain in the butt. Let's get loads of these yellow lotus flowers because until we level up, um, we'll get, I think it's the bench. I think once we get a better fireball cauldron, then we, um, we don't need as many. We definitely want aloe as well. So maybe we'll put this all in one box and try to be organized human beings. You know what I mean? So I'm looking at you, chat. You know you're not very organized. Actually, I know we're very organized. You're very organized. Shut up, chat. <laughs> so we can make... Oh, I see. Oh. Oh, that's exciting. Okay. Because currently, apart from building, the game has been like been like 2.0 or whatever so i'm excited do, do, do. Do, do, do. Do, 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 do. get away from me oh, i ran out of stamina like a noob chat i've embarrassed myself i think i may have also pooped my pants this is why I'm running in such a way. I'm sorry to be obsessed with it, but it's just, I don't like the way she runs now. She's like, oh, oh, if only I could make it home in time. <laughs> uh, let's get home safely. Let's make the uh, blunted javelins and, um, and then we can look at the sorcery stuff if we can learn it now. Is it level 21? Is that what you have to get to? Da da. Ah, so good to be here. Okay, right. Blunted javelins first. Let's put this away. Uh, we need to learn them. Okay, perfect. I don't know. Maybe there's a spell that makes like I could just say boo, and the thrall would just fall down. Maybe. Here we go. Excellent. Can make rugs as well brilliant um let's make like four of these because they do have a durability on them we can explain how to start if you'd like um let's see let's see oh there's no level requirement isn't there ah um it was the fov suites oh my god thank you for the bits thank you man <laughs> That's a good one. I've not seen that one before. Um, Free sounds probably yeah, and we have a server as well. So you know, get get on that, get on that. The super ultra wide monitor has an issue with character creation screen. The buttons are off screen. Oh my goodness. Um, so we can be learned it now if you go to the book to learn it. Okay. Um, no level requirement. I can play how to start if you'd like. In accent, of course. I'm over encumbered. I'm running around with. Three loads of shit in my trousers. <laughs> I love the direction they went with the magic. No spoilers, obviously. Thank you, lovely. Um, so just, let's well, let's have a look. And what I do love is uh, the ability to wait. I'm in the wrong thing. I have the ability to get help from chat when I need it. Um, so there's a sorcery tub here. <sighs> okay, small town hero, instruct me. Um. I don't know what this ancestral knowledge thing is, to be fair. Is I have to say, it is one of those games where you do kind of have to look stuff up. Um, and there's some games you could just kind of like dabble, like muddle through. I mean, you could probably muddle through this game, but you'd have to really explore a lot and make like just do a lot of trial and error, I suppose. But the wick, the wiki has been. Like really helpful just over the years um yeah server yeah we have three servers now available chat we have a conan exile server an arc fjord server and a valheim community server you're welcome to join them go to the discord um find sorcerers in the game and and merc them oh kel thank you for the bits hype train is closed thank you for the bits i give it a sticker <laughs> 
Uh, Draugr, thank you for the follow. So you've got to find sorcerers in the game and murk them. Oh, murder them. Okay, you may, you may be. Okay, okay. Okay, that's cool. I might reduce my FOV. I think it's a bit too, a bit over the top. Uh, here we go. Maybe like... Uh, it's a bit small. Should we put it at Overwatch quality? Overwatch uh, numbers. Uh, maybe n Overwatch is one hundred and three. <laughs> Why is she talking about Overwatch? Because she's entirely chaotic. There we go. Hundred. That's all right, isn't it? We can always move it in a bit with the scroll wheel. Um, okay, so we've got to find sorcery people. Okay, that's exciting. Um, let's... I've got a lot of... <laughs> I'm only on two times harvesting, I must say. Um, in case you're like, oh, she's got millions of things in her inventory. Uh, let's leave some plants. Excellent. Da, 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 da. Uh, I'm not going to need to carry any of these with me. I will carry, I like to carry like loads of these aloe leaves with me because they don't weigh anything and I can craft potions on the way. Um, as soon as you craft the potions, they weigh a fair bit. So um, we'll take a few ready po Like When I start like a fight, if I do a dungeon or something, I'll just generally have potions crafting as I'm like moving around. Um, do, 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 do. Let's put these in here for storage purposes. I don't think we need that much meat. Um, all right. Well, I'm excited to explore, chat. Oh, hello. <laughs> Sus among us. Thank you, lovely. Thank you for the bits. Um, okay. Let's drink some water. What do we do with our hide? Let's tan it. Um... We can skin people on the go if we need, like, bedrolls. Uh, we're going to have to put bedrolls down frequently, I think. Um, so it might get moidified. Uh, let's leave arrows, bits and bobs, general shiznits. Um, keep some iron on us because we want to repair our ponyards. And in fact, let's repair stuff now. Uh, repair... Oh yeah, what my skinning knife? Didn't I make one? Ah, maybe I didn't have enough iron for that. Um, have I got more? Yes, I have. Do I have anything to to burn? I'm gonna need a lot more iron. I think the two times harvesting is like working for me pretty well. Um, wait, I don't want that much. Maybe we'll do it again. Yeah, we'll keep a, p a fair bit of iron because we're going to need to repair these quite often. Um, leave, leave that in there. Oh yeah, I wanted to make an iron skinning knife. I need some sticks. Do 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 do. Bugger. Um, sticks, sticks, sticks. Okay. So we can get rid of all the garbage. We can get rid of these shiznits too. Honestly, I'm not going to use all these arrows. I will, I'll probably never use them ever again. <laughs> um, so let's not carry too many of them around. Could do with a cleaver as well. And more stone tools. I wonder if there'll be like a cosmetic prettier version of the construction hammer in future like a star metal repair hammer I wonder um, do we want to keep the bow I quite like the bow for kiting enemies maybe we'll just keep it with us but not on a hot bar do, 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 do. Um, alrighty are we ready for exploring I think we are. I think we are. We got just the basics. <laughs> just the essentials. Nothing too special. Um, we got loads of food. We got water. Okay. 
I don't know where to find sorcerers. Um, but I just want to go and explore. You can eat people and sacrifice them. So I know you could always eat people. You could just like chop up bodies and whatnot. Skin people. <laughs> what kind of support am I going? Yeah, what sort of game? No quick pro FOV, yeah. Um, you may need to do it a few times, but you're looking for pages and a map. Okay. Viking ready. Um, I'll just say this. You start your life in sorcery by finding a book in an altar in a cave. Okay. Talking about basic stuff I don't know about sorcery and tales. Got you. Okay. Well, I know where all the caves are, chat. Um, okay. Hmm. Where should we go? So, okay, what we might do then is we might do a bit of an obelisk um, attuning. We can't do any, like, in any extreme areas. Um, I feel like my FOV might be a little bit big. I feel like our character's, like, teeny tiny right now. I might reduce it somewhat. It's all right now, but when I'm running... I don't know. We'll see. <clears throat> Did I didn't even make any... Hold on. Friendship! Oh no! Oh no! Go away, console commands! <laughs> okay, let's make our friendship um, bludgeoners. And then um, and then we'll go on an adventure. Because if we see somebody we want to befriend, um, we want to be able to drag them home, you know, willingly, but sleepily. Um, you know. Ba -da, da -da -da. Uh, where is that? I haven't been to the village you guys yet. Oh, well, do you want me to tell you? This is Sepamaru. Sepamaru, you can look it up. This is my favourite, like, starter base area. Um, and throughout the game, honestly. Um, what am I looking for? Oh, yeah, bludgeon, bludgeon, bludgeon. Oh, I made them. I just didn't bring them with me. Perfect. Okay. Adventure time. Let's go. I think like forced friendship. I mean, all friendship starts with a bit of bludgeoning. We learn that in arc. You know what I mean? Show us. Cool. Um, you want me to show you where it is? Okay, if you don't want to know, look away now. It's here. There you go. And you can look back. <laughs> uh, let me just repair my armor. Uh, oh, oops. Do 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 do. Do I need more twine to repair it, I wonder? I'm so used to the paper doll- Wait. I've got it. I've been- I'm so used to playing Ark now. Okay. I just had a momentary panic and I remembered I turned off nudity. <laughs> I was like, uh, hold on a minute. Da, 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 da. Okay. Repair this. So the good thing is we only need hide to repair it. So we could actually repair it on the go if we- if it gets too damaged. we're out and about and we can get hide from skinning our foes so it's okay awesome uh right um so we need to make some bindings we make from plant fiber um let's just make sure we have some with us because i just in case we're in a bit of a shortage area um um, um. Yeah, let's go and try and attune our obelisk by like f eating around the map. Um, and I guess go to caves. So I I know where the caves are. I just I kind of I think it'll be fun to kind of not know um, not know where to look exactly, but just to kind of like eat a bit. Oh, how have you changed? Have they reset? Have we done something with spawns? This was Luba the Luscious earlier. And I'm on single player. So nobody's been here. So far from where I am, I may move again. I think like, yeah. That's interesting. This was Luba the Luscious earlier. Interesting. Hmm. That is interesting. So did... The thralls like reset, or is that just because I'm okay? I have so many questions, but hey ho. Okay, we're gonna be careful here. This is a dangerous spot. Some mercenaries. So this is a friendly place, but there are certain people prowling around. 
who want to kill you. If just just on sight. Okay, also I really want to kill this person because they have something I want. So I'm just gonna lose aggro. Don't mind me. Oh, forget about me. Forget I exist. Forget I exist. Go home. You're not wanted here. <laughs> I don't li I'm not here. There you go. They've forgotten. Oh, what was... Did you remember why we were here? I don't know. Did you say something about a sandwich? Yes, I wanted a sandwich too. Did, what did you have yesterday? For oh, I don't know. Did you go shopping? No. <laughs> God, forget about me. Forget about me. That one there is like... She's like... Refused to let go. Stop being aggro. Why are you... I want to kill that bearer. But I do not wish to fight pokey people. Because pokey people are the worst. Well, and daggers, but you know. The bearer's coming to me. Wait, 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 wait. Stop, 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 stop. Oh, God. Uh-oh, puppies. <laughs> I don't want to fight the pokey people. And I don't want to fight the... Oh, the arrow people stop me from... Okay. If you try to climb and you get shot, if you take any damage while you're climbing, uh, you fall off. Stop it! <laughs> Stop it! Okay. This tiny little ridge will outsmart my enemies. Don't you shoot me! Stop it! Stop it! You just, if you cover your face, then they can't see you. This is how it works. Um... He can't dance all day, he needs breaks too, Anna. Be considerate. Okay. The bad people have gone now. So we should be able to moider, for, moider this person. Everything is fine. Everything is fine. If you see a tier 3 one of these, make sure you kill them. And steal what they have. Are you going to die from your injuries? That's right. Die from your injuries. Here you go. Come on. Take it. Take it, but don't open it. Supply package. We'll open it when we get home. I do have a problem with impulses. <laughs> I do struggle to not open the packages. And then I'm over incumbent. Look at me. Look at me. You can tell I'm, I'm ashamed <laughs> by the way I'm running. Okay. I see a lone fisherman. So this guy here, you can tell by the armor. If you see somebody in this light armor, um, standing here, then it's a named cook, basically. You can thrall this guy, and he'll like cook for you. He's like, unless I, unless I like hit him, he won't attack me. Let's see. I'm just proving a point. <laughs> okay, off on, off we go, off we go. Yeah, you can tame him. He's actually quite a nice person to tame uh, Thrall because um, no one else can get there. So it's just you and him, really. So that's good. He can't escape. <laughs> All right. Um, it's a good place to look for a blacksmith when you need a blacksmith. Carpenter's over here. And armor's up here. Do, 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 do. Do. It's a very good place for thralls, uh, Sep and Maru. This is blacksmiths again. Bam, ba, dam. These spawn points haven't changed for like a really long time, so it's the only reason I'm like, I'm like over here are all the armors, <clears throat> etc., etc. So, capes. I think look, the running back animations changed too. I think looks different. Cool, 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 cool. Okay, caves, 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 caves. Right, we'll do obelisks. We'll do like an obelisk hunt. Um, so I guess if we do that, we should probably run up to mounds. If we're going to kind of go around the map, map tour, yo, and we'll just level as we go. Really, like. Um, learning, learning uh, about map locations is a good way to get XP. So, um, it's a bloody kudo. Listen, I didn't want to kill you, but you forced my hand. You did. You forced my hand. 
You had to be all aggressive. I was all like, hey, let's be buddies. Maybe ignore each other. Um, these guys will give you exquisite meat if you... Look at the bunnies have changed. Uh, if you use a cleaver and you need that for certain things. So it's good to, to know. But you have to use like a... I think you have to use iron to get it. They'll also give you savoury flesh as well, which is just good eating. Uh, Kudo was too big for his britches, yeah. Bam, bam. I keep wanting, like, I think there must be a button to put away your weapon, but I don't know if I've ever used it before. I just, like, press the button again. But, like, on Valheim, it's R, isn't it? To unequip and re equip. I don't know. Oh. That's adventure chat. So, we're going to go to Mounds. Um, we are definitely not ready to like do anything in that camp, but um, we're gonna go for the obelisk basically. So that when we want to go there for things and stuff, we can. When we're ready, <laughs> we don't have any armor. Like we have this poopy armor right now. Um, and then as we travel around the map, we'll assume our obelisks, and um. Well, do you know bracelet to obelisks? And we'll I gotta look for caves and things, I guess. Da -da 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 -da. Da -da -da -da. So we're gonna go going north through Brown Grove. X to unequip. Oh, is it? Ah, uh, amaze balls. Thank you. I knew there was, you know. Thank you, Dark Matter. Is it E? No. E to boost. <laughs> e to boost over the ocean. Yeah. This is a this is a decent place for a base as well. There's always um there's always so there's a bunch of spawns uh for like armorers. where it's a guaranteed spawn. This is one of them. You can get um you can get a tier three armorer every single time. I mean unless they've changed. <laughs> Maybe they'll prove me wrong. Um and there's a few of those spots, uh like around Separu. Um, there he is. Tier th it's always a tier 3 or a named. There you go. This is a good place to go. Um, this is just a gorgeous part of the map. Bum, 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 ba -da -da. Don't you hit me. As long as I manage my stamina, um, everybody stops to attack. Um, apart from, so the only thing that you have to worry about really is cats and dogs, I think. Um, yeah. So like hyenas and cats will pounce and sometimes they'll catch up with you, I think. But if you like run serpentine, generally you can avoid everything. Um, because you have to manage your stamina, obviously, sometimes. Um, I feel like they run further than they used to. I don't know if they've changed that. Da -da. Have they added new voice acting too? Did they add new voice acting? Is that what is that a comment on? Is that a comment on me doing silly voices? A butt spot. Ba -da -da -da. Slapping a butt sticker. <laughs> uh, I can tell you the cave. No fun though. Yeah, yeah. Let me, let me, um, let me just let's explore. I think it'll be nice to explore and not know. And then if I kind of get stuck and bored or want to want to ask, and that's really helpful. But thank you for for offering and thank you for being helpful. Um, I appreciate it. Bah, bah, bah. I mean, in game, I don't think I've heard a few of the voice lines today. Hmm. See this cat. Well, if we wouldn't be able to see him with that, if our FOV wasn't so like wide, I don't think. Leave me alone. Oh, my stamina. Got a serpentine a bit. So he should forget about me. Yeah. He's teleported back. Hmm. I think he like yeah, his tether teleported him back. The nice thing about this game compared to Ark, and this isn't like a hey, which who's better, this or Ark. The nice thing about this compared to Ark is that your thralls, your followers, will teleport to you. If you just run away, um, they will teleport to you. And they won't get stuck behind a rock like this. They will go around the rock for a start. And then if you like run miles away, 
they, they were just like a, a raptor just like constantly running at the rock for hours and hours and hours they will go around the rock <laughs> they will like go hey i wonder is there another way to get there <laughs> um that's cool it's a little little sneaky thing over here some fun thing you might want to if you want if you want a pet there's some pets here you can pick up you see like a little tiny thing over there moving you see it don't wish to aggro you friend um these one skull people can sometimes if you harvest them with good tools sometimes they can give you really good like loot like potions and repair kits stuff like that um it can be quite handy all right uh, we're on our way to Mounds, to a tuner obelisk. Um, the obelisk, basically, so teleportation in this game. So they have added some new things recently, um, obviously, in the update in Sorcery, um, which I've kind of yet to discover. But basically, teleporting around in this game, you make a map room, um, and then you can teleport to places on the map um, where there is an obelisk. But you have to like click on the obelisk, attune your bracelet to the obelisk before you can teleport there. So you have to go to the places by foot first. Um, on foot first, I guess. So that's what we're doing at the moment, just so that we can kind of like run around and have a bit of an adventure. Um, by doing this so there are places that we can't go yet because we haven't got the right armor for it um or foods or whatever and i don't know like hopefully i don't know how temperature is going to be in 3.0 um it used to be that as long as you had epic flawless armor you could survive in any temperature if it was the right one then they made it so that there was no flawless armor anymore and there were only certain armors that would protect you from cold and heat um i don't know how it is now um i kind of like the epic flawless thing before but i didn't like the fact that you had to have a specific thrall because um can you could you drop so shift no longer lets go it used to be that shift would make you loot let go of a wall um which was quite handy when you were climbing right so there is an obelisk here there we go mounds of the dead uh, you will get corrupted when you get to an obelisk and before there was no benefit to corruption but now i believe uh, there's also a thing on the ground here that we can pick up it's a recipe brewing okay um there was no benefit to corruption um it was just an annoyance uh before yep gotta get used to the fact that shift doesn't let go anymore um it was just an annoyance because it's that purple thing on your hop on your like uh, health and stamina um and all it would do is reduce the amount the max amount of health and stamina that you could get and you could clear it by being near an entertaining thrall um but now i believe there is some benefit to corruption um i don't know if i have to learn sorcery in order to see it Ooh, but i do have let's do a bit of vitality um so yeah i now know that if you get corrupted to a certain level, then you can harness that power or something. You can become like a bad person, I guess. Um, okay, so we're gonna try and learn sorcery. We're gonna go find, find the thing. Oops, what have I done here? Uh, what do we have here? About there. There is a guy here you can talk to. Bum, bum, ba, da, da, dum, bum. What brings you to this God's cursed corner of the world, exile? Behold, okay. You talk too much. Has anyone ever told you that? Yes. Stay off the booze. It's getting to you. Um, something you might want to collect while you're here at Mounds is some crimson lotus flower. If you put these in a grinder and you eat about five, five of them. Uh, it will make you very drunk and it will kind of give you food poisoning um and you won't but you won't die oh it tells me what i'm missing you won't die um but after the oh god it is so dark at mount of the dead um shall i open my supply oh shit now we're over encumbered 
chat. Why did I open it now? I want this stuff. <laughs> so this is from the bearer pack. Um, let's get a tree. Make another torch. Because it is dark as anything here. Uh, yeah, if you, so if you eat five of those uh, bits of ground up red lotus, it'll make you drunk first. And then after that, it will give you vitality and strength. That's how it was before. I don't know if that's changed in 3.0. But that's one of my favourite um, like cheap potions to make. I usually just make a bunch of torches and like chuck them out when I've when they're broken. There you go. If you come to Mount of the Dead, bring a one-handed weapon and a torch. <laughs> Several torches, because it's dark as anything. Okay, so we've done the obelisk here. Um next one we want to do we can't do that one yet. Um we have to go to the sinkhole, I think. Um can't ping the map. I kind of like, I miss that in Valheim. I think all games should have that. Alrighty. Onwards, chat. Famous flight path runs as low as level 20. The famous flight path. That sounds interesting. How did you become a bad person? You say you need to kill children, make cookies with raisins. Are those bunty javelins any good? Never used them before. I really like them, Taylor. A cage store is not a thing on the main. Map. Cage thralls. No, to tear on. It was a sip to think. Don't get hit by the blue guys. They are... They are meanies. They hit hard. They corrupt you. And I've lost thralls to them before. Bum, 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 bum. Yeah, no, there's no caged people. That is a that is really fun. Like, early game on sip to getting somebody... Like, getting a jailer key. Um, it's a lot. It's a lot of fun. Um, okay. Away with away with you. <laughs> Don't even know where I'm going now. This is anything when you're like running. Um. I would have died if I if this was Valheim from that full damage. Um. Okay. I think I know where I am now. Ba -da -da. Just never run out of stamina. Just never ever run out of stamina. <laughs> Don't allow it. Okay, we definitely need to put some points into grip because I need like at least 200 stamina to get around. I don't know how the first perk in agility has been kind of, the old first perk in agility has been incorporated into the game. Bum, bum, bum. Cookies with raisins. Ooh, are you a berserker? Yeah, you are. She's going to be our best friend later. I, I don't know, maybe she'll be gone. Don't you hit me. Don't you hit me. I am not ready for you, my friend. But we're going to be best buddies. Uh, so I don't know how they've reworked thralls. I don't know how they reworked thralls, but uh, berserkers were always, were always uh, in the most recent days, were like the strongest uh, in terms of damage, as far as I know. Um, so yeah, they're quite good to farm, really. And there's always a, that that spawn that we just ran through. That's like a hundred percent spawn spawn rate for a berserker, which is here, here on the map. Mounds. But yeah, I don't know. Maybe thralls aren't as powerful now. Maybe like this new update will make it so that you're the one that gives the power to the thralls. Don't know. Are all thralls created equal now? Who knows? Only time will tell. Yeah, this is the Crimson Lotus powder, uh, stuff. It's just so, like, you can carry it around. It doesn't weigh anything. All you have to do is grind it. Um, I think there's an emote here. There it is. There you go. Spit. Excellent. Okay, they went away. <laughs> I was going to take a picture. All right, so we're heading... I'm, my sense of direction is apparently awful. Dun, dun, dun. That's correct about the Thors. There's an attribute you can put points in now and make your friends more gooder. But are they are some of them more gooder than others, or like, or are they all equally ungood? Now, this is my question. Because there were, I mean, that sounds good. But are there still like a berserker still like the best? This is what I want to know. I'm looking forward to some fire spark videos. Tears, yes. So tears, yes. But factions. What about factions? So like volcano thralls and 
um like berserk sumerians and stuff like that are they still still the best or are like people on new river and people in the volcano equal but no mm. that's that's gonna be interesting okay we are being oh that's a dire wolf that is a dire wolf he will literally destroy me he is he's a one skull i swear the dire wolves i swear the dire wolves are worse than the white the frost wolves he is oh gosh do i have enough stamina to get away from him Oh, please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. I'm going to run like a serpent. Please don't freaking kill me. He is absolutely... He's like one of the scariest things in the game for me. He will fudge you up. Even if you're wearing like end game armor. Okay, the end of the music should mean that he's lost our grill. Ooh. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. Yeah, they're just like randomly spawn where wolves are. <laughs> and they're so scary. They look really gross and scary too. All right. <laughs> Honestly, like pooped my pants. Uh, it would make sense that high tier enemies is a superior. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely. So yeah, I so I would hope that still like Sumerians are still like way better, and like you know relic hunters and things like that um, are still like a lot better than new river ones. New river ones have to be like easy as as anything and it should be that the volcano really the volcano thralls should be the hardest like they should be better than the like sumerians um i think i don't know if there's like a pvp thing there where sometimes people just kind of take over the um the volcano and there it kind of becomes a bit of a pain in the butt like whoever owns the volcano then owns the map i don't know um don't know i don't do pvp um, but yeah, new river people should be like easy, definitely. When you're just a wee bairn. Okay, onwards chat. We could discover Asgard while we're here. A little bit of a tour. Da -da 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 -da. Usually I will kind of try and discover places early game. Um, <coughs> and like attune my obelisk, attune the obelisks. Um, just because like, it's like easy XP, you know, while you're like a noob um, and you don't have a lot of like levels, it's kind of a good thing to do just to wander around. And it is it is reasonably safe to do as long as you manage your stamina and can just run away from things. If you don't manage your stamina, if you allow yourself to run out of stamina um, and then you get that kind of like black and white, everything's kind of like greyed out, you're a bit screwed really. You can do a serpentine kind of run and that will help you a lot. But, um, you know, if anything's really strong, especially if it cripples you, then, yeah, your ability to do the serpentine thing really well is kind of diminished. Time for the 33 minutes of downloading and then it's time to be excited. It is a big game. It is a big game. I'm excited. I lived there. Yeah, you lived there in, um, you lived there in, uh, in Ark, didn't you? In Fjordor. Fjord 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 yeah, get ready to be exiled, Panda. Someone rescue him from the cross, won't you? Um, okay, we're going to run up here. I don't know if we should maybe, like... Maybe we should save the discoveries for when we're going to go there and, like, we're ready to fight. Maybe we should do that. Because I'm... I don't want to play too much like I'm just playing off stream, like, just, like, just going through the motions. Um, we should probably, like, prepare for Asgard and actually do it and discover it at the same time. Maybe. I don't know. I see you, wolf. Wolves are freaking scary, generally. A bit of... Yeah. Shouldn't be able to catch me. If I just... I'm not even, like, pressing shift now. Okay, so he can catch me if I don't press shift. Yeah. Because he does his... His leap will catch up with me. Yeah. Ooh, there's a place here. Sometimes rocks can help. Um, there is a recipe over here. Maybe we could do some climbing. Oh, he's he's forgotten about me. He's been like, oh, I, f I forgot what I was doing. He smelt something. He smelt like a bone on the ground. Let's heal up. Um, so we could climb and do the, 
with the aloe recipe. I think it's... Is it this one? I don't really use aloe soup anymore, though, but apparently they've reworked that stuff, so maybe it'll become useful again. Um... Da, 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 da. I think... I think maybe this is the side that I would climb. Gotta pick your... Gotta choose your paths carefully. Oh, shit. Uh, Kel found the fur door. <laughs> oh, so, oh my goodness. Uh, gotta be careful not to fall. Why is it throwing... Oh, it's throwing me off because I'm getting to the top of something. Okay. Uh, is this going to help? Okay. Let's make sure we're fully healed. Oh, we'll have a stretch while we do this. He didn't want to chase you anymore. He could smell you. Pooped your pants. Yeah, that must be it. Definitely. Oh, okay. Okay. Let's climb here. I don't know if this is the right... Mm. I haven't climbed this for such a long time. I actually hope, <laughs> hope it's the right one. I don't know if I'm going to have enough grit, honestly. Let's see if we can restamp here. Oh, don't fall, you turd wallet. Okay. If you sing, it saves you. Bam, 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 bam. Oh, God. Climb, you fool. Don't know if I'm going to, to climb over this lip. Are you going to do it? Yeah. Come on. Help me out. No, you freak. <laughs> It used to be that you had to hold spacebar. Oh god. You had to hold spacebar to get over like edges. You're gonna like, have to fall now because we need stamina. Um, um and they got rid of that. They fixed it so that you didn't have to hold stamina they didn't have to hold spacebar. But it wasn't fixed sufficiently. Now it's actually all it means now is holding spacebar doesn't help. <laughs> That's my experience. Like if you're trying to climb somewhere in the unnamed city, that kind of thing. Um, it just, it's kind of touch and go. If it works. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, where are we going to, we don't have to, we not going to re -stam. Let's re -stam here. Nice textures. <laughs> okay, let's try again. Okay, I'm going to leave it. Gonna leave it for now. We're gonna come back when we got more more grit. I don't even know if we're gonna be able to if it's gonna kick us off again. Let's just leave it. Da, 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 da. It might not even be that one. It might be that one there. Don't know. But there is a recipe for aloe soup at the top of one of those, basically. Oh, hello there. So I'm gonna kill you because pork. I don't know if it still is. Ooh. That is... You are a tanky friend. Uh-oh. Your friend seems to have become aggravated. Are you, like, stunlocked? Oh, wow. Everybody wants to fight me. I don't want to get charged by you. Yeah, I knew you were going to do that. This is like the the place to come for boar meat, pork. Wherever you see like the kind of the browner green areas on the map, that's a really good place to come. And you can see it on the map as well. Um, it's like a good place to come for pork. And pork is really good for thralls. Um, I don't know if they've changed it. So yeah, maybe outdate information. But it was that it would give your thralls 25% damage buff if you fed them pork so i don't know if that's still the case but yeah i will take some anyway i don't know how it is as we take us yeah food has been reworked so we'll see we'll level on these guys anyway and it's food I'll use my cleaver raw pork no? yeah you get a lot though you get a lot when you yeah maybe too much does look like Assassin's Creed. What does? The climbing. Uh, let's drop the regular savoury flesh. Um, yeah, it's a shame I opened that 
bloody package. I want to keep these feathers. I'm going to have to get rid of this, chat. Should I drop with the, I drop the wood instead? Let's try not to drop this freaking iron. I don't need exquisite meat. I can get more of it. Um, hopefully the build hammer doesn't weigh anything. 333. Mm -hmm. Well, maybe I can put points into encumbrance. Um, weight. Yeah. There you go. Alrighty. Um, so, to the next obelisk. When you get much better tools later on. Mind you, I just remembered I've got two times harvesting on. But when you get much better tools later on, you get so much pork from these guys. Look at them, there's so many. This is where to go for pork. This kind of area. This brown area here, and then this kind of area here. It's where we are now. Yeah, this is kind of good. Da -da. This is like loads of them, and there's a mini boss there. Ba -ba. Hello, Blink. How are you doing? Have you been playing some Conan? Are you excited? Very. I'm having a having a good time. So I'm so glad to be able to play this game again. To have more more reason to you know more kind of content to play. Super excited to hop in tonight. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, I saw you've been playing a bit recently. Yeah, I've been on the test life. Yeah, yeah, I saw that. Yeah, definitely. I was tempted to, but I was like, I'm already, I've spent so much time in this game. I need to make, I need to save it. I need to save the content, like, for when it's fully released. And then, you know, obviously, like, sometimes there's, like, sometimes there's bugs when it's on test live and stuff. Although it is really good to do it. Um, I wanted to, like, I wanted to wait save it for myself yeah i hope you enjoyed it i get that yeah yeah definitely yeah it's so nice when a huge content update like drops yeah just need valheim missing to come out next that's why i'm super stoked for the battle pass more content more objectives yeah i am really happy that they have found a way to like um provide content kind of longer term because there's a lot of people who've been i mean just anecdotally people that i've sort of and me being one of them who was always like you know we will pay for more content like just give us another direwolf give us more content you know um so and that's what they've done you know um, but i will see how the battle pass kind of goes and like you know um i will i will kind of reserve judgment on the how cheeky some of it is i don't know uh, but again if it's just cosmetics then i guess if it's not necessary um, then there should be no problem really da, 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 da. It, it maybe it isn't a diet is it no it's just a normal wolf i think yeah just a normal wolf I'm so scared of die wolves yeah let's drop down here da, 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 da. Okay. Yeah, my muscle memory is to press shift to let go. Um, because you gotta let go multiple times. I might have to rebind that. I preferred it when it was shift. Right, obelisk. We're going here to the sinkhole. Uh, we could discover something over there, but I'm not gonna do that yet. I'm not I'm not trying to discover the whole map. Um There's a world boss here. This is a nice place to come and use your skeleton key. So when you kill a world boss, you get a skeleton key. These are these three skull guys. They're dotted around the world. They have a lot of HP. They're not too bad once you're like end end game. Um, they are kind of end game content, I suppose. But you can kill them earlier than that if you're really careful. Especially a croc boss. You could kill it with stone daggers, but it would take you a long time um, with bleed. I watched uh, Low Boss Junior do that on his speed run. That's kind of, you know, but it would take, take a while to do. Um, but then you can't use the skeleton keys. So the skeleton keys open chests for legendary weapons. Um, but then you can't open those chests unless you're level 60 anyway. So you can, like, farm the mini boss, uh, the world bosses for, like, XP. Um, you would get a lot of XP for it, although it would take you a while. Um, and they might kill your thrall if you're using a thrall because they do a fair bit of damage. And it's only when you're at the end of the game that you have, like, really, really good armor to protect yourself 
I'm trying to think about any caves. All I can think of is, I mean, I can think of Sinus Refuge. I can think of Skittering Cavern. Um, there's the Cave of the Big Crook. Um, uh, come on, Valheim. I know, I know. I'm like torn between, you know, being kind of impatient um, and also just like supportive and kind of wanting them to do whatever they need to do and, you know, nurture whatever talent they have and, you know, which is lots, obviously. Um, but yeah, it's like, I think the hardest thing is, is, you know, the hardest thing is like for us trying to plan what we're doing. I think that's the only frustration. If I knew when it was going to be, which, you know, obviously is easier said than done, but it would be a lot easier for us to like plan our like schedules, that kind of thing. Legendary weapons. Yes, Panda. Yeah. Loads of legendary weapons in this game. This is a freaking hello. Okay. This is a gorgeous place. Um, I had a base here. <laughs> I will say that a lot. <laughs> I had a base here. I had a base on that rock once uh, on a server. Um, I think that waterfall has just reminded me that I need to pee chat. So I will leave you. Shall I? Do I dare leave you with this view? Okay, if I come back and I've died, um, let's leave a bedroll just in case. There you go. You can just observe this gorgeousness while I go pee. I'm still alive. This is a good sign. We have like a bite of pasta while we uh, while we have this gorgeous place to stop for a minute. We could harvest that rhino that's died in front of us. A bit of opportunism, although we are very full on things. Hmm. Kind of full in our encumbrance. Oh, but I can have a bit of carbs, chat. Let's have a bite. <laughs> mm. Hello, lovely. Welcome back. Thank you for five months. Thank you so much. I've literally got a mouthful of pasta. Woo, woo, pay it and chat. <laughs> Thank you, lovely. Mm. Conan Exiles. It's free this week. Well, free for a week. Um, and we have a server. If anyone wants to join our server, there's a link to the Discord in the chat. Go to the right uh, channel, Conexile's channel, and you can join the server. Hmm. So good to see you. I'm just having a bite to eat while we're at this nice location. Hmm. 
Hello, Doey. That's lovely to hear. Hope you're enjoying it. That's such a fun game. Hurry up, Miss Lins. Come on. <laughs> Hello, Hobgoblin. Hello. How is it on PC? Only ever played it on console. Uh, Conan. Awesome. It's amazing. Um, yeah. About the same. Um. <laughs> yeah, I've had bases in so many, so many places in this map. On this, yeah, in this game. Hmm. Okay. A bit better. A bite to eat. Mm. How are you doing, Hob? Yeah, I played this on console, like on PlayStation initially. And then when I got my PC, it's I just haven't stopped playing it, basically. <sighs> Probably always remain one of my favourite games. Conan Exiles. Yep. Okay. Um, we're going to run over there um, and try not to get jumped. This is a very dangerous place. Um, I don't think we're going to be able to carry um, any... Where is my skinning knife? Uh oh. Didn't I have a skinning knife? Did I check it out or something? I just feel like we can't pass this up. Am I mental chap? Did I lose my skinny knife? Have a pick? Did I make it and not bring it with me, maybe? Oh well. Turds. Um Yeah, okay. Let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. We've got to get through here. Everything wants to moider us, chat. It is somewhat dangerous. Somewhat dangerous. Dagger's still the meta. I mean, early game. I don't think there's anything anything better. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. Like cats. Don't hit me. Don't hit me. Okay. Go away, Kudo. No one's interested in what you have to say. Okay. I'm doing a little bit of a detour because there's something to discover up here. Um, they'll eat your balls. Yeah. Watch out for hungry, hungry hippos. Yeah. Hello. Um, yeah. Daggers are so good. Like early games. Stone daggers. When you very first start. Just because you can. Oh, shit. Just because you can like. Um, just bleed and escape. Bleed and escape. Bleed and escape. Okay, I'm going to run up here because there is something to discover, which is kind of helpful. And while we're on our way, it's kind of efficient. Kudu is really tasty, by the way. Is it? Is it really? Yeah, they're quite useful on this game, on this, yeah, on this map. Hello, sir. No closer, exile. Lest I blast your feeble skin from your bones. I am Mechamosis of the Black Rain. In another place and time, I would command your favorite buttons. But for now, but, I would but. speak of matters that are of mutual interest. <laughs> uh, templates. Yeah, it's uh, it's not it's not it's not um, procedurally generated. It's um, it's crafted. And very beautiful as well. Uh, okay. This majestic view. There's so many great views in this game as well. Um, look at the running. It's like, I love the the animations. I mean, it's after arc. It is lovely, isn't it? It's very kind of like much more fluid and natural, but you know. Um, okay, so we're heading over there. And I run and get down. God, this lack of shift 
is not is not in my favour. I've got to change my muscle memory. Don't climb back up again, you buffoon. Alright, I know where we are. Don't don't shoot me with an arrow. I don't want to be slowed down. Okay. Stop it. Stop it. Okay, I've got to run away from the... Oh, there's hyenas here too. Okay. Oh, shit, 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 shit. This is bad. This is bad. This is bad. This is bad. Stop it. Okay. Okay. I'm not crippled, which is good. Stop it. I feel like I'm crippled. Oh, there's a sandstorm. Uh, we gotta get, to get away. Could you leave me alone? Oh, there's a, oh, there's a, no, there's a one skull. There's a one skull. The one skulls are freaking terrifying. Stop it. F jumps off cliff to avoid it. So the good thing about this game is that animals will not follow you off the edge of cliffs. They respect the edges of cliffs. Uh, unlike Mark. <laughs> uh. Oh, hello, crocodile. I hear you. Um, wait, can I just climb onto this rock? Oh, it's a salamander. You're going to shoot at me. Okay, you've missed. You're an idiot. Okay, we're going... Okay, oh, that is... Did you see how much damage you did? Don't! No, 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 no. Yeah, salamanders are bad news. Bad, bad news. Okay, let's... Yeah, music has ended, which means they've lost aggro. Hello, sweet southern gal. How are you doing? Is this roll for loot server or a different... The roll for loop server. <laughs> uh, yeah, this is uh, this is single player. How are you doing? Hope you're well. Tell me you rude now is not the time. Um, that's cool. But spot is but spot is having a good day. I haven't seen you since uh, since Icarus days. I think. Good to see you. Hope you've been well. There's a world boss over here as well. Um. We're going in the right direction. So yeah, it is a pain that when you climb in this game, the you, you can't use your torch. I mean, it makes sense. <coughs> but there are ways to kind of... Oh, God. I felt kind of freaked out there for a minute. These are, these are rock noses. Go away. Stop it. Leave me alone. We don't really have enough grip for this like journey. I could do with a bit more... Uh, stamina. Okay, listen. Yeah, they stop to attack. So I think I don't even need to press shift for these guys. Um, they're all they're all kind of there are different ones. Um, depending on where they are and the resources that are around them, um, they will drop different items when you harvest them. So if you get them from a place where there's brimstone, for example, then you will get brimstone and various other bits and bobs. If you get them from an iron rich area, you'll get iron stone and stuff. Some of them have some very nasty attacks. They've been reworked recently. This is the sinkhole. Right, we want them to go back. There you go, they teleported back. This is the sinkhole, you, you don't want to fall in there. This is my top tip for the sinkhole. Try not to fall in. Um, there's an obelisk. This is this most central obelisk on the map. We learnt a new emote. Perfect. Is there something behind it as well? I don't. No. Oh, there is a yeah. Don't fall. Has been a while. Yeah. Okay. Um, you do. You, uh, spoiler alert! If you fall into the sinkhole, there is some sinking. There is some sinking. Yes. It is. It is. A, it's kind of a rite of passage. Oh, there's a friend down there as well. It's kind of a rite of passage for everybody, I think, to try to get down there. Uh, without using any other kind of means other than like, I don't know how to say this. To climb down is basically what I'm saying. It's like a rite of passage for everybody. Let me know. Let me know how you get on chat if you do that. <laughs> Good luck. 
Good luck. It is possible. It is possible. Or like just four. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, the amount of times you kind of like, I don't know, maybe like load in, you know, you've teleported there. Did I click on the obelisk? Did I? I think I did. Um, how do I say this? Yeah, like you teleport there where it's like dark or something and you just like, you just kind of walk forwards or something happens, you freaking fall in there. Um, okay, so where next? Um, so we could go to the jungle. We may as well do it if we're going to attune the ones that we can. There's one here and then there's one like in this area. Um, oh my God, I saw the music note. I thought it was like a bug on my second screen. I tend to that like 10 times one day and then free, free, fall in. Oh, the dark, my best friend always gets me into trouble. Yeah. Um. Oh. Um. So. Hmm. What do we do. I think we're going to, I think we're going to, it's unfortunate we didn't attune that one. We could go there and then run along to the jungle. Let's do that while we're on this mission. I'm just enjoying like running around the map today. Oh, we also want to look for caves. That was the point of it, wasn't it? Um, honestly, oh, I feel like the summoning place would have been the perfect place to have some kind of sorcery thing to learn. I could run in there, although they're going to cripple me. Um, what stops me from being crippled in, in this new... Um, wow, structural integrity. Structures you build are 25% more stable. God. So does that increase, does that mean that they're like a higher tier? Does that make a tier 2 building a tier 3 building or something? I wonder. Or does it mean that you can build bridges with less, uh, with fewer pillars or something? Like, that would be interesting. Um, I want to see, like, where's the bit where you don't get crippled, or you... Stamina, tenacity, increases your armour by 40. Stamina by 20. Maybe there isn't one. Vitality. They've just tried to make it less safe on the map, have they? Or is it here? I don't see anything that says you take less um, from being crippled. That's kind of scary. Maybe there's a maybe there's a spell for that, or maybe there's um, maybe there's a potion. I think it's the latter. Oh, if you cripple them first, it should protect you. It should protect you against being crippled. Oh, <clears throat> thank you for that. Now I'm just thinking of the huge ramp bridge you built in Icarus at the Desert River. Uh, oh my, that was such a pain. Oh, when I fell. When I fell multiple times and kept dying. Is that what you mean? That was so bad. Um, sorry? Why sorry? Maybe there's a corrupted perk for the cripple. Mm. Why sorry, Alamus? You don't need to be sorry for anything. It's okay. Yeah. It's alright. So, I, this isn't a cave... But I would say, if I was going to add sorcery, like, to anywhere to learn, it would be in this, in this, this place. This is, like, the most corrupted, kind of, like, dark magic-y kind of place. Okay, I'm not sorry. There you go. There you go. You don't... Oh, shiznit. Holy potatoes. Oh, my goodness. Hi. Oh, was I right? <gasps> they reworked the summoning place. Hi! You are scary. 
I'm uh, just a lowly person trying to like travel around the map. Could you like not modify me and whatnot? Look at this. You get corrupted here. Okay, Dafari. So this is a Dafari camp, basically. This is like the Dafari city. This is like the main place for the Dafari uh, people. Um, here is a good place to get a witch doctor thrall, who at one point, for a long time, was the only person who could craft you black or white dye. So black and white dye was uh, locked behind um, either that or a purge thrall. Now it's I think anybody can make black or white dye. Um, it's a good place to get like a yog priest if you have the yog religion, um, because there's a decent spawn rate. Um, you can get cannibal brutes, but they're kind of poopy. I don't know if they've reworked that. And you can get like corrupted stuff from the boxes, like corrupt powder of corruption or something, um, to make um, undead kind of pets. That's how it was before the patch. Um, I have never seen this. This is kind of exciting. Um, I'm just <laughs> dancing around this bit. Okay, we're crippled. This is bad news, bears. Um, won't be there. There are clearly no cookies. Oh my goodness. Swizzle jar. Come on now. I would never swizzle you, chat. Did you not, like, fight me and stuff? Cripple is really brutal. And I don't have a means to kind of reduce the... I mean, they're always talking about um, wanting the game to feel safe, uh, less safe, you know? Which is why they made it so that we don't we don't dodge as far. We used to, we used to roll back so far uh, in light armor. Uh, heavy armor was horrible. Like, you would just, like, kind of, like kind of jumped to the side a little bit. It was really, really bad. So nobody wore heavy armor. In like PvE anyway, certainly. Um, so I want to explore this a bit more. Maybe we'll try and kill that guy. It is a very like, it is a, f was before anyway, a very dangerous camp early game because there's loads and loads of enemies. Um, like anything though in this game, like when you get to end game, it's not too bad. The kudo is like, getting involved. Could you not? Bloody kudo. Could you be a meat shield for me? Thanks for your help. You're like one of my raptors. Cool. Well. <laughs> I don't want to harvest anybody. Do you have anything on you that I want? I've got some glowing essence. Does that count as a potion? No. Let's heal. Um, yeah, so this this would be like where I would, I would expect. I don't really want to be corrupted. Oh, poopies. You can get corrupted to obelisks anyway. I don't need to like farm it. Looks really cool. I feel like I need to get to that person. Um, have to kill this person maybe. Is this the person that I have to speak to or kill? And then I learn... This was... Yeah. It was darker in there, though, actually. Can I kill you? So, because it's a skeleton, they don't get bleed. Um, but I can still use my movement. Maces are kind of better. Can I stun lock you a bit? Probably better off using my left click, honestly, on these. They don't drop anything. Oh, did you just spawn in? That's a turdy thing to do. I only just bloody finished killing your mate. How do I break this? Can I pick it? Can I hack at it? Do I have to use some kind of magic? Yeah, that is definitely not going to break from from nothing. Maybe if I maybe if I'm corrupted. But if I'm corrupted, I have no way to clear my corruption unless I go back to Sepa Maru. Look at this place. So there's a book somebody said. Okay, I don't need to spank anybody. Thank you. Hi. 
So up there by that pit, that's a good place to get the witch doctor, if that's still a thing. Oh, Jafari medicine. Okay. Sorcerer. So you have to kill any sorcerer. Interesting. Just triggering everybody here. Just having a quick look look around. Don't mind me. So the only thing I've got to really look out for is um is is cripple. Cripple is bad news. Okay, let's have some potions. Oh. Look, I don't want to get like, you know, modified and whatnot. Okay, I'm looking for a sorcerer. So if I kill a sorcerer, excuse me. Could you just stop it? Um, I could climb on this, but the boat, the arrow people could still get me. Can you... Yeah, the arrow people can still get me home. So was there a sorcerer? It'd be really nice if you could... There's a medicine man, level two. So if we can kill him... I don't know, unless he's supposed to be someone we throw. Hmm. Okay, you hit me then. That wasn't very nice, was it? We talked about that. Can you forget about me? That one there. It's like, oh, I, I can still smell you. I can still smell you. I'm not fooled by this crouching over a cage. I don't know, chat. I have a lot of confidence that we will survive if we get down here. Um, especially dagger people are very dangerous because bleed is very powerful. We did have a bow and arrow. Did we not? Did I leave all the arrows behind? Can I make some more? If I had some stone, I could. Ooh, get away from me, you turd wallet. We could get some stone and then, like, shoot the sorcery person. I like the fact that you've all forgotten about me, honestly. As soon as I get down from here, everybody else is going to, like, get triggered. So maybe there's now a book over here. I'm just trying to think. I want to kill this guy. I wonder if it's over here. Ah, yeah. Do you have anything I can learn here? Yeah, I bet that's it. Do you stop it? So if I can just get over there and click on it and get out. Would you stop shooting me with arrows? The people shooting me with arrows! <laughs> Could you stop it? Stop it! There is only so much of this a woman can take. Stop it. Clicky, 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 clicky. You found a sorcerer scroll! I found a sorcerer scroll! I'm running away! I don't care about any of you! You all smell like poopies! <laughs> okay, I found a sorcerer scroll. Right, let's get somewhere where we can um, we can read it, see what happens. My instincts were correct, chat. It was a sorcery place. Seemed logical. Look, if you could all pee off, I would like to super appreciate it. Yeah, you're gonna forget about me now. You're gonna feel really silly. You're gonna be like, I have no idea why I'm like so out of breath and like tired. Okay. Thank you! Sorceress spell page. A faded page to be added to the tome. Uh, Sorceress spell page 11131. Very catchy title. Very catchy. Da, 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 da. Bam, 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 bam. Bad 
Then. Okay. Hmm. I thought we can learn it or something. <laughs> info. Oh, info. Okay. <clears throat> Rare is the spell book that is conceived, written, and completed. More often than not, the tome begins life as a nearly empty folio with a few basic spells inscribed within. Then as new spells and rituals are learned, pages are added and the book becomes something more, a portable archive of arcane knowledge and power. Written in blood, as black as, it, as the night, the page may also be dismantled for its precious ink. Hmm. Have we learnt anything? This is the question. No. Poopies. So we have to collect some more of those, I wonder? Hmm. Who can say? Uh, Logan, thank you for the follow. Hmm. So maybe this isn't the cave. Um, people who know where to learn sorcery uh, with very limited information. Can you tell me, is it in here? Do I need to go in there again? Look at the way I run. <laughs> What's wrong with me? This is not how we move. <laughs> In this game, anyway. Trying to be 31337. Um, no, it won't be that. Okay, that's Kel's troll sound. Da, 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 da. Look at me. I look, I'm moving like a zombie. Stop it. I just want to see. I mean, we can we can clear our corruption at Sepamaru. Hopefully, that's still a thing. My goodness. Um, will you like give me entry? Can I like teleport in there or something? No. If everybody could just leave me alone. Well, that is the spank emote, which we didn't know we wanted, but we learned it anyway. Maybe we need to kill... Okay. That landed us. Is there another, like, altar type thing? Come, Shadow. Oh, oh, let's not get trapped in here. This is bad. This is bad. Okay. Oh, is there another E? Uh oh, don't see me. Oh yeah, there's a, there's a thingy. Let me just put my potions here, and I craft some more on the sly. Super sneaky squirrel. Yes, I can. Super sneaky squirrel. Look, all this stupid corruption. You can't see what's going on. Definitely not taking screenshots. Just so we're clear. Okay, let's try again. Excuse me. Fudge. Fudge off. Okay. Sorry. Sorry you had to witness that chat. Stop it. I'm trying to heal you, turd wallet. There was something to interact with up here. Oh, there's a book right there. Can I get up here? Wait. Yeah. Haha. Oh, sugar plum fairies. Oh, falls to death. Do not shoot me. Do not shoot me. <laughs> uh. Can I, like... You don't have a good angle. I was, like, safe as houses for a moment. Okay. Alright, that's fine. You could shoot me now. Okay. So if we're healed, we can run in and click on that book. I don't know what we learned from that. I think that's new. cooking hmm there's nothing here oh but nope 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 stop it okay we clicked on that book so there was 
Yes, could you just stop it? What about up here? Oh, sugar. We got crippled. Cripple is bad. Stop it. Just don't shoot me in the ankle because that's my, my least favourite like, area. You've got to respect. You've got to respect these things. Okay, well I can see that this, this party isn't really my kind of thing. I just have a bit of water before I run out. I mean, healing potion. Okay. Let us escape. Let us escape. There is a cave near here. Um, which we could go to and have a little look-see. Maybe we could find a friend. See if we could take someone home with us. Seeing as we have friendship ingredients. Uh, why is the wall glowing? Uh, the wall is one of many law stones. You click on it and it says slave or bonded one. Blah, 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 blah. And it's just, it's just this blah, blah, blah quite a lot for a long time. I don't know if... Um, I don't know if it means anything. I've never really listened. Yeah. If you're a if you're a law kind of person, let's write the emote where you stick out your pump. Yeah. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. The white emote. Yeah. <laughs> There's a spank emote. Um, trying to be, trying to be, elite. Have I missed something there? Um, there were some arrows. We we had arrows, but we got rid of them. We could have used them, but never mind. Okay, so X to put thingy away. Perfect. Now we're corrupted, which is a pain in the butt. Um, and I imagine until we get uh, sorcery and the ability to use corrupted stuff, um, it will continue to be a pain in the butt. And something we want to get rid of because it just reduces our health and stamina yeah i've got to rebind shift okay so we should be in a decent position to moidify these people because these are like new river people we've probably leveled a bit since okay the only thing is is that you know daggers continue to be oh daggers continue to be like op even on, like, new river people. Yeah, I could use my left click a bit more. Do a bit more stabby. Do a bit more damage as well, I think. Yeah. Okay. We're going to go in there and see if we can find a friend. Because we need friends, chat. Friends are like snacks in this game. They're what keeps us alive. <laughs> okay, that was a bad joke. Apologise, apologise. It's really only for the Valheimers. I don't even get that joke, and I consider myself to be a Valheim person. Get moided. Oh. We could use this. I'll take that shield. Thank you very much. Uh, can get our block and a, a block. Uh, what's it called? Uh, I don't have any more points to spend. Right, let's heal up. Okay. How do I block again? Is it control? Yeah. So we'll block an enemy attack. Uh, we can get um, brimstone from in here. Can't use both a torch and a shield. You also can't drag a thrall, by the way, when you have a torch out, which is a pain in the butt. But there are ways to round that. Like, there's other means to light... To, to provide light in this game. Come on, I'm blocking. There you go. Alright. Bring on the craziness. Bum, bum, ba -da -da -dum, bum, bum. Bleed, escape. Bleed, escape. 
Roll. Get moided. Try not to get dieted. Stop it! I'm only half elf. No! I will refuse to die in Sinner's Refuge. I refuse. I identify as someone who's good at this game. <laughs> Look at him. He doesn't know where I am. He's been fooled by my genius. <laughs> oh, emote. It's a spank emote I found somewhere. It was a tome. Yeah, it was a tome with a number. Yeah. Oh, excuse me. I was looking at my chat. Why can't I hit you? Daggers. Okay, you have daggers too. Uh oh. No, 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 no. I sense death coming. This special, like, psychic power tells me when I'm about to die. <laughs> it's all those, I saw those hours in permadeath in Valheim. Like, nope, 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 nope. It's too dark in here. I do not wish to get moided by you. You can chase me out. Stop it. Schnell. Schnell. Okay, I'm just, like, stabbing in the dark here because I don't see you. <laughs> Stop it. No, 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 no. Don't you stack bleed on me, sir. Oh, madam, I don't like to guess in the dark. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I can still heal through bleeds. You never used to be able to heal through bleeds, which was terrifying. But I guess that's okay now. They nerfed bleed, I think, after... They release Sipta because um, so many weapons on Sipta give you like bleed. They're like they're really OP, and then ever since then they sort of nif nerfed bleeding. Ah, uh, on us anyway. Um, do I have points to spend? I do. I only have one point. I don't get more points to spend. Uh, let's do some vitality. Okay, so I got the first. So I got passive health regen now. Awesome. Awesome. Look at that going up. That's nice. That is going to come in handy when we... If we're, like, climbed up somewhere to escape, um, that passive health regen is going to be nice. Let's make some extra potions. Continue the modification. Can I repair my... Yeah, repair my daggers. Finally, it's just time. Ah, oh, Panda. So excited for you, lovely. Hope you have fun. Hello, sir. I'm just looking for some of your friends to recruit. Yeah, I rolled. I didn't take any damage. Okay. So you can roll if they, if they shoot you. Okay, I can't see you. Could turn up my gamma, I suppose. Look at that lovely shaft of light. Beam of light. Okay. Okay. Done. Hype. Hype for pandas download finishing. Ah, oh, that's so exciting. Such an exciting moment. I've started this game so many times, like it's so much fun, like the early days. You know how I feel about it. Ooh, a tier 3 smelter would be nice. Hmm. I just wish to make friends with some of you and... Hmm, okay. We have a shield and we have some blunted javelins. We could kite... We could kite him and take him home. I would like... I would prefer a... F um, I would prefer a fighter. Like who can persuade you over here? Five and two. I don't have my freaking torch though. That's gonna be that's gonna be turds. Okay. Stop it. Yeah, doing it in darkness ain't gonna work so well. Can you fight me? Oh no. Can you stop hitting me so hard? Got an axe, which is pretty scary. Okay. So we start. Left click only, right click will throw it. 
I don't know if I have that perk that gives me extra concussive damage. It used to be the first perk in strength. I haven't checked which one it is now. I think we're going to get this guy though. We'll get XP for putting him in the wheel. We'll get XP probably for like recruiting him like once we first take him out of the wheel. Here we go. He's mine now. Okay, I ran out of stams. He's like one hit away from being sleepy. The only thing about these blunted jav javelins is they, they will do some damage. There you go. He's sleepy times. Oh, I'm like locked onto him. Okay. So I have some plant fiber. Let's make um let's make some bindings. Take our friend home. Ugh. Oh, I've got a stretch chat. If anybody here would like to join our server, by the way. Oh my goodness, what timing. <laughs> Joker, hello. Uh yeah, join the Discord. There you go. There's a link in the chat. Join the Discord. Information is in the uh Conan Exiles channel. There's a pinned message with the name of the server. Uh, and join the instructions basically everyone is welcome it's pve uh, hey we have you yeah friendship okay let's get this guy home is it night time pc yeah steam Okay. Which way are we going to go? This way. Da, da, da. Now we have to make the long... Yes, I answered your question, Joker. Uh, the long journey home. So, we did... Yeah, so it's single player. So, there's... so if I was on an official server, or a community server... Um, I would be looking for another person's map room to see if I could... Look, look I look like I'm permanently limping. <laughs> um, what is my best route? Um, maybe go the way... Maybe we go, like, along New River. So he will stay unconscious for a while i think while he's on the rope he'll stay unconscious but my bindings have a kind of crappy durability because they're only like the first level um fiber bindings just have no durability hello lovely hello hello are you dragging that man i've never played it just bought it though it's an illusion i'm not dragging anything hello jade how are you have you come to have you come to to like uh what's the word um uh, mark your <laughs> disdain <laughs> uh can i make it if i fall down here i would normally on like if i'm in heavy armor i would do this but i have a lot of hp i don't want to do that you knew there's there is you know there's no way like they could literally like what's the word execute somebody in public and i would still play this game <laughs> you know i've always banged on about this one i'm obsessed with it so yeah i hope you're doing well though I hope you're doing well um yeah but in order to tame tame helpers you knock them out and drag them with backspace yeah yeah this is just friendship it's basically it's like arc <laughs> i'm gonna do that in other streams how is it so far i haven't had any bugs i haven't had it um haven't had it in um i haven't had any bugs at all basically so far i haven't been able to work out how to learn sorcery yet um and I'm trying to just kind of discover it, sort of forced friendship. It's, you know, it's just enthusiastic friendship. You know what I mean? Now, forced is just too strong a word. It's just like, you know, we're just very persuasive with our blunted instrument. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But it's good. I haven't had any problems. The building, so the build hammer is great. I like that a lot. Um, I have to get used to kind of changing in the, the like muscle memory or whatever. Um... Battle pass kind of looks a bit turdy. Nothing wrong with a bit of rope between friends. Oh, Jade. Um, right, I'm just going to like... So his... Okay, so he's still unconscious. If I can hit him and check his like blue line. So let's like quickly repair our... No, oh, unbind. Let's repair our... Bindings. 
I have a bunch of, I have like a few of them ready, or like, well, at least one. Um, uh, Joker, thank you for the follow. Think of it as Rooseveltian diplomacy. The very American joke that only, well, still quite a few people probably will get, I don't know. <laughs> uh, yeah, but it's, it's, it's going fine so far, yeah, it's going fine. I launched a server today. Very, very exciting. Very exciting. Yeah. Are you gonna, are you gonna cover it at all, or are you like, have you shunned it? Have you? Is it, is it all, is it dead to you? I nearly called you chat, Jade. <laughs> Joe, you know what? Fun fact. Sometimes I call my cat chat, and I'm like, oh my god, I stream too much. Uh, right, we're going in the wrong. Oh no, we're supposed to be going this way. Going to Sep. We can run through the unnamed city, maybe. Seems like a safe place to go. Uh, that is not... Is that a world boss? No. What are you doing there? That looks like the world boss. Uh, a squirrel? Okay. What did the sorcerer drop? Um, the sorcerer didn't drop... Did the sorcerer drop anything? Did we kill the sorcerer? At least you don't call your cat Jade. I'd have to be really angry to call her Jade. J joke. JK. Um, we we picked up a scroll next to the sorcerer. And the scroll um, just gave us like a basically a p piece of parchment. Um, yeah. And it it didn't tell, it didn't teach us anything. It feels like it's supposed, it's one of many. It had like a random number on it. Like a long number on it as if it's like one of like a bajillion. So... I don't know what to take of that, really. Um, but I think we need to go back there. I think we'll maybe, like, strengthen ourselves up first. Because I want to be able to fight all those people. Um, but it's very cool, though. I kind of sent... I just thought summoning place is where all the dark magic is anyway. That's where the cannibals are and whatnot. So... But, 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 but I wonder if that is the right place to go. I don't know. Maybe there are like sorcerers elsewhere. I don't know. We're gonna find out. Bam, 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 bam. Do, do, do. Okay, I'm gonna get home to Sep without getting modified. Look at us. We look like we're limping. We've got like a pimp walk chat. I don't know how I feel about it. I know I mentioned it about 60 times, but it's unsettling me. Um, I don't want to like fall to my... Squeaky! What is it? What is it? Did you finish your food or something? What? Sudden, like sudden panic. Oh my goodness. Squeaky! You hear the cat. Graphics look great. Yeah, it's not it's not too bad. It doesn't look honestly, Sipta spoils you for Exiled Lands. Sipta looks Sipta has like a much nicer look about it. Um oh my god, the cat. <laughs> Zena I nearly called her Jade. <laughs> Zena, I'm like dragging this poor, like half dead man across the map while being chased with crocodiles. Could you like wait? Hi to squeaky. Um Looks a lot nicer, maybe, since last really looked. Yeah, definitely. I mean, I have it on, um, I have it on, like, cinematic level. Like, they never used to have a cinematic, um, option. Can I pause it? Is it, it is paused, right? Is it paused in single player? Wait, let's see. Nope, it doesn't pause. Let's go! <laughs> so, you know, you're just gonna have to wait. <laughs> doesn't, it doesn't pause. They kept moving. I was mildly alarmed. We also need to like bi like repair our bindings. Um, okay, they've gone back. Oh no, he's coming! He's coming! He's still with us. <laughs> Get that friend home. Yeah, this is a smelt like a tier three smelter, so it's like one of the most useful things, I guess. Um, hopefully. Okay, do I? If I hit him, I should be able to see his torpidity. Yeah, his torpidity is like still max. Um, let's repair our bindings. 
when we level up a bit, we can make some leather bindings and then later on we can make steel bindings and then there's even better ones later on. Um, yeah, Sipta looks so much nicer than this. It's It looks gorgeous. Like, I took so many screenshots when I played Sipta. Um, and I had hoped that they would, when in this update, that they would give this a bit of a pass. Like, like a, I don't know. I don't know, some kind of polish, some Sipta polish, but we'll see. Oh, I forget how to get down from here. Gotta get my bearings. There's the stairs over there, okay. Okay, let's make our way to the stairs. It's going to be a bit dodgy because we've got this friend with us um, who's unable to help us. Um, we could click on the obelisk. There is an obelisk in the unnamed city, which we actually haven't clicked on yet. So that would be kind of helpful. We're going to want to make a map room as soon as possible. Although with sorcery, there is... Well, this update, there is kind of some teleportation, which we're going to have to learn. So, but I don't know. Until we sort that out, then I will probably want a map room. Ugh. The cat has, has stopped complaining now, whatever it was. Uh, okay, we're going the right way. <laughs> Guerrero. Thank you for that. What is everyone up to? Are you playing, are you playing Conan at the moment? Are you like, waiting to get home and play it? Are you excited about 3.0? What's the sitch? Uh, Johnny, thank you for the follow. If anyone here wants to join our server, there's a link in the chat to the Discord. Uh, you can do exclamation mark social, so if, if you don't see it. Um, yeah, PVE. Two times harvesting, otherwise vanilla, while we kind of get used to the new gameplay. Eventually, I'll probably put some quality of life mods on there. Um, but yeah, the modders need a bit of time to catch up with the sudden like release, I think. Anyway. Oh, hello. So, we could just avoid you, friend. Ba -da -da. Can I still get through there? I think I think I can. Da -da -da. The unnamed city is a lot less hospitable than it appears to be. <laughs> it isn't the um, Oasis of Calm, it seems. It's very dangerous. Yeah, thank you, Mutton. Yeah, we have three servers now. Thank you to Nitrado for that. Oh my. Tommy! Welcome in. Welcome, raiders. Hello, hello. Thank you so much for the raid. Uh, do I have my thing? There it is. Uh, hello, hello. How was your stream? What Were you, were you playing some Conan 2? Are you playing Seven Days? Uh, so far, I've had no... Okay, that is a world boss. i got to be careful. That is a world boss. He is a bad news bear. Um, do a lot. You do a lot of survival. Oh, good. Me too. Me too. Um, yeah. So far, so far, it's great. I've had no sort of bugs, no issues. Um, still kind of like getting through the early stages of the game, working towards the more complicated stuff. Um, uh, here, no evil. Thank you for the follow. Um, uh, Tommy, thank you for the follow. Iron Fortress, thank you for the follow. Uh, thank you so much for the raid. Thank you everyone for for joining us. Um, my name is Anna Briella. I do I do a lot of survival games here too. Um, I play Ark, Valheim, Conan now, um, Raft. What else have we played here? Bunch of stuff. Um, hello, Des. Hello, hello. Hello, Iron Fortress. Hi. You look so dope. Yeah. It is awesome. It's one of my favourite games. So this is just such a like a fun experience being able to kind of being able to stream it. And having some new content as well. It's kind of awesome. Just made this new friend um, who we are just... We're just helping him find his way home. He's just kind of, you know... It's just a very... It's like a it's like a merciful thing, you know what I mean? Um, we definitely didn't bludgeon him, knock him out, and aren't dragging him home against his will uh, whilst he's unconscious. You know, I wouldn't want anyone to think that. Uh, okay, let's fix our bindings. Uh, the bindings of friendship. Um, an unwilling participant. <laughs> yes, nightmare, yes. Um, 
he had a bit he had a bit too much to drink yeah yeah he's just kind of sleepy he was he had a, something to drink he ate too much he sat in the sun and um you know yeah <laughs> need to eat i'll be looking all right lovely thank you so much for the raid i appreciate that thank you thank you all um have you tried your hand at stranded deep i have tried stranded deep um i did play i played a few episodes of that um god like when i first started streaming maybe i don't know how many um and then i started doing kind of icarus like icarus came out and i started doing icarus kind of full time and then and then moved on and moved on okay we're going the wrong direction i'm just going to escape you my friend i have this very friendly person i just have to you know have to look after Yeah, the building, the like the new build hammer and stuff in the game is awesome. It's nice not having to wait for like a million things to craft and try and guess how many you need. Um, it's great. So far, so good. And I've tried it in creative mode and it's lovely. Really, really nice. So we'll have to wait and see what happens with the sorcery stuff. Once we get to that point. I'm imagining the POV of your friend. I am giggling here. Oh. Yeah. We're just really helpful, chat. Do you know what I mean? Um, right, come on. Right, stay away from me and my rescuee. It's like, actually, I don't want to come anyway. <laughs> Shush back there. <laughs> you know you've had too much. I play PvE arc. I know that point of view. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not a I'm not really a PvPer to be honest. I'm like a definitely more of a PvEer. But I have been playing Ark recently. We do arc on the channel but yeah pv but aberration which is i mean i can't imagine i can't imagine how anybody would play aberration and actually do pvp as well i found my way you found your way ah to Terran. so nice aberration is my favorite map is it ah uh, yeah well it was suggested to me by chat um i did fjorda which was kind of i did some island of the island um maybe like a year ago or something like that i don't know maybe less than a year i don't know more than a year i don't know <laughs> um played some of the island on like single player before i was a streamer and um yeah and then i played fjordo when it came out for like two months and then i wanted to kind of change i haven't even finished fjordo i haven't done any boss fights and stuff like that but i wanted to change and um so, so yeah switched to aberration and we were like a maybe like seven episodes in now but I'm really enjoying it. It's it's a, definitely got its own challenges because traversal is after Fjorda where you have Fjord Hawk and uh, Desmodus. Oh my goodness! It's like okay, how do I get up there? What does this Ravager do? Um, he's still unconscious. He's not lost any of his. Wait, I don't actually see his torpidity. Okay, so the bar at the top is still empty, so that's fine. Um, right, let's repair these as a pvp aberration is amazing no flyers so is that good because you don't have to worry about people like landing in your base is that what you mean you could like stop people from um yeah you could just build a wall and make it kind of scary <laughs> how, how close can i build to separate not super close so the game is pretty good um, so certainly for Sepa Maru, wherever you can build um, at Sepa Maru, um, it should be okay because the game is very strict about like where you can build around it. Basically, what I would suggest that you think about is when where you have like um, an NPC camp like this or Azagar Azagarth or somewhere like that. If you build a really huge base right right next to an NPC camp, you're going to make the NPC camp really buggy so just think about that so if you have a base right next to a, an npc camp you can do it 
I mean, don't block stuff or whatever, but, um, you know, just think about causing lag. Um, because, like, certainly at Azagarth um, in the north, people build huge bases there. And then when you're fighting in there, it's just a very unpleasant kind of experience. So that, that's the only thing I would think about. Otherwise, you're okay. Just use common sense. You know, you're a big boy. Uh, I can base on their cliff flat in the ceiling and they can't quetzal to me. I see. Okay. Um, that's what I thought. Safe to pick one of the nearest flat places. Yeah. There's a lot of land and there's only like, there's um so there's a cap of 16 people on the server. So, you know, I, I, you're not going to be stuck for places to build, you know? So just be like, just be considerate and, you know, use, use your noggin as people would say. Uh, but yeah, you can't, there's loads of like, like around here, you can't build here, I don't think. Um, you can build on a very tiny, like, piece over there you can build where i've got my base over here like all this land over here is buildable um like the desert area right up to like the green um the green wall um yeah and i build pretty close to this but i never build a really really like huge generally don't build a really huge place yeah uh, da, da. This is our little shit shack that we have for now. Till we, uh, I don't know. I don't know what we're going to do here. Maybe we'll build something huge and grand and amazing. Um, or maybe we'll build somewhere else. But this is my favourite, like, starter to middle kind of place for a base. There's just everything here. I haven't even shown you the chests in Sepp and Rio, actually. Kind of forgot to do that. Okay, so can I leave you here, friend? Let me just give you a little a love tap. Just for good measure, because I know you enjoy that. Um, and then... Where did I put that? Oh, I guess I, I tried to pick it up. We moved our wheel, didn't we? A friendship. Um, so I know from memory that I need twine, I need iron... What do I need? Do I need ugh, probably branches? Question mark. I've done this so many times. You think I'd remember? Um. So, building crafting stations. Friendship. <laughs> uh, wait. Show me what it is first. That I need wood, stone, and t more twine. Okay. Go away. Okay wood stone i think we may have had some more twine uh over here yeah what we did i honestly thought we'd placed the wheel but i don't know we i think we did but we just forgot to move it when we built these like platforms look thank you for lurking um, there's a bunch of cool spots near set. It seems, yeah, it's really, really nice place. What new friend has been drugged through so much at this point? Waterstones, characters, creatures. Yeah, and all the, like, animals trying to modify him as well. Okay, let's place our wheel here. Awesome. Let's just, let's put him somewhere where he can just, like, meditate. This is going to be the wheel of meditation. <laughs> it's the wheel of meditation where he's just going to consider... Um, you know, the nature of our relationship and his commitment uh, to helping us in our endeavours. <laughs> and so the wheel of the wheel of meditation. Don't ignore this. Ignore this. It doesn't mean anything. Um, okay, let's do a bit of a bit of gruel. Oh, Insta! <laughs> Insta tamed. Do I have taming on Insta? Okay, so, 12 hours passed. It was a very, very long day. <laughs> Our friend seemed to become more friendly very quickly. Right, let's put him in a, in a smeltery thing. Da -da 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 -da. Da -da okay, so now he will smelt stuff much faster for us, which is ideal. That's what we want. Excellent. Chat. I think this is a good place to end here for today. 
Uh, we'll be back tomorrow for more Conan. Um, I don't know why I'm pressing escape because it doesn't pause the game for some reason. I don't know why it doesn't pause the game. <laughs> I guess because, I don't know, it doesn't understand single player. Um, thank you for following. Thank you everybody for hanging out today. We'll find someone to raid. 